Yeah. All right. Okay. Just hit the record. All right, we are good. So uh, last time you little misfits played, uh, you played around with a super fun item called the Spear of Annihilation. Um, after a, a roll of 94, I believe, um, out of 100, <laughs> it triggered the spear to contact its divine maker and transported you all to a random plane of existence. Happened to be the astral plane. You were all spheres of energy, creating your own physics as you went. Wound up at a house, <clears throat> floating here in the astral plane, almost looked ethereal in its nature, almost like a hallucination. You went inside, you saw Rumash, Vitris Baja, mm -hmm. and after making contact with Rumash, everything became more realistic and tangible. <clears throat> the house actually had a floor and you could stand and gravity worked and functioned, um, almost like he was giving you permission to his physics. After a few heartfelt conversations between Vitra and Rumash about the nature of his disappearing and uh, potentially some truth that was explained to Vitra about the nature of her mom's mental health during her childhood, um, you guys decided to demand some answers at the holy place itself, try to confront Soul or whatever the hell you guys are trying to figure out in Ja Ru. But you went back through your tunnels uh, in the caves and climbed the sand dunes in Ja Ru, went through the gate. <clears throat> you were kind um, to the man by the gate, the elderly man, and he kind of let you guys know about a little, uh, a little place called the Blue Pearl. Inside the Blue Pearl, um, sorry, the, the Blue Pearl was located inside the Sun-Kissed Seamstress, a <clears throat> leather maker, fabric, fabricator, <laughs> um, and just overall kind of seamstress um, that seemed to make a lot of the garb and high-end silk for the entire city. You guys went inside, gave the password, which was going to church. George. Go to church. George. Uh, and upon giving that password to the young lady at the front, we're led inside the speakeasy. However, before you guys all went inside, Cranor introduced himself as Cranor to the lady at the front and asked to make him a couple of masks to help better demonstrate his emotions since his face is now deteriorated to a point where it's hard for him to make facial expressions. She of course obliged, and he then went inside. Now, once you guys got inside this speakeasy, it was just a, a mix of peoples, a uh, whole bunch of different people, mainly elves, but you are seeing a lot of um, lizard folk, uh, drow elves, which seemed a little strange here in Jaru. Uh, you see dwarves, you see different forms of animal people, jaguars, turtle folk, loxodon. Cool. Behind the bar, you see two loxodons. One's much smaller, the other larger, um, serving drinks to uh, patrons that come up and approach. At this point, I believe you guys are all still standing sort of at the entry point, the, the, um, the walk-in of the Blue Pearl. But it is definitely to point out that due to its namesake, this bar is very lavish, like pearl. Also, hints of blue throughout. Blue fabrics, blue velvet seating. Um, the actual ceiling itself is kind of a black with like blue starlight kind of going through, um, almost like the roof of like a Maybach Mercedes or if you guys have seen any of those like luxury like um, linings and cars, very much like that. It's dark, candlelit, but definitely this really cool kind of luxury feel inside. Famous words of D&D, &D, what do you do? <laughs> What's a Luxodon? Luxodon's an elephant. Oh. Elephant. Um, I look at them dressed, just, they wearing whatever, or? 
Um, there's definitely a few of the gold cloaks and white cloaks here mm -hmm. um, that seem to be kind of that higher religious folk within the city. Um, most people are dressed fairly nice. Like I said, it's kind of a luxury place. You, okay. you get the opinion that people kind of dress up here. Um, it's kind of a place to go out that's not so stricken with sinner laws. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to ask Cora. Cora. Can you mind Yes. Have a nice evening gown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm, I mean, I picture like a, like a white kind of gown. And it's kind of low cut. It's like center. Mm -hmm. It's like four length with a slip all the way to the right here. Holy shit. <laughs> I just imagine like she walks through the door and we're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want a brand like, new dress. I want to most unrealistically attractive. Yeah, I know. She's like, what the fuck? Stage and just be like, I'm going to. Coyote movie style. Give me like a bomb, baby. I'm going to walk to the bar and ask for a drink. Okay. Are we all dressing up? It's up to you guys. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> all an outfit. Uh, well, now I got to know. Now we got to know. Can we can I choose my own? Of course. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she chooses well, it, but you can uh, tell her what you want. You know what? I'll tell her what you want. But... Oh, thanks. Okay, so. I'll be nobody else. Well, fine. Fuck off. I'll be just. Well, Wrath, <laughs> what do you look like? Uh, Dressed up. So it was more of like monkish clothes, so it would be more of like. Um, um, not like a suit, more of a long. Uh, Gown? More of like a nice martial arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of buttons and gold ta uh, gold tasks. Very like Eastern yeah. style, like mm -hmm. almost like kimono, but like. Yes, kind of like that. <clears throat> what color? Like that. I'm assuming black, but you tell me. <laughs> more, more purples and reds. Yeah, that's, that seems like Adam aesthetic for sure. <laughs> purples and reds. Is like the is like the like the the gown itself purple, or is it more like accented with purple and? No, more purple and then accented with reds. Cool, cool, cool. And cool. then gold <clears throat> edges and stuff like that. Okay, Vitra? Um, I would say it's more, it's like a fancy version of kind of what she already wears. So like the the yellowy gold garb that she wears, it's just going to be that, but in like a evening gown yeah. sense. But it's going to be all glitter. <laughs> it's all glitter. <clears throat> now, cool. are you going to apply your... So you guys all know this from traveling with her for years now, but her hair is always flowing, mm -hmm. like it's got air in it. Are you gonna apply that same sort of like aeration through your like yes. gown where it's like always flowing? Always. Okay. Yes. That's cool. So it's gonna be like a <clears throat> off the off the shoulder type thing, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a long sleeve. So you're um, showing like your blue skin. Yes. Like gown. Okay. Yes. And then so it's gonna flow, and it's gonna have. She doesn't. She doesn't always do just dresses so like it'll be a slit up the middle and she'll have like a uh, like dark red the pants pants underneath like, like a monk tight yeah. to the tight to the, the skin um but yeah like all glittery like a big big golden glitter gown okay uh cranor uh not really knowing too much about being fancy i'll just try to mimic what i would imagine oh, i thought you're gonna say your dress <laughs> <laughs> off the sleeve <laughs> Just my bone. <laughs> a black glitter like thing would be kind of sick. Like, know, like a suit, like, like glitter on the on the lapel. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be your, your religious liaison. Yes. Oh, right. uh, so I'll try to mimic uh, close to what like a, a bright would wear, uh, but not quite. Maybe just like slightly gray. And like the sun emblem is actually gonna like, cast like rays down, and you can mm. see like seams of, of gold. Cool. Now, like, amongst the robes going down towards the ground. Cool. 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 Uh, Rain, you already kind of told us what you're wearing. Yeah. You want to refresh us, cause. <laughs> okay, so um, it's like a white with glitter. Not well, not as much glitter as her, just a little bit. <laughs> you're coming in on you. Halter top, yeah. It's kind of low cut, and so the back will be like right here. Four length, and the slide slit all the way up to like right here with okay. strappy shoes, like uh, silver. What color? Silver. The dress is silver. No, the dress is white. Oh, okay. Just as white shoes are strappy. <clears throat> cool. Heels. Anything special with your hair? Uh, let's see, my hair is already lit up. Okay, let's say I take out my braids, so it's like more of a wave. And um, get all nice. Okay. <laughs>
And then Sage? <laughs> um, Sage is going to be in a long sleeve, like, like hugging gown, and it's very, like, like, like uh, form fitting. Yeah, form fitting. Like very form fitting. Yeah. Like, yeah. Long yeah. sleeves, yeah. high necks. Yeah. Not like high necks, but like here, straight across. But the entire back is open. So, like, when she turns around, it's like down. All the way to the like, crack. Hey. Hey. Ooh, yeah. And it's going to be like. From back a, to crack, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's going to be um, like a black satiny. Uh, material, but when the light Satin catches like velvet? It, no, or like, just like, like flat shiny. Light. Like shiny. Or okay. Silk. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, like, so, so, and when the yeah. light catches it, it's like that bright blue, the color of her eye. So like it's black until the light So catches it's it. like, it's like um, the rock you like. Yes. The yeah. labradorite. It's a labradorite. It's a labradorite. That's right. fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. So, and her hair will be, like her hair at this point is probably pretty long. Yeah. So yeah. she's got the red hair. So she's going to have it tied over her shoulders. Right in there with it. Um, my hair is just Robert, sorry. That's right. Um, it's, it's, she's okay. just going to have like these, like the waves. It won't be like tied up or anything. It's just cool. like, over the side. So. All right. Is there something here? And then Cora? Uh, and then for me. <laughs> I wanted to save you for last because I can't tell if it's going to be serious or not. No, it's going to be serious. <laughs> and so for me, I'm actually going to wear a suit. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have those like fitted, like. Taylor women's suit. That's like really Oprah style? Cute. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, but my suit is that type where I'm not wearing anything underneath. It's just that like, just little little skin and, yeah. Yeah. Down, and my hair is going to be like slicked back and that kind of wet style. And yep. I want my makeup to be like that smoky kind of eye. But cool, cool, cool. Like catches the color and red lips. And then the... Yeah, the, what color is the suit? The suit is going to kind of be like that deep red mm-hmm. on your thing right there, so it's almost blackish, but it's got that nice... Got it. Like, so it's like, in a room like this, it's going to look black, just like you were dressed, yeah. because there's sure, not a lot of light. It's like candlelit, yeah. but as soon as you go outside, it's going to be like glow maroon. Exactly. That's dope. That's like ruby, like hidden mm-hmm. behind like a black mm-hmm. tinted glass. That's cool. So. All right. And so <clears throat> you guys all step in. After a few snaps, you all look as you've presented yourself. Cool. Um, who's walking in first? Well, she already started walking in the bar. I know, so but that was guys, before we like changed, so I'll let you guys like. Okay, wait, wait. You can still walk last. in first. So, yeah. Really well, not necessarily. He just caught up to you guys as you guys got yeah. here and got dressed up with the rest of you. Yeah. I don't know. You can go in first. I probably would be close behind her because obviously I'm going to be seeing how people are looking at her and I'm going to be a little concerned. People are looking at her. Yeah. People are looking so at her. Let's just put it that way. Standing back, but like making sure no one's going to attempt to like take advantage of her. Everyone in the entire room just went, damn. Oh, there, was no one, there was no one at the front except for that young lady. Um, her name was Cassie. I don't know if you guys asked. Cassie is the lady at the front who let y'all in. I don't think I've ever been in this establishment. Mm-mm. This is newer. This is this wasn't around. It wasn't. I wouldn't have been seeking it like it's speaking eh, it. Probably not, but people still find it. Yeah. <laughs> this I will say. Um, actually, I'm not gonna say anything. You guys can ask around. Uh, is there any t- you tables? wouldn't know. I mean, it's just yeah. yeah I mean, I'll just follow her forever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. But is there any open tables or anything? Um, a few. You can tell like people are mainly standing and kind of mingling. Um, there's a few like sit down booths along the edge of the. So think of it like the bars in the middle. Right? Oh, okay. It's like a round okay. bar. Okay. Um, the music fitting, it's kind of like that cantina style where they're like it's a circular bar in the middle and then all around it's like a round room. The whole outside is just boots and boots and boots and boots and boots and then a couple standing cocktail tables. Okay. Uh, not a couple, like probably about a dozen. Yeah. Um, but most people are sitting in their boots, occasionally going up to the bar, mingling, talking. Everyone kind of keeps it you know, kind of low, like kind of mumble, a couple of like laughs in the background. Definitely seems like a... This place is way too cool for school. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. <clears throat> All right, we'll get some drinks and yeah. grab a booth and serve them. As we're oh. walking in, is there a booth there? Is there a mm-hmm. spot that anyone kind of seems to avoid? Like... Can you make a perception check? And are you guys all going to the bar? If... When go to the bar, I go to the bar. Uh, just before I do, I'll look around and see if, I don't know if I have any old friends here. I'll take a look around if I recognize Make a, an investigation check if you're looking. Actually, just general perception, because you, you're not looking for anyone specific. Uh, 15. Investigation. 
Okay, 15. Yeah, you're looking around. It definitely doesn't seem like anyone's actively avoiding anything. I mean, they're all walking around. There's a couple of open boots, but... Well, no, I'm more of, like, is there anyone that, like, giving a wide berth to anyone, right? Like... No, not like, there you can tell. To the farm of Venice Street, like, they decide to do it. Oh, I'm gonna go around. Like, like a pit boss around. Not that, yeah. you, can, not that you can tell from being okay. here for just a few moments, but... Um, you can definitely hang out and like kind of survey a little yeah, before I'm walking in. Yeah, I'm gonna booth and I'll just kind of... I got a 14. Okay, you don't. Uh, 19. And I guess specifically I'd be like, if I see these like religious figuration on my yeah. table, you'd be like... Is yeah, this you um, currently at the bar ordering a cocktail from one of the locks on bartenders is someone that you knew as the Bright Monk Jermaine. Jermaine. I remember from my last time I wrote down Lilad, Jermaine, and... and Ellard. And then uh, High Sept and Mercy. High Sept and Mercy. Mercy. Matt Mercy. <laughs> he would be a High Sept in my world. Yeah. <laughs> so which one did you see? I saw uh, Jermaine. He loved you more than a face, man. He loved you more. Little shiny. All right. <clears throat> I don't know about it, but I definitely recognize him. Yeah, yeah, you definitely see him. He's just he's kind of chatting up. He's he's ordering from the bigger Loxodon. Um, you can kind of see him crack a smile, and they're just kind of like sharing a conversation from a distance. Um, as you all walk in, um, you definitely get some like looks over, and you know she has to dress like exceptionally nice. Like there's people here dressed nice, but you guys are definitely kind of gowned up. A yeah, yeah, you're you're like Met Gala style. Um, and Vitro, when when people start to see you, you kind of hear the music stop, and everyone kind of looks over and sees you. Um, and you see you see a couple of the people sitting, just kind of like kneel down to a knee and just kind of bow their head in your oh, direction. Shit. The Loxodons the behind the bar both kind of like kneel their head down, and almost like a, if you've ever seen an elephant bow, where they kind of like do one foot. Kind of like that, or they. <laughs> oh, there's a blue pearl, and your daddy's a big blue guy. Oh, yeah, he is blue. I'm blue, too. I'll, uh, I'll bow, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to look at you. Uh, yeah, join me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to It's like an awkward silence. It's like they're all waiting for you to say something. I know you've been here before, but did you, like, buy the bar? No, no, no. I don't even think I've been to this place. You haven't been to no, this place. No, I've never been here. Uh, you, can get up. Uh, you see the locks and on kind of like wave at everyone and they stand up and now you see them kind of like Ooh, definitely want to be listening to what they're going to say yeah. um make a make an investigation check i or no, uh, make a make a perception check with advantage since you're specifically seeing them whisper can i do that as well you can, but yeah. it's gonna to be tough for you since all the focus is on you. <laughs> they're like, just being, they're trying to be discreet from you, so. From is that an investigation? Is that fair to me? Okay, so I. Appreciate it. Do you want me to? Sorry. Oh, don't even need to disagree. No, it's just a higher check. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20? 23. What are you doing? <laughs> Same thing? Oh, was that supposed to be an advantage? Oh. You had advantage. Uh, anyone besides Vitra will oh, have advantage. 30, 20. Okay. 17. 17. Okay. 17. I know I know that he said he was going to a booth earlier, and I don't know who all was still kind of standing in the central area, so his was going to have advantage. The rest of you guys were just rolling. Good. I'm not really, honestly, I don't care what they're saying. Cool. Um, was it everyone? Text me, not everyone. Okay. Adam, just come here. Uh, I definitely want to yeah, okay. I'm definitely Are you the one who heard? Are you here too? Are you at the bar or at the booth? I just wanted to hear what people were I know, wondering. I know, but you were standing, you were still in the middle, right? He said specifically he went to the booth. Oh, so he was closer, so his check was lower. Okay. You didn't roll over 25, did you? No, I did 26. Come here. <clears throat> oh, shit. Just like the nice, slow, jazzy, can't see music. You now know you have to make. One of all of us in our new office, right? I'm already at work. I gotta figure that out. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I believe I just believe it 100%. Yeah. Some way, Soul was supposed to be like your dad, and yeah. he's pissed off because your dad fucked the person I wanted to be with. Yeah. 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 Y
And now he's like mad jealous, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, he hasn't done this to anybody else, at least to my guys. Before. Except for your dad, he's like, you know what, fuck, you're off to the astral plane. Oh, Zaris is wearing a very nice long coat. Say what? Zaris is also wearing a very nice long coat. See, I would I wanted to step in and go. <laughs> I forgot to mention that Zaris is wearing a really nice long coat. See, I wanted it to be bow tie and then like like, like down here or up here. Like a big like bow tie around the waist. Why are they on the waist? Like nothing but like diamonds. Like Chippendale style, or is it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Or is it down there? That would no, be that's what she said. Down there and it's high up here. That's what we're gonna do. He's got like a bow. I like a bow bow tie. Also, oh, like yeah. a, I want um, the cuffs also on. There you go. Okay. Chris Farley. Yeah. Who's all going to the bar? Oh, that's me. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, well, I was going to say, I want to see Jermaine did he sort of like kneeling down. No. Okay, didn't think so. Uh, I probably would just, not just to keep people together, I would go out towards maybe the booth with him. Okay, cool. See so you, you go over to, you go over to Wrath. I don't really need a drink. Yeah, the four of you guys go to the bar. There's two Loxodons, the larger and the smaller. Who do you approach? The closer. The smaller one is closer. Smaller, smaller one. Um... He, he walks up to you and he um, he kind of sees you all and he kind of gives a bow uh, to you and he says, my lady, what is it that I can get for you all? Can I get a bottle of your finest? A bottle of what, my dear? Your finest. <laughs> well, we have fine liqueurs, fine whiskeys. Which one do you recommend? Fine wines. Oh, I'm a wine person myself. Okay, I'll take one. After a few moments, the larger one kind of steps in, puts his hand like over his shoulder, and he says, "Don't worry, Ali, I'll take care of them for you." And he like kind of pushes him aside. He says, "Thank you all so much for coming to the Blue Pearl. My name is Sandeep. This is my establishment. My dear, we welcome you. We've been waiting for you. What can I get you all to drink?" On the house, of course. Oh, what do you mean by waiting for me? You cannot hide your skin tone, my dear. Mm-hmm. We know you are the blessed one's daughter. Okay. You are the daughter of Rumash. Yes, yes, ma'am. Then you are welcome here anytime. You know Rumash. Very well, yes. He was a good friend to many here. Hmm. Why do you call him the blessed one? He could do things that we could not. He could disappear into thin air. He could make things appear. He could plant beautiful memories in your mind. The best memories you've ever had. And he did that here? Yes. About 30, 30, 25, 30 years ago, yes. It's been quite some time. But we knew of his daughter, but... Did you know her mother too? We did. I cannot remember her name. Mir. Mir. Sweet girl. I've not seen her... (laughs) I've not seen her here either. Some reason she has not come back. But she, she hasn't been well. She's she stays in Ulterior, outside of Tumbleweed. Well, that's not too far from here. She can visit when she likes. Of course, she'll have a room. Not here, but many of us would gladly home her in our own. Hmm. Well, we're leaving a place to stay tonight. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations? How many of you are there? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. Eight? 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 Four, five, six. Seven. Oh, yeah. 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 Technically, Benjamin's with her. Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Eight. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> we don't mind sharing those. Oh, thank goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can all... We also don't mind paying if we have to see that. Yes, we can also pay. Yes, we can also pay. Yeah, you would not expensive. pay. You would not pay a single copper. But my home is welcome. 
I stay not far from here. If you'd like to have a comfortable place to stay, my lovely wife can happily whip us up a nice dinner. I will warn you though, the blue pearl stays up late. She breathes deep into the night, so I'm, I may be a little later than home. If that's okay with you. That's fine. That's totally, totally okay. We really appreciate it. My son Ari does not stay late. He can take you home. Give you a nice place to stay. You will sleep in his room. He will sleep on the floor. Oh, no. We don't want to take his... No, it's fine. He, I promise you, he will do anything. Wow. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. So, I heard a bottle of finest wine for you, my dear. Yes, please. <clears throat> what about for the rest of you? Anything particular that you. you like to drink? Not really good sharing, but okay. We, we have specials. We have delicious port wines. Clearly imported, but... What is the Blue Pearl known for? Yeah. What's the specialty? Oh, what's specialty? So, we are under the light of sun. We are under his influence. So... As a matter of deviance, our famous drink is called the Bella Luna. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? The Bella Luna. Luna. I will take one of those. The beautiful I, moon. I absolutely want that one as well. Would you still like the bottle or would you like a Luna as well? Oh, no, I definitely like the bottle. Thank you. Though. And he like, he like bends down and like pulls out this like small crate. It's like this uh, wooden box and he like peels back the wood. And he's like, he pops out this like, this bottle that has a little bit of dust on it. He's like, I know what I mean, but I really He goes, and like dust kind of falls off. He's like, this is a 20 year old vintage. If you like wine, you would love this. And he hands it to you. Um, and he gives you a single glass and the bottle opener. And he says, I will not, I will not open this for you. You should have that privilege to pop it cork. Uh, I like to keep it chill. So, two different things. They're, they're two different things, but I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, but uh, you you can leave it open. Uh, we do not recommend pouring into a decanter. You pop it open and you hear this like, this like perfect wine cork pop it. And, and it just like instantly the aroma of the wine just like takes you back. It's potent, but it's potent with, you know, fruits and you smell like fig and cranberry. Um, it's just a very aromatic scented wine. He says, let that sit for a few minutes. It will blow your taste buds off, I promise. Thank you. <clears throat> and after a few moments, you see him kind of like both hands just like kind of shaking the cocktails and pouring them into the into the glass, and it has this beautiful kind of soft purple hue to it with a lemon twist garnish on top. Um, anything for your other friends? You said there was eight of you. There's only four here. I'm assuming Benjamin there are two. Sure. Is there, I mean, I'm not confined to this for a moment, but uh, is there, is there anyone like watching all of us? Oh yeah, most of the bar is kind of like, not you guys, watching, um, well, I mean, yeah, I guess kind of the whole group, but mainly the ones that are surrounding Vitra. Um, the ladies. Um, specifically Vitra and Rain. So I'm going to tap my water on my head. For some reason. I'm going to cast the tech bots. On who? So I can change it from person to person. Right? So I'm just going to kind of scan through the room and see if anyone has... Because I'm not going to go... I'm not going to probe deeper. Because then they have to make a Just kind of surface level so thoughts. Is anyone bad thoughts? Right? Hmm. Like hostile thoughts? I'll Anything? Uh, no. Okay. Then I'll just keep that up and then I'll just keep watching. Um, Are you worried about someone around here? Always. Soul makes me nervous. 
Me too. Yeah. I'll do cast the. Uh, I'll do detect good. good and evil. Thirty feet around me. I'll just kind of like. I'll do a pass. See if I see any sort of evil spirit. You're, it's all clear. All right. Nothing inherently evil. Do we recognize anyone? Perception. He already did one. Okay. Crane or recognize one of the bright ones. Oh. I don't know if you said this. Is there any like dancing or a band or anything like that? There is a live band, um, but they're kind of playing slower, kind of like lo-fi music. Not anyone dancing. There's people kind of like swing into the music, but yeah. no one out there like. I'm not, yeah, no one can Yeah. No like swing or anything like that happening. It's very reserved, conservative, as you'd imagine, in a religious town. Yeah, so I went to go open the door, and the moment I did, the, uh, there was a pigeon or something on that table, and it flew off and scared the guy who was dropping off the torches thing. Jeez. I think a bird just hit him. <laughs> yeah. That sounded like it. Yeah, I'm like, it's probably that same stupid bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that on the floor? Were they spraying? Yeah. Like, My decks. <laughs> I mean, we had a falcon kill a rabbit yeah. right in front of our house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was insane. Was trying to mess with nature. I literally wouldn't think yeah. that the rabbit moved it. Yeah. It was still alive. That falcon was like, I haven't eaten in three days, man. I thought I was down here. It looks like the falcon's got to eat too. Really mad at me. It's like, we have a lot of rabbits here. I don't see a lot of falcons, so. We have a rabbit problem. Oh, we think he got him. We got it. We're pretty sure we got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take my bottle and my glass of wine. I'm gonna mm-hmm. Do you drink it? Do you drink it yet, or are you still let it air out? Oh, I'm letting it air out. Okay. So I get to go join them. Cool. I take my drink and I walk away. Sweet. Still keeping an eye on people, like looking. I will say for people aren't necessarily trying to hide that they're looking. So um, that's fine. I just want to make sure nobody's being like creepy with her. How dare you be so beautiful? I'm not looking for those first thoughts. Okay. Yeah, this is more of like you hear <laughs> your bad thoughts. As you're like scoping the room looking for bad thoughts, you do hear the occasional damn. <laughs> 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 Alright, the occasional nosebleed. Soul's not the only thing rising to the right. Come on, man. But um, Is that a full moon? <laughs> <laughs> That dress or any lower, there you go. You get a full <laughs> moon. Okay. So I join him and I sit down and I sit right next to Zinro. Hey, big boy, would you like a drink? I know we haven't had a lot of time, but I don't consume anything. <laughs> anything. You can't go down? I mean, <laughs> we can try. <laughs> And so I want to turn your head back to start pouring a little bit. I feel like it's the, the scene from Pirates of the Caribbean where they, they drink it. And just... Right, like just goes down all the like bones. Just getting the bench wet. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, like, you like break my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you lean it back, you hear a crack. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, yeah. Do I, do I, do I... You don't taste anything. That's unfortunate. Okay. Can't, can't taste or really feel it, to be honest. I don't even use the glass that he gave me. I just start. Make a make a constitution saving throw. I'm sure it's a lovely vintage. Constitution? <laughs> yep. Twenty one. Twenty one? Yeah, you kinda of throw it back and instantly you feel like whoa, <laughs> this is it's delicious. Um, especially for wine that you've tasted. It's probably one of the best, but you definitely feel the alcohol content stronger than most wine, and you start throwing it back, and for a second, you're like, you get a little bit of like instant like dizziness, um, but then you just feel a nice buzz just carry you through, um, but you're still very much in control. All that, years of drinking at my right age. 17. 17. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone else? You have your cocktails, you have your drinks, you're at your booth. Well, I'm going to stay up at the bar and talk to the... Is it Sadi? Sandi. 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 Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to ask... So is this the, the taller 
uh, presumably older one that took over? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you see he's wearing like these really lavish orange robes that kind of like wrap over itself. It's tied together with this rope made of like this gold and silver kind of tied together. Okay. Um, he has like large gold rings on each finger, um, like gold necklaces and things like that. Like very bougie, lavish. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to stay up there and talk to him and say, you know, so I assume that you guys are not soul worshippers. Of course. I would not worship the gods of the gods. It seems like you are trying to get away from his influence. Why would we want that? We live in his great city, mm -hmm. beneath his wonderful pyramids. Mm -hmm. Do you not worship soul? Have you been influenced by him in your short life? I'm starting to think that I have been, yes. Then whether you want to or not, you've worshipped him. I don't know if that's the right word. Hmm. Worship comes in many forms. You can practice it, or it can just happen through your actions. Is that not right? That's a fair point. You've lived in this world. You've probably done things that maybe you were conflicted about, but did anyway. That's so. He lives in all of your choices. He lives in the things you do and the things that you... and the things that you want to accomplish. But, ultimately, he's influencing all of us every day. So why do you have this, you know, rebellious truth? Everyone likes to deviate from the normal. Mm -hmm. Luna's by no means soul's enemy, mm -hmm. but it's a fun drink. Luna's a beautiful god. Why not name a beautiful drink after her? We've had many cocktails named after Sol, of course, but this one seems to be very popular, so we mm -hmm. keep it going. Mm -hmm. So, you knew of my father? Yes. Um, but it's been quite a while since he's been here. Since he's been here? Yes. Very long time. Yes. Um, now, as far as I'm aware, as far as I've been told recently, that was Sol's decision to no longer let him here. Are you aware of that? No. We've not seen him in many years. He was banished to the Astral Plane. And That's where he's from, from what yeah. I believe. I don't think you could be banished to your own home. Yeah, maybe not banished. But he's no longer allowed here, based on my existence. That would make sense. That does not seem out of the realm of possibility, no. Yet you... Maybe you see my issue in worshipping someone who made the decision that he can no longer be here and has separated me from my father. Like I said, that sounds like a conflict. It is a conflict, yes. And you're worshipping. He's not a god of Love and beauty. He's a god of hard choices. Mm. One of the hardest choices we make can sometimes be the biggest impactful in our lives. Soul, as we know him, the god of the sun. Mm -hmm. The sun is beautiful, brings prosperity to all of us, makes our crops grow. The sun also will kill you if you stay out in it too long, will dehydrate you, can take the life mm -hmm. from your very bones. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That's a conflict. That's what soul is. He's a balance of good and bad. Mm -hmm. Luna, mainly good. Mm -hmm. Other gods, some of his other sons and daughters, maybe less good. Mm -hmm. He has to be that balance in between. Yeah. So, I have nothing against soul. 
So I'll be damned, I've had bad experiences in my life. But, meeting Rumash, Meira, and now you, so I'll be praised. Great, great is the experiences of my life. Besides my son Ari, of course, he can't hear me. <laughs> Even with those big ears, he cannot hear me. <laughs> I never <laughs> You see Ari like mixing drinks over on the other side, mm -hmm. kind of like walking a circle, taking orders while he's having this conversation with you. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm a, a bit confused as well of the reaction I got when I walked in here. I, I can understand you being, um, you, you admiring Rumash or you being close to Rumash mm. um, in the past, but the bowing was. You don't get bowed to everywhere you go? No, not at all. Well, you should. But why? Just because you of have the blood of a god. You think you think you can survive in the astral planes without being a deity? No. No, you can stay there temporarily, but you will die because you cannot consume in the astral plane. Mm -hmm. Only a god can survive. You guys got them quick. Yeah. yeah. They would have starved to death eventually, unfortunately. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the food that Rumash gave you is just for show. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, but R R Rumash was extremely generous with all of us. He gave us homes to stay in. The home you will stay at tonight is gifted by Rumash. This, this bar was funded by Rumash. Most of the people staying here in Jaru have somehow been blessed by the generosities of Rumash. So, as I mentioned, the conflict of soul, you can be upset of his banishment, if that's what we call it, mm -hmm. but also be blessed by the experience that we had with him when he was with us. Mm -hmm. So, if this was caused because of your bringing into the world, then we can be happy of the things we gained. Mm -hmm. Still be sad of the things that we lost. But now we gained you. It's one more thing to be happy about, correct? Unless you're here to cause problems. <laughs> not I did not get that sense from you. No. Um. This is sort of a, a totem of memory for Rumash. We always called him the Blue Pearl. Mm -hmm. Well, forgive me, I am starting to learn more about him that recently that I was unaware of before. So I appreciate you giving me your experience of him. He bows again. Alright, I'll take my drink and join. As you turn and walk away, you hear him kind of like through a booming voice. And he says, Praise Vitra, daughter of Rumash. And everyone, now everyone, including uh, Jermaine, Kind of gives a bow to you and like a quick little like cheer. Um, you hear a couple people like "woo" in the background. <laughs> oh, <yay>! yep. um, <laughs> Thanks, Cora. And he says, "He says the next drink is on us." And then you see a bunch of people stand up and kind of go to the bar. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I'm gonna awkwardly sit with you guys. <laughs> Folds her hands. You wanna, yeah. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna? You To be honest, I, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, our, my father, Rumash, I guess, was very generous here. And I mean, would I have like, known that he was a deity? No. No, yeah. Okay, so th they're saying that I'm the daughter of a, a deity, which. Deity is a big word. Yeah, uh, so. Well, lots of things to be deified. So, I mean, he's clearly, obviously, from what yeah. we saw, he's clearly very powerful. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's, it's just, it's, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around everything that I'm, all the information that I'm receiving about him. So I, you know, all of my life I've had this image of what he was and what he did, and now all of that is kind of being turned on its head. So I'm not really sure how to react to it all. I mean, 
I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it doesn't hurt to get answers. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't hurt to change your mind. Mm -hmm. I think you need some time to absorb things. Have a drink. Enjoy the day. Thanks. You're not going to be able to absorb all this in you know, a few hours. So true. Very true. Live in the moment. I like the way you think for it. Take a drink of my drink. I, I, now I'm scared. But in the moment, I do. Yeah, go for it. Oh, Take yeah. a drink. Great. Probably. It's delicious. Very floral. Great. Kind of soft. Okay. A little bit of tartness from lemon. Are worried about the constitution? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's just the wine. These are regular cocktails. No, these are regular cocktails. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh no, I gave him some of mine. Mmm. <laughs> well, that changes it. Constitution saving throw. Yeah, Constitution. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought you drank your drink. Oh no, I gave her some of mine. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, twenty twenty-one. Oh, you're just like me. You're doing great. Same thing. It feels like this instant warmth. You taste the fig and cranberries and like fruity nature of it. You start to feel it instantly. You're like, whoa. And then you kind of get brought right back up with this mm -hmm. buzz of just like almost inst like it's an instant buzz. Um, and you just feel great. You just oh. <laughs> instantly feel better about everything. Some of your worries about everything just kind of like fade into yeah. the background of your mind. <laughs> this is great. Did you know this bar in my dad? Is <laughs> <laughs> your dad actually do it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. they seem nice when they were there. Has been nice to me every time that I've encountered him. Now, so on the other hand, not really sure how I feel about him. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I guess hearing more and more about how her father has a lot of influence all of a sudden in this area. Yeah. I'm going to think about, in my learnings, have I thought about how this place was created? Why here? Which place? Ja Rule ja or this? Ja Rule in general, not this place. You know. <clears throat> because is there any story of somebody back then, mm -hmm. a blue genie of sorts, creating what this was? Yep. Because ah. <laughs> the whole time I was saying he's got all this influence. Anybody who comes here has been affected by him at some point in time. I'm thinking Solo and him were boys. Oh no! Like, you, fuck, you fucked my girl. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. wow. I'm seeing. I'm seeing two yeah. guys that were friends, and then one of them. Ooh. Maybe. Shit. Oh snap! You done ruined the relationship. I <laughs> Soul should have stayed in his fucking lane, Mary. Well, I mean, my, I tell you, Zinro definitely thinks about that in his head of like, is there a, yet another pantheon, like another deity that I'm unaware of that cut off because he did something wrong? So, <clears throat> I'm going to make you roll a history check. Yeah. It's been a long time and you've died twice since you moved here. Because <laughs> you may not remember all the details. Well, I think it's just a straight die roll because history is intelligence. Or religion. Oh, I guess that's the same. Uh, religion would be slightly better because I, I took proficiency yep. in it. Then use that. So it's a uh, 20 total. Hey, perfect. Actually, no, 15 total because I think proficiency oh. is plus 5 from now. Dang it! Wait, 15 no, total? No, it's, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, 21 total. Oh, I was oh. like. No, I was thinking plus 5. Hey, hey are you good? <laughs> 20 to 15 to 21. What's going on? Okay, well, 20 was the number, so you're good either way. Um, 15 wouldn't have passed. That's why I was like, hold on. No, no, no. I rolled um, a 60 on the die and I was like, so. Plus five. You know um, from being here and studying as a, to be a bright monk that the two pyramids uh, were here before any of this. Um, the founding High Septon, his name was Heracidius. I'm going I'm to wait for you guys to ask to spell it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to sound it out. Yeah. Heracidius? Heracidius. Heracidius. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, founding what? Founding High Septum. I'll put his name in the group chat because it may come up again. And you guys are going to ask, and then I'm just going to have to tell it again. <laughs> um, I do love the idea that 
Trey not being here is just gonna see this name in the chat and be like, what the fuck? Um, so yes, the original High Septon founded the city of Jaru in the light of Sol. Uh, this was prophesized that this was the place where Sol descended from Karas Minel, the city in the, uh, city in the skies, to meet with him <clears throat> um, and spoke to him. According to the ancient scripture, this is the only reported sighting of Sol here in the material plane of Margast. It was when he spoke with Heracidius. No one knows what was spoken about that day as Heracidius found an oath of silence after this. But he devoted his life to building the city around the pyramids. The pyramids being named Serenium and Orlaxis. The larger is Serenium, the smaller is Orlaxis. Those words mean anything? Not that you guys know. Just the names of the pyramids. Just out of curiosity, what is the difference in height here? Um, the very substantial. Yeah, pretty pretty big difference. So, Serenium is probably close to twice the size of Oral Axis. Serenium is, um, imagine about forty stories tall, and Oral Axis maybe about fifteen to twenty, much smaller. But it is said that they were here before uh, Heracidius ever arrived. There is no archaeological information of how they were came to be. No one knows. But this is the, according to the scripture, the spot where Sol descended and spoke with. There's him. no other pyramids I know of in, in the world anymore, I guess. Just pyramids are a... Rarity. A confusing anomaly of architecture. Mm. Or they blocked off. Oh, that's it. <laughs> or they blocked off. They're guarded. Okay. You see... <clears throat> You see that there seems to be an entrance to each of the pyramids. Um, you guys probably could see this as you descended down the sand dunes before entering the city, and you were now the buildings kind of block your view unless you walked up to them. But they each seem to kind of have a cutout that seem to be guarded by two large, like statues, is what they look like. They're essentially large golems that are guarding the entrance to both. Okay. Well, I guess it's cool. <clears throat> can I just ask you another question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I know? If there's anything inside them, are they tombs or are they just structures? Um, no one is allowed inside. So the Bright Monks don't know technically what's inside so there. There is an entrance, oh, yeah, it's guarded, but nobody's been there. in. It's not guarded by the monks, it's guarded by these. No, I'm just saying there is an entrance. <laughs> it is guarded, but nobody's been inside. Exactly. Yeah. Not that you know of. Not that I know of. And I, the only it, is rumored that, it is rumored that people know what's inside, but... I guess, uh, what, what are the rumors, if I recall? It's in the ancient library, which you guys don't have access to. Okay, and not even the bright marks don't go into it. I know that, right? Or that not that I'm aware. That you're aware. Of. So I mean, I would know like religious people can't get. It. I don't know. Maybe you could, if you got that much of a play going on here. Um, and again, I think my original origin to that question was: Have I heard any stories about somebody who was a blue-skinned person from the founding of like being involved? Because she's making it sound like her mm -hmm. dad has touched most of the people. The founding of Jaru or the founding of this building? Not the bar. Okay. Jaru's essence. Like people coming here. Um, other than the fact that this was believed to be a place where Sol first came down. Because if he's got so much play, so much pull, people have to be coming here for other reasons than that. Just the bar. Um, and that's obviously your discretion. Yeah, you've, you've heard many different... Um, rumors and they range from Rumash has been here the whole time to Rumash came when he sensed the presence of the maiden Mera. Um, it's from gotcha. ancient godlike power to this beautiful tragedy love story. So it's lots of different rumors that have kind of spread. Especially during your time here, you know, years that you were here what, forty, fifty years ago? Uh, yeah, it would have been like, no, even before, it would have been like 60. Yeah, so you were before the time of the Blue Pearl, you were before the time of Mayra and Rumash. Okay. Um, but you do know that Rumash was present, but you didn't connect the time. dots. Yeah, you knew that Rumash was here from time to time as a djinn, or a genie, um, but he was not 
You never knew him. I as definitely just, like, wouldn't have focused on it. Exactly. People yeah. knew he was here, but it wasn't like this all powerful. It's definitely being. one of those things. Like, wait, was there like this blue guy that I knew this whole time? And I didn't, like, I it was. was like, oh shit! Like, I met this guy. Yeah. I hung yeah. out with him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you've seen him, but you would have probably never hung yeah. out with him. I was gonna say like in his normal form, like as a human walking. Maybe he was floating, but it doesn't really matter. I guess he could float. We, I mean, we've a uh, your, your mom's human, right? She's not for the most part. She's elf. Off as fuck, boy. Those are uh, souls, people. At least they deem themselves so. Your father may may be uh, may have made this place become a thing. You might be way more involved with uh, the soul than I could ever imagine. Yeah, much more than I ever imagined. I don't even know what to do with this information. Maybe we can use it to get it Well, the pyramids, they're rumored to have books and knowledge inside of them. No, nobody I know has ever been inside of it. But maybe we can test how, what's the limits of being the Marshall's daughter in this town. To see if I can even if it's just you, you could explore the halls and see if you find anything. You can all try and get in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get into where? The, uh, the pyramids? Which one? Oh, I guess you guys haven't left the bar yet. Well, yeah. Okay. I guess well, my, we're my, skiing right yeah, now. My, yeah. This is part just, of the planning just, phase? Just plot. Yeah, just plot. Plot. <laughs> I guess, uh, is there a specific... <gasps> At plot? noon, we plan. <laughs> <laughs> At dawn, we plan. Um, I yeah, guess if there's one specific one that might have the, the, the library you're talking about, would that be the big one? The small? library is not in the pyramid. Oh. The ancient library is... Remember, uh, I should probably just sing an image. Um, I guess when I, th- when I asked about the pyramid, I thought you said... It's uh, yeah, I thought you said that there was an the ancient library in the pyramid. library. No, no, I was no. saying... Talk about what is in the period, pyramid? It's in, in the ancient in library. The ancient library. Oh! We're just, yeah, no, we'll just go there then. We don't worry about the pyramids, although it could be a lie, it could be a rumor. Yeah, I'll try getting in the pyramids. Why not? Or maybe, yeah, we'll just. Uh, we'll I'm going okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Truth. This monk is down for both. Let's do both. <laughs> this mother monk is down for anything. <laughs> this mother monk. <laughs> <laughs> this monk a fucker is down for anything. He's a crazy monk. Is there anybody in the bar area or park here that just seems to be um, higher status? Yes, Jermaine. Okay, just catch it. It's all regal and shit, but I mean, it's very obvious. It's not like people like bow to him like Vitra, but they definitely kind of have like a a vibe whenever he walks by. They just kind of give him a nod, and it's almost like when you pass by like a police officer or something like walking by, like you kind of just like give him a nod sometimes. Yeah, it's just like a matter of respect. I almost don't want to bring attention to it, but I, you, I remember you saying that they were celibate. That's how you become a bright monk, right? Which is why I would never be able to be one. But. <laughs> Are they allowed to, do I know anything about them drinking? Yeah, they can drink. Okay. See, no, drinking is... Yeah, I would think that... Yeah. In the wrong like, place. Part, part of me wants to ask about it, but I have, like... Grano has no reason to even think of what to ask him, so I was just going to lay him low, unless you guys want me to try to spark a conversation, but that's not really... I'll do it. You go right ahead. I'm going to start. I'm going to grab the, my bottle. Grab my glass, and then head on over up. I guess I'm thinking of, like, Liza Minnelli, which is, uh, she wore a tuxedo, and Dan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think, like, what book she's probably yes. going on there. Mm-hmm. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, yeah, that's funny. You just think about me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy. She doesn't care about any sort of decorum. <laughs> but I look fine. Look at you. Look at you. So, anyway, so I'm going to go up to him, and I'm going to be like, hi. I'm going to sit right next to him. I'm sorry, who are you going up to? Tremaine. Tremaine. Tremaine, yay. You see, he is drinking a Bella Luna. Um, it's like that lavender purple drink. And he kind of looks down at you. He says, hello. Hi. I'm new here. And I can obviously tell you're the most well-off man in the room. So I decided to introduce myself. Oh my gosh. What can I do for you? Would you like to share some of my wine? It's too much for this one. I cannot drink this wine. Oh. This wine is beyond me. Mm-hmm. What are you drinking? This is the Bella Luna. Very good. Should I have one as well? 
If you enjoy good cocktails. Yeah, Ari, Ari is like, he like pulls an ear forward. One of these, please. You, you see him start to pour stuff and shake it. And <clears throat> after a few moments, yeah, he brings it over. Um, just, by all means, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So tell me about yourself. What is it that you would like to know about me? Good chat with a stranger. Ah. What's your name? I can't tell you that. Okay. Then we would not be strangers, would we? Okay, we'll give you the money better then. Make a friend. My name is Jermaine. Jermaine. The bright monk in the city. Your and you are. And your name? Cora. As in Coraline. No, as in Zen Cora. Is that your full name? <laughs> I just wanted you to have to look it up. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't even know your full name. Or it's horrible. it's tough. It is. Okay, I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't even pull up because it doesn't do the whole name. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot she had the one. Oh, okay, here we go. The core of famous Lithuania remains Stormlord. <clears throat> Stormlord. Yeah. Are you familiar? Of course. I believe your family has been to Jaworo. They have, yes. It does not bring me often. <laughs> Are you a follower of soul? I'm a follower of many things. Uh, is one of those things soul? Uh, he definitely catches my interest. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm keeping it, I'd like to try to stay where I'm at, but maybe lead it and try to hear whatever conversation goes on. Do you want me to make a perception? Yeah. I mean, are you trying to like do like a flyby where you're just like walking by and just... <laughs> <laughs> or are you trying to hear from far? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll find the nearest standing cocktail thing. If anyone comes up to me, I just ask for like a water. But if not, I'm just going to kind of stand by and take a look around and if, like, the music. Maybe that could be old man that just hovers in the yeah. five feet yes. back. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's not always easy being the old guy in the boat. Um, I don't know, back up. Go lay down. Um, be you know before, you know, be you know again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely are able to kind of pick up on what what's happening. It seems like a very benign conversation from his end. So <laughs> Yeah, just no aggression from him, but I don't think no, he'll do he's, anything No, he's entertaining her conversation. Yeah, he's being nice. Um, Obviously, he told me he's celibate, so nothing's happening here tonight. Well, I mean, you know, we religious folks can be dicks. <laughs> that is true. Look at me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it in your Zenro voice, so I was like, yeah, are you saying that out loud? Or? No, 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 well, she's, yeah. <laughs> just no, want to make sure. Say, Usually, that's like yeah. the tell for me to be like, all right, he's role-playing, yeah, so you yeah, said that out loud. No, no, no. Um, I was making that statement knowing that, you know, that would come from his, my character, yeah. but no, I did not say that out loud. Okay. Just make sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what right. do you do around here? Well, as one of the bright monks, I'm responsible for teaching the younglings, making sure we have order and respect of the gods. On my downtime, I like to come to the Pearl and take a load off with a nice drink. Meets strangers. Sometimes. Potentially friends, I hope. Do you plan on staying here? Um, yeah, I'll stay as long as we need to. Then it's probably best if we are on good terms. Anyway, I can make that happen. Don't break any of our laws. Don't assault anyone. Just be a generally good person and we'll be fine. Noted. I would have preferred you say something like yes. <laughs> <laughs> or can do. I don't know all your laws, so I can't make any promises, but... Jesus. What are your laws? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a list that I can read? Last time Regis was here, he spoke of all of his children. Oh, no. I don't remember him mentioning of Encora. That's not surprising. How long ago was he No, no, how long ago was he? How long ago was he here? Oh, uh, before the war. So, yeah. 
Yeah. You? Still not surprising. Just say I'm one of his favorites. <laughs> you see one. <laughs> You see, kind of scurrying around, kind of like, you see it, like, walking up to different tables and, like, looking up, and then walking over to another one and, like, looking up over it, just kind of, like, exploring, kind of trying to figure out what people are drinking and what they're doing. Mm. Seems to be a little, a little girl. So I just start to help a little bit. <clears throat> that oh, doesn't no. quite go with the music. I know, unfortunately. Uh, well, I've got to go. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, but I think a friend of yours is here. If you want to chat to them, I point over to Zinro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't recognize this man. I don't recognize this man at all. Well, stranger, that'll soon become your friend. I point over to him, and I'm like, I gotta go. Hello, stranger. I'm listening to the conversation, I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ruh -ruh. Hello, stranger. Hello. So is why I'd be with you. Of course, and with you, my name is Jermaine. <laughs> nice to see you, Brian and Jermaine. Probably not together thing. Uh, my name is Cradle. She said we were friends, but can't say I recognize you. Amazon? Yeah, you can tell the difference between Amazon and like food. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> I have 400 deliveries in the next three minutes. They're all in one song. <laughs> Turns into the, the Grinch side of it. Pink slip, pink slip, jury, jury. Do you walk over to the booth or did you walk over to the bar? Well, I was, I was at the bar. I like a cocktail table next to the bar. I'm like, oh, no, I, I don't think we are friends. We probably don't know each other. I was here <clears> many, many moons ago. So was I. I am. I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting a bright monk in person. Oh, the pleasure's mine. He like looks at your like kind of garb with the sun illuminating. He says, "That's impressive." A friend of mine made it for me. No offense, but that is more believable than you making it yourself. <laughs> Terrible. With <laughs> my hands. How long have you been dead? Oh, oh shit. I guess my, that's a good question. I, I haven't put a Two years, year. But no, I died while we met each other. Yeah. We so each other. that would have been the. You died at the. Athena. Yeah, was it Athena? Athena. Athena. Yeah. Athena. yeah. yeah. So I mean, about a year ago. Eight months to a year. Yeah, or about eight months. Well, Athena, the first time or that time you died was probably about six months ago. Athena was six months. In game. In game. I would just in say, game about six no, months. I, know. That's I just say uh, uh, about less than a year. Hmm. Your deterioration is holding well. I've been lucky. So lucky been kind. or blessed? One or the other. Hmm. Takes a sip. <clears throat> He's very much alive, right? Yeah. Okay. Seems to be. Seem, seems to. He's not faking those drinks. <laughs> no. No, he's just an elf, so he's full elf, right. so. You don't quite know how old he is, but you assume he's been here for hundreds of years. Um, I'm also not taken back by the fact that you could tell, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You've come here with Vencora Stormbow as a guardian, protector, friend. Uh, we are, you know, we're here <clears throat> somewhat, yeah. She's, she's a, a relatively new acquaintance. Mm. I've come across, uh, she was in Alteria, and we were doing some work for Jarek? I can't remember. Jarek. Jarek. Mm. And uh, she's kind of tagged along. New city for her, or not, well, not necessarily new, but it's you know, been a while, I guess. No one? What, it's been a while? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you plan on staying? Here in the city for long. Are you here on a path of righteousness or curiosity? I'm here to uh, rediscover some things about soul. 
rediscover. Well, the path of death, sometimes knowledge is lost. You need to rekindle that flame. Well, it, it seems to me your flame was rekindled. Maybe I don't feel the same way at the moment. Can't the blame you. Was here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Um, it's the but I'm more surprised the fact that everybody seems to know my friend Vitra. Mm. Oh yes. Didn't realize she was so recognized in this town. Not many have that blue. No. Not at all. Especially not here. Kind of passing by for a second. I can make a red if you need me to. <laughs> no, no. Don't change anything about it. He's true. Someone's about to make this element. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I did, did not hear that. I did. So, yeah, someone's about to make, you know, a celibate. A celibate. A celibate. Oh, thank you. Candy did. It's all yeah. better. We also don't know if he plays by that rule. He we don't play. know. But, um. How do they really tell, you know what I mean? I didn't realize her, her or her father was so well known in this town, man. Might have slipped to my mind many years ago when I was young. In my first pilgrimage here. Hmm. Well, Rumash has been here for a long time. Obviously, a little more absent lately, in recent years. I believe Soul will spite it into the astral plane where he stays. We believe that as well. Anyways, uh, huh? Do you happen to? <laughs> no, I think about it. <laughs> I was like, here, right here. Oh well, no, I can. I I wouldn't know about this. I'm curious about all of my teachings. Uh, I guess maybe it was something uh, when I was in. I think you call them gray monks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gray monks. No, gray monks are the white ones. Oh, the gray. No ones that are yellow gray. or gray. Gray monks. Gray. When I was a, a, a gray monk, um, I don't recall Rumash coming up in, in Seoul's history. But to have such an impact in a town built specifically from Seoul, I guess I, I don't, unless it's information you're privy to, I'm just curious as to why you would do such a thing to something that is no threat to him. As Rumash was. It's me. It's just oh, the, the music. Music. I mean, it's definitely like more hood. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a lot of bass. <laughs> um, so, your question is if I'm hearing it correctly, why would Soul banish Rumash if he's no threat? I suppose, yeah. Hmm. Would you consider a single mouse to be a threat? I would not, no. Yet in so many homes, we set mouse traps not because of the single mouse, but the potential threat that they would mate and quickly and rapidly grow to an unmanageable amount, which could then become a threat to your home, chewing through the boards that hold it up itself. It's cruel, of course, for that mouse, but knowing the future, and what may happen if that mouse trap was not placed could become a threat. You understand me? I get the sense that you're referring to uh, many, one becoming many, many becoming powerful. Without beating around the bush, I'm referring to God's mating with the non-divine and the troubles that that could lead to 
with half-blooded deities. Soul knows this, the deformities that it could create from his own issues. <clears throat> I'd love to verse with Mira, if that name rings a bell. And I'll see if I see the recognition one way or the other. Design. His face is stone. stone. Which I believe, uh, in what history I have learned, it was Ramash's romantic uh, involvement, which created Vitra. But I, I guess I'm getting the impression that that either Rumash is a deity that I was unfortunate to not learn about, or that Soul had intentions with Mera before Rumash. My theology is weakened over time. Admittedly. The likelihood that the girl, Mera, had any sort of connection with Soul is almost impossible. Rumash, however, very plausible. Rumash had a reputation of being very likable by all peoples. Not romantically, as she was inclined to, but some people just radiate charisma, and it's hard to not like somebody who's so generous with their time, with their efforts, and their assets. Rumash was quite possibly the m main reason the city was able to erect itself. He gave everything. Oh, we were lost. I have a hard time figuring out where we're going with this conversation. Yeah. How uh, come it seems that everybody knows Ramash. Mm. Actually, forgive me, I think I've answered my own question in a moment of thought. You wouldn't want to put a fake idols or idols to a, another being in a town that you yourself have descended upon. We don't consider Rumash an idol. We don't consider him in the same league as Saul, of course. But... Not to be questioned. But... Let's be honest, not all gods are created equal. Some are much less powerful than others. Some much more powerful than others. Personally, I'd rather fight for the winning team. If you catch my drift. And Sol has given me everything I could have ever wanted. And from the looks of you all, looking at your gowns and rings and magic items that you carry with you, he says, seems he's been good to you all as well. You're welcome. It's all me. Specifically to you. Seems like his son has helped you quite a bit. Oh. He's going to look you up and down. Yeah. <clears throat> My like. <leg. clears throat> Well, you know, the deck thoughts on I mean, he can if he wanted to, but he has to be careful because I think if you fail past a certain point, he knows. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, yes, uh, and kind of, you see like a little, kind of a like, little bit of a, a relief in a way. Uh, I go, yes, Mercury has been quite kind to me in the absence of his father's light in my own soul. Maybe his kindness is an attribute of his father's light. Mm. I respect it. Has Mercule ever spoken badly of soul? Assuming we he's spoken with you. We've exchanged words, but his father doesn't come up. Then it seems he is not his enemy. With due time, I will feel the same way. <clears throat> Oh, you are not Soul's enemy. To be an enemy of Soul, you must be of parallel power. With respect, I think you know you are not. 
I'm just a little rat. A mouse. Don't get stuck in the trap. He takes a sip. I'm gonna flop down next to you. <sighs> it's a booger. I'm gonna take a drink of, I'm gonna chug the little uh, blue drink. Purple. Oh, look, sorry. Come on. It's You're ruining your version. The <laughs> purple drink, I'm chug it. Like, how's the catching up going? Just two gentlemen having a theological <clears throat> discussion. Huh. Not bad. Do you know anything about ghosts? Souls running around? Anything in ghosts. souls writing? Of course. Is there a particular question you mean to ask? Yeah. You know, is it normal to see them? He's going to wave over to the Loxodon and says, <laughs> Yeah, a few moments later. As he's like talking, you'll see him like come with another drink. Um, sorry, what was your question again? Is there anything in Soul's writing about, or anything of your knowledge, religious wise, about being able to see souls of people that have not moved on among the living? Well, sometimes the folks who have not moved on can still be among the living. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I- I would just like to say... Case in point, <laughs> as somebody who has died and been brought back to the existence of the living, she sees those... <laughs> Had to drink, sorry. I believe... She sees these souls. I believe... I've seen in some texts here and there of those who, who claim <clears throat> to see those between that, where the body is non-existent, where the soul still prevails. I don't recall too much more than mere rumors. Maybe you have more information to that, to that knowledge, but her curiosity is just fascinated by such a topic. I'm not sure why. Obviously, I like dead things. Everyone has different reasons for their purpose in life. Mine is to teach soul's blessings and praise. Yours might be to preach the love of Mercule. Our beloved Vitra may just be trying to survive each day in a confusing world. But Vincora here, I fear that she has um, well, if anyone should know anything, it should be you, my friend. Seems like she has a connection. <laughs> Seems like she may have a connection to your afflicted deity. Not a lot of answered questions there at the moment. Are you familiar with the fairy, huh? And what that means? Feel free to elaborate. It's not my place to teach you. The fairy? If you do not know, then it's something you must learn. But not from me. Is, it is, is there a library around here I can learn about that? Unfortunately not. Not for you all, but many cities have learned people that would be happy to go over these things with you. It is unfortunately against my beliefs to speak of it, but not for you. I'll take a deep thought about it whenever we separate it from this, just to put a pen there. Um, the, I do know that we're not allowed access to some of the, the, high, the libraries here. Is there a way to earn your way in? Absolutely. Um, about 15 to 20 years of devotion. <laughs> so. Do we get credit for past experience? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> what about I feel like that was a cheeky joke for him. <laughs> what about the blue girl? She is. I'm not looking over there. She is um, welcome in most parts of the city. Unfortunately, just because of her heritage, does not gain her access to our ancient texts. I just really like to read, as well. <laughs> Me too. I've read every book in that library. 
<laughs> Anything interesting? Okay, so I'm going to finish my drink. I'm going to walk up to the bar and oh, get another one. Just if you consider the creation of the world interesting. Which I do. I do. Yes, yes, my, yes, my lady. Absolutely. One second. And he just little lemon twist serves it up. Just to end uh, our conversation, because I feel like we got to a point where there was. But yeah. I, I'll just say, um, well, Mercule has been faithful, has been kind to me, and I hope so remains kind to you, Jermaine. Blessings upon you as well as Ellen and Lillard. Both of them, I'm sure, would receive them, receive that blessing with open arms. Uh, he's gonna like, he's gonna bit. like reach out and just kind of put his hand on your like arm, like by the table, um, and you're going to gain uh, inspiration. As he essentially blesses you with inspiration. All right, we gotta get in the fight in the next ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, let's go to the pyramids. Yeah, that's not that's not how I do it. It's just okay. you have it until you use it. Well, that's good. Uh, but I, I'll leave Especially it. given by someone like Jermaine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll let him be with his drink because he was just trying to chill. So it looks like he's got one more. And I'll come back over to you guys. Yeah, you guys see Jermaine kind of stand up and walk over to the bar and sit down kind of at the bar top now. Um, starts chatting it up with the Loxodons again. What time is it for the... It's hard to tell. There's no windows. It's so all inside. You, come in here. you guys came in around like probably, I would guess probably like four, five p.m. somewhere like, yeah. getting to like late afternoon, early evening. Well, but we want to try and it's been a little while, so. Try and get into the pyramids. Right, it'll probably be the best time. He said that if we want to go to the oh, sure yeah, doing it at night, would be the best bet. Well, I mean, we know it's guarded, but who's a guard? Like just like without out. random guards? Or you would know it's not guards, it's like large statues. That oh, golems, basically. That were there before the city. Oh, yeah, that is probably based on guys. Well, we're level 13. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have to go in. We're practically gone. We wouldn't have to go in through the doorway. What's the kid's name? And create a passage. Oh. You don't know yet. You don't have to have see. you talked to it? I haven't. I wouldn't have to be there, but I think we create a passage through the wall, through the pyramid, and then it'll close. So oh, I, I thought maybe you'd have to see where you're going. Because we don't know. Create a passage? I, I honestly don't know if that pyramid's full of anything or if it's hollow. 20 feet deep in the tunnel. So, it would just open up into a room, I would assume. It's not already dead, I'm down. We're in the city mm -hmm. where that place mm -hmm. is sold, mm -hmm. and all, we're going to cause destruction in the city. Yeah. We're going to be kicked out and not welcome back. And it's going to be a big, not a good thing. It makes me a little nervous, too. I mean, I've gotten a lot of praise in the city so far. <laughs> She's like, this is my favorite city so far. Uh, we're, we're city. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the mayor yeah, practically came out and shook your hand, you know? <laughs> I guess I guess the issue then becomes. I mean, the most he, important being here. But he's a good guy. I'm not blessing myself. There are many people that walk this city and make it last. Mm -hmm. And all of them like so. I think we it's sounds to me like we got a lot of information about things, but there are things that they're not willing to tell us or they can't tell us yeah. too. I was under yeah. the impression we were here to also find out about Mesquil. Mm -hmm. You stole That's why that problem. Yeah. 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 Cool. We but we hey, I would say we still have that problem. You still have that problem. That's a, that's a you problem. problem. Yeah, that's a you problem. Get that S right off of there. Hey, let that's me just say I have not been the only one that's had to deal with him. We've all had to deal with him in some way. Oh, okay. trust me. No, I, would like, I would like to kill Mesquil. I would, yeah. I would like to do that just for the sake of oh, yeah. again, that, the connection to a multi yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. So that, then the question becomes, what are we, what's, what's the plan now? If we're not going to try to get the library. So we might do this right here in public? 
Where? The library yeah. may be where we can get the information on med school and That's figure out what happened with the library. 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 Can you yes. create a passage? Yeah, we can basically do anything. We'll play. All this stone wood or normal shit, I imagine. Normal shit. All right. Well, I'm going to do a quick pause. All right, we're back. We're back. When we watch this back later, it's going to be like that, but yeah. it was like 30 minutes for us. <laughs> cool. Um, so, you were saying you had the little bunch of kids to go run oh, around? I guess for this. I need a friend, guys. Her name is... Melissa. Melissa. Okay, so it's Melissa. 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 Okay. So, there's a little girl around here named Melissa. She's... Do I see her? Okay, I don't know if she's like standing right in front of me. She is not interacting with you at the moment, uh, but she is just, in, she's in the bar. Okay. Kind of looking around, I guess she's, I curiously. You know, popping her little head around. Oh, she's so cute. She's a little cute one. Sometimes they're not so cute. Uh, anyway, so she looks about pretty tall. She's probably about 13, 14 years old. And then, uh, I think she can help us. Well, uh, well, I hope so. I don't know. Melissa, come here. She kind of scurries over to you. Yes. Hey, Melissa. You, uh, I see you got a little hurt there. Oh, yeah. Just a no. little. Ooh, you know what? I probably shouldn't do this on here. I'll show you a picture of her later. But, uh, do you know of something called the library? You know, libraries, libraries, libraries are where they keep books. Do you mind going into one for us and just seeing, you know, what the guards are doing and all that? Uh, what's in it for me? She crosses her arms. Is this something to do while you're dead? And... I don't open, say that. She's open to negotiations, but she doesn't know about that. Yeah. She's a little girl. Um, I see that you've got a little, a little boo-boo. Right there. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry, what? So maybe I can help with that? How? It's just kind of what I'm going to have. Hmm? In the park. Yeah. I'm going to act like I'm not <clears throat> hearing her conversation because it made me crazy to imagine you talking to somebody I couldn't see, so. Mm -hmm. Just act natural. What do you want? She knows we can't see them. Yeah, right. What do well, I want? Um, well, I would like to be alive again. Can you make that happen? I will definitely go into the library if you can make that happen. You know what? I can help you. Sure. I can. Well, that's pretty powerful. Okay. Cool. What do you need me to do? Let's go to the library. Do we know where the library is? Yeah. Yep, she's going. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints on her end. <laughs> she, belie she believes you, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, yeah. Are we sure there's only one big library, right? Yep. Are oh, you looking at the picture? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me let me go to it and show oh, yeah. you. Show us, so, tell us which one on the picture, so. Obviously, you see the two big pyramids, and you see the golems out front, right? Yeah. Um, you guys are kind of close to that center uh, soul symbol, okay. right? That's uh, sun. Uh, the building with the red tents, I don't know how close you guys can get in, but yeah, it's like it. like southeast of the, of, the, of the sun thing is like a building with some red tents. It's like two buildings kind of connected. Uh -huh. That's where the blue pearl is. It's like underneath that. So you guys are pretty close to the center of town that... Super large looking fortified building is the where four, the library is. With the four pillars? With the four pillars, yeah. So next to that obelisk and the courtyard, okay. uh, like prayer courtyard, that large building is where the library is. That's not just the library, that is the main building of the Bright Monks. That is where they study, that's where they talk. Headquarters, I guess. That is their HQ of the Bright Monks. Yeah, that's still, still a good idea. Still, it's going to be HQ, yes? Instead of just going to the pyramids. Yeah. Which would be easier to get to? That's the question. 
I so would we're assume we're waiting till nighttime. Well, I think it's already nighttime. Yeah, I thought it was like sun setting. Well, I think it's at like six o'clock. I'm, I'm assuming it's desert motif. It probably doesn't. Yeah, we should probably wait until. Well, and so we're staying with the. Yeah, we should probably figure out where he is or where we're staying that night. Yeah, what his building is. Okay, cool. Okay. Melissa, just follow us around for a little bit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can I? She's so I want to serve the familiar. I want to serve the familiar. I have okay. been doing the dragon? Well. Yeah, I want some of the little dragon. And have it go look around the pyramids up in the sky. Like. Are you summoning this inside the bar, or are you waiting until you all leave? <laughs> we'll leave. Okay. Well, let's make so sure you guys get time. outside first, because it may cause some reactions of people if you do it inside the bar. Yeah, right. I think it's in the bar. Why does it make a bond mm. here? Because I usually do. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's work. Kind of in private or an alleyway. Well, I'm on. We have to figure out where we're staying tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sparky. Sparky. Oh, yeah. Which one are you flying now? Sandeep or Ari? Talk to that. Big kind of walks over. He kind of puts his big locks out on arms and elbows on the table on the bar and kind of leans in. Yes. What can I do for you? I just wanted to know where your house was so we know where to stay for tonight. Ooh, Ari will take you after his shift. When does the shift end? Probably... Ari! You hear him speaking in a language. Uh, he says... Uh, maybe hour? Hour half tops. Okay. okay. He's, he's doing well because of the return of, of Rumash, so... Okay. Um, he's making good tips. So okay. he wants to stay a little longer than normal. Understandable. Okay. We're, we're in no rush. We just wanted to... Check in so that we have a, a time gauge to make sure that we're here for sure. his convenience. Sure. Okay. You are my guest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any any cocktails while you're here? Yes, I have another bottle. Of course. I'll oh. take a. <laughs> I'll take an almost eye. Okay. Almost eye. Ari, you make an almost eye. I don't know what that is. I'll make it for you. <laughs> almost. That's another one of the deviant cocktails. Really? Of course. It's Omo. You know of his history. Assuming if you're ordering his tea. Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Did you do it with the little hands on the hip? No, I don't do that. <laughs> I lean in. Omo is much like Rumash. Banished in a way, right? So it's always interesting when someone comes asking about him. Do you know why he was banished? He's cruel. I mean, most gods are, of course, but he was a little more cruel than most. But that's why he can only stay in the sea. What did he do? Oh, just the tip typical pillaging, and raping, killing. Oh. But oh. this was an old time. Wait, pick him. Wait. <laughs> Very powerful, of course, but I mean, most gods are. Mm -hmm. Direct son of soul. When was he banished? Years ago, I assume. Oh, but before our time, of course. Mm -hmm. This was before the divergence. Mm -hmm. So before everything, really. So he's been gone a while. Well. Oh yes. I mean, not gone. Of course, he's every wave that crashes upon the shore is Omo. Mm -hmm. Every ship makes its voyage safely mm -hmm. is Omo. The ones that do not make it safely suffer the wrath of all. Mm -hmm. So, you could say he's still cruel in a sense, but he passes judgment in his own way. Mm -hmm. Seems all the gods do. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate Seems like a lot of responsibility. I'm glad I'm not a god. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I just make drinks. Speaking of. Never know. Are you? <laughs> and he, uh, he's like, speaking of. And you see him kind of like pulling some bottles out of like different spots. And he's like, it's a more complicated drink. One second. And he like mixes it up. And you see him like instead of shaking it, he's like swirls it. And he creates like this, like a, uh, like spinning almost like a hurricane, like in the glass. And he's shaking a clear glass that you see it like spinning. And then, and then after that, he like does a little like bartending flare and like pops the bottle up and like spins once or twice and lands in his other hand. He's like 
uh, with his trunk, he's like holding the other glass and shaking it as he starts to like cut the garnish and he's like with, out of his trunk and he's like cutting the garnish up and then he pours it into the glass and presents it. He says, the Omozai. Now, because of Itra, it's on the house. Well, but you. if you guys come back tomorrow, we may ask you to pay. Understand. <laughs> I am going to give him the gold coin though for the information <gasps> for the, and for the, the, the presentation. Do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Give it to Ari. He works hard. Such a good dad. And he, and he kind of winks at you, and he kind of like passed the table. He's like, "All right, who's next?" I wish I had. It. And then, yeah. if you want to go, if you want to go to Ari, he, I'll go to Ari yeah. and give him the give him the gold coin. Your dad did for me. For the service. Goes, you know, right? You're doing wonderful. Thank, Thank you so right. much. Come back anytime. <laughs> Ari's still big. He's still an elephant, yeah. but yeah. he's uh, not nearly as big as his dad. You could, you would guess he's probably like a late teenager. Yeah. Is the best guess. Cool. So you get your drink. Um, are you guys staying? I know you want to go outside. Is everyone else going with him, or is some of y'all staying in? Some are going out. Yeah, I'll drink my drink and then okay. join them. There's not, there's not a okay. I'm gonna just go dance with Melissa. It with music, music. Melissa is gonna dance with you. Yeah, she's. She's kind of enjoying it. You get the I'm idea? That's probably why she comes here. You don't it's know a little more fun. with me, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, you get the idea that... Sorry. Um, you get the idea that that's probably why Melissa comes here, because it's a more fun environment. Picking up on your Oh, no. It went away. Oh, no. You look really. I'm not bored anymore. I know. Okay, so you guys inside get to kind of enjoy, enjoy a little bit of like dancing with Melissa and you guys are kind of enjoying some cocktails. It's getting a little bit not later in the night so the band you know, kind of changes up a little more dancey music and a few other people join y'all once you get onto the dance floor. Um, really just starting to enjoy the, the, the night, yeah. Um, uh, Rat, is anyone going outside with Rat? Nope. Okay. I, I, I'll go out with him. Here for a good time. Multiple times. We've like, <laughs> been out together specifically, so. Okay, so no, as you guys go out, as you guys go out, um, I really hope the music isn't like cutting off the microphone. Sometimes it does that, so we'll find out later. Yeah. Um, but pretty much everyone's here, so we may not need to watch this one back. Um, because I think the music's important for the vibe of this. Um, so, as you guys go out, um, uh, Cassia flags you down. She says, oh, we've completed! And she hands you three masks. They are woven tightly, um, like a thicker material than cotton, um, but they are not like a hard plastic or anything. But they are definitely the three different happy, sad and neutral emotion theater masks. Um, All white with just like a smile, a frown, and just kind of a flat mouth. She says, is this what you were hoping for, just to express yourself a little better? Uh, I'll take a look at it. Uh, Yes, it's a good like, uh, a good starting point. Oh, can we do better? Well, maybe uh, in due time, I could maybe come with a harder material or something that would protect against the elements. I mean, feeling the cloth, it definitely is yeah. pliable. Uh, maybe at some point in time, they get a, a ceramic or a thin marble or something. Maybe you can ask... No. I don't know anyone here that'd be able to do that. I was thinking maybe the blacksmith, but... I think that might be too heavy if you have... Uh, maybe some thin platinum mixture of something, I don't know. But this is, this is grand. Uh, you definitely in the heat, the, the breathability would be most important. Maybe, maybe you can show this to other people and say, can you make this out of ceramic as a starting point, you know? 
That is exactly my thought. Well, we can't. Um, <laughs> but I hope you can. We find it somewhere. Thank you very much. Soul be praised. Soul be praised indeed. Oh, and you too, sir. <laughs> you look great, by the way, both of you all. I know you went in dressed differently, um, but you look fantastic. Really dapper. <laughs> like remote. <laughs> oh, yeah. I well, <laughs> so until so you go outside, um, you summon your familiar. Try to find an owl way. Sure. Yeah, there's lots of. At this point, you notice it's been a little bit longer than y'all thought. Maybe time went by a little quicker while inside the um, while inside the speakeasy. It's definitely a little bit later. Uh, maybe you guys had just had so much stress that just kind of relaxing and mm-hmm. hanging out was you know made time go by a little bit quicker. But it's like. Kind of like nighttime, like you can tell the sun probably recently set. Um, it's darker, uh, just past, just past like dusk. You see me turn back around. I'm like neutral, happy, probably happy is a good one. <laughs> it's like that white theater mask. Uh, yeah, go with the neutral. It's, it goes back with the aesthetic. Neutral. Okay. I try to, I don't know how I fix on it, if it's like a... I mean, I assume there's probably like some sort of strap yeah. up behind, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to see, like, too much of a happy place, I'm going to go with the neutral. Well, the neutral's good, that's how I feel. It's a big slide. Sorry, I'm behind the building. I mean, it's, it's all sand, right? Or is it like stone? What's the ground right here? Uh, it's stone, but definitely sand everywhere. Okay, so can I just... Stick on the ground, do my little ritual, and summon a, uh, a black snake dragon kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It slithers. Yeah, and so I have it crawl up, and then I will tell it to go. Because uh, once it's past 100 feet, I can't talk with it anymore, but it's, it'll come back after it flies That's... up, looks around the pyramids, sees anything weird, and it comes back. Okay. All right. Um, is it looking for anything specific? Um, entryways, guards, um, and anything odd. Like, if it's a pyramid, it should be a pyramid, it should be dust, sand, stone, it should be statues, that makes sense. Anything, like, shiny, open, people climbing it, like, where I live. Anything out of, odd, out of the ordinary, and then guards is my main. Does it have its own stat block, or does it use yours? Um... It has the step lock. When it comes to guards, could I mention that um, I'm pretty sure the, the stone okay. statues outside are guardians, so there's not necessarily inherently people in here. Mm-hmm. So since it's a flying one, I would say it has a step lock like a hawk. Right? Okay. Well, then it probably it's just the aesthetic is I like the dragons. So, but I'm pretty sure because it can't burn fire or anything. It just flies. Does it have advantage on perception checks if it if you're using like the hawk stack, which I would Maybe. definitely allow? Yep. Uh, I thought you were trying to make a like, Star Wars reference and I hate sand, it's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> that was one of the lines everybody hates hate and curse and curse. Yeah, I know, it's yeah. so dumb. So I hate sand. It's, yeah, it's oh, coarse. It has advantage on perception checks that rely on sand. Perfect. Then go ahead and roll a perception with advantage. Which is the theory. Oh yeah, I remember you mentioned But that's the theory of why he's called Luke in Tatooine. It's because it's a planet. Yeah, so your dragon familiar kind of soars through the sky, like kind of slithering, like a, mm-hmm. up and down. Um, it flies around each pyramid, kind of figure eight style, looking and looking. Um, it definitely sees two large golems at the front of each. Um, each pyramid, and as the dragon flies by, the golems just. Um, just kind of watching as it goes, like ever present. Um, and the uh, the pyramids themselves look like they can be climbed. Uh, it doesn't look like a completely smooth edge. It looks like every six or so feet is another block of like sandstone that you can kind of reach up and climb up. Um, doesn't look easy, but it does look climbable. Um, but he doesn't see anything else. Um, this is kind of towards the back of the city, so there's no like houses over here. It seems like that's kind of like holy ground. So. Alright, we'll have to go back. Everyone else is kind of kind of slither over there. 
Yep. yep. Whereas around your your uh, kimono. Yep. And then uh, that's a like ten minute ritual cast. So sweet. Um, I don't know if we're heading back in or heading back out at that time. But. Well, you go back in and everyone's inside, kind of having a good time, um, drinking, dancing. There's uh, more people here than there was when y'all first arrived. Um, you don't see any other bright monks wearing that particular garb, but a couple of gray monks are here. Um, other than that, just seems like city folk. They're all hanging out, enjoying a beverage. Uh, the goblins watch my dragonfly. So they're active. The goblins are the guardians of the temples. But they knew that my dragon was there the second they came with him. So this at the entrance? This at the entrance. Did you know? Should we that's that's the only entrance that he saw was the normal ones. Yeah, I did see, you did see the other entrances, but he had the poles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You said he tried, he was looking He was looking for entrances in his hand. Yeah, I can create them. They disappear. But, I guess it comes down to we want to do the library. Well, what we could do, so Ari is supposed to take us to their home after the shift. We could maybe just let them know that we're going to go enjoy nighttime in the city and maybe check back in with him later. I mean, I feel like we need to let them know we're leaving or they're going to be looking for us. Right. And I'd rather have some sort of alibi or something if we're going to be sneaking into a forbidden place. Right, I would just teleport us. Back to the house. I don't know what the house is. Y'all don't know what it is. Our house. Our house. Oh, I guess that's true. Our house. So we can so, either your house or the place in uh, Red Red Red. Yeah. So you have circles in each of those places. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I can. Yeah, I can teleportation circle us to the house, but if, like in getaway, I can teleport. Okay. So, well, then I guess we can okay. never mind. Level 13, baby. We got level 7 spells, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Y'all was good. I got a little late. Oh, that's, that's right. You're 14. You're 15. Yeah. Let them know. It's, it's an action. So, in six seconds, I can get us out of anywhere we want to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, level 8's kind of a lame spell slot. Like, Unless there's more from the book that aren't part of this guy's mod. The cool thing is that you can just use it as like an additional level 7 and level 5 yeah, or something. Right. I mean, it has some good ones. It does, like, but like, you clearly get a big step up when you get to level 7 spells, because you yeah, get like, it was, it was, Force Cage, you get Teleport, you get like these, like, planar travel yeah, spells. Yeah, I'd rather work another level 7 spell. Yeah, yeah. and then you, you get to level 8, and it's like, there's some cool, like, combat spells, but... I got Earthquakes, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Pretty large. But, anyways, I sorry. Control the weather. I just think it's cool to, so, I'd rather just use it as a more powerful level 5 spell, or a, yeah. you know. So, yeah, but we can. Right. Well, then I'll, I'll let them know that we don't need a place to stay after all. And we have a room to travel. Okay. I do still have my temple I can put up. Yeah. Okay. I don't so, really have beds in there. It's not super comfortable. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, well, I guess I'll go to whoever is closer. Sandeep or Ari. Oh, okay. For what? Just to let them know that we okay. actually. Okay. So, so you kind of get their attention, and Sandeep sees okay. you. Says, that was the eye. It was incredible. And delicious, right? Yes, it was wonderful. He may he may have made mistakes, but we make a good ring for him. <laughs> At least, you know, that's good. That's great. I'm sure delicious. he's doing well in the seas. Not that we have any oceans anywhere close to here. <laughs> yes. Very aware of that, I'm feeling that. Um, what do you mean? Never mind. Do you feel the ocean? Oh, no. Just, you know. That's incredible. It's, yeah. Um, so we actually, we, we really appreciate your hospitality. Um, we, we actually have been able to make other arrangements and um, it looks as if we're going to have a way to um, get home tonight. So we are, Oh. We, we don't need to stay with you, but we really appreciate the oh. hospitality and the offer. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, was there anything that we've done to offend you? No, not at all. No, this was, this, I did not realize that my friend here had the ability to, um, uh, get us where we needed to go tonight. So, um, we actually... Where, where do you need to go? Maybe I can help with this. No, it's just home. That's all. So, obviously we live far from here. And so we're able to do that. And we didn't need a place to stay tonight. Okay, well... 
But again, thank you. This has been an incredible experience. We are deeply enjoying ourselves, and of course, it's been wonderful to see our Vitra get appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our friend can teleport us home. We forgot he could do that. Long story short. Good for your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Don't. Thank you. Are you leaving now? No. Oh, we'll hang out for a bit. All right. Yeah. Enjoy Absolutely. it. Can I dance some more? Yeah, I'm going to dance. Well, I'm going to throw a bit outside. Yeah. We'll probably uh, finish my drink. Melissa starts, like, dancing with you, and you see her, like, kind of, like, kind of grooving around a bit, and then she, like, puts her hands up here, and she's, like, looking through the holes in her hands at you. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> they're, like, pretty large holes. They're, like, they're not, like, little splinters. They're, like, like a big chunk out of her palm, like, silver dollar out of her palm. Yeah. I'm going to put Y'all don't know this. She, Obviously, she doesn't she seem to show any pain, but she's like. Oh, you didn't tell me. Is she an elf? Is she a human? She's human. She's a human. Uh, half elf. So, most of her human qualities, but she is technically half elf. Okay. I can tell because of the ears and Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Ears, a little bit of dialect. Um, just. She's way more human than you look. Maybe a quarter. Yeah, the book specifically says in there for half elves. If you're an elf, you see the elf side. If you're a human, you see human attributes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard for me to tell the other way around. Interesting. That's how the player's handbook puts it. And you're a human. So I see human. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Like you would look at her if you could see her, you'd see the elf side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway, so well, yeah, Jamin. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll. You know, Finish my drink. I'll probably throw another gold coin and head out. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. It's an odd move. Oh, you just went. Okay. I'm so ready. There's a lot of. So anyways, we're dancing, we're jamming. I figured we would yeah, like 30 more minutes. And then, yeah. And then how many drinks I have? Me. <laughs> yeah. So your... I had several. First of you? Yeah. I'm going to try to request a song. Yeah, they're so inconspicuous. I wonder why they're... Okay. Um, now, what are you guys planning on doing after this? Yeah, I think we're going to the library. Question. That is very conspicuously. Inconspicuously. Non-conspicuously. <laughs> Go into the library. <laughs> Everyone, look at us. <laughs> We're gonna break it. You, you remember from Vitra? Break it in the library. Right? <laughs> Come not. see it live. <laughs> it's gonna be We're as streaming. <laughs> We're going to the library expeditiously, baby. <laughs> Inconspicuous library. I can't get this right. Inconspicuous library. First, first time. <laughs> <laughs> We're taller. So we should probably go to an alley first to yeah. be in private. I mean, it seems like the building's kind of out in the middle of the open. Just in the picture. It well, is. Okay. You can make yourself invisible. Can you make the rest of us invisible? I can turn myself into something. Extreme. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Hmm? So I can do mm -hmm. shit. I can, turn you, I can turn you into a mouse or something. Oh, you can fly in your room. Not after that mouse analogy. <laughs> <laughs> ha! I don't want to be a spider. Yeah, I can be a spider. We should all turn into spiders for Trey. <gasps> That'd be awesome. I can't technically do that. Technically, there's been. Like Imagine if we ever got to a spot, which I'm sure will happen, where you could like play D and D like completely VR, and like I could like be I could create the scenarios like virtual reality, and like you say I turn into a spider and I can like 
and then like spy. everyone you sees you as a spy. I hope that I live in a time where you can do that, yeah. man. Then you would see eight eyes. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, and your so perspective would be like eight eyes and you shrink down to the ground. What in the world is happening? You're like looking up at everybody. Just like be in the world. Like, like, oh, no, I'm like, you can fly. You, down and you, see, like, you can fly and like literally fly. So like, I can turn all of us invisible, but then I won't be able to create, I can only create one possibility. No. No. Uh, yep. So why don't we try to get that invisible? We can we can make ourselves very quiet. Um, we can turn you into something. A mouse spider. Yeah. Do we want somebody to maybe be at the front and distract the domes? Wait, are we going to pin it to the library? I thought we were going to the library. Is the library guard still? Oh, no. I was thinking the main yeah. library. Library is just in that building. Um, I have good stealth. I mean, I can just try and stealth. Yeah. So yeah. it depends on how well I roll. Bandit of itself. I mean, pass without a trace just gives us advantage. And it gives you a plus. Gives you a plus ten. Yeah. Plus ten. Oh, right. okay. As long as we're getting. Oh, well, then I'm getting right now. I will always at least get twenty five on myself. Oh, and you're fine. So, yeah, you're right. So can we pass with that? Can we cast it on her? Yeah, I said it's her. No, pass with that. Cast it on the person, and then as long as we're within ten feet, I think is. So why don't we just cast it on all of us? Yeah, and then we're use that. It's like here. It's like yeah. It's like plus ten. Okay. Today. She basically becomes a circle. If we're yeah. within her circle, we get. Perfect. Yeah. Well, then let's do that then. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah. This is easy. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, I can turn somebody invisible. I mean, I have plenty of spell slots. I can turn somebody, like, individuals. Like, if you might need advantage with this. Yeah. Still. Oh, I your stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, you are going invisible. I still have my boots of elven kind too, so. Um, perfect. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and cast Pass Without a Trace. Wait, can we do that when you get closer? I, mean, I thought we were already there. Oh, we're already right, right. No, I thought we were still in this. I think I thought we were still in this. I don't think we were. I thought we were. It takes us. I mean, we were walking out, but I think it's going to take us a second to get to that bigger okay, elven. Yeah, it's going to take us a Melissa. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> she comes running like hands first. <laughs> oh, here's a. I really want to put like a little bow inside of it and make it like. I'll do that later. I guess I would go through a rat Oh, are we all now kind of by ourselves or going around? Swimmingly, yeah. Okay, I'll show y'all. One, I'm going to get rid of our, our outfits. We're not going to get rid of I'm going to get like five gold to Ari and five gold to the other guy. Oh. <clears throat> As I maybe. I don't know how many drinks I've had. Or you can say that's a The drinks were on the house, my friend. But this is your tip for being such an amazing bartender. Wow. Very generous. Um, my pleasure. I will, this will go to a good place. And then, and then Ari, Ari's like losing his mind. He's never had a tip of five gold before. He's like, I, I don't know what to say. You're, you're too kind. You're too kind. No wonder the, no wonder the, the she's with you. You came for kissing the cheek. Oh my god! I didn't think the elf would fall in love with you. Wait, what? She kissed him on the cheek. Remember? Kissed him on the cheek? Yeah. His trunk shrivels up this a little bit. This isn't good. Remember, Rain had like several drinks. Um, I don't know how many she is. He's gonna, he's, you're gonna see his like, his gray face kind of like turn to like this purplish plum, like, like. He's gonna cover his face with his hand. He's like, he's like, you are welcome here anytime. <laughs> Whatever you want. Yes, it's good. And I was saying, he's too young for you. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm in the elephant years. It's true. Oh, true. Fifteen oh, is like different. forty for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I will be no. Cool. Anyone else want to drop money on these elephants or? <laughs> they love. So nice. They love y'all. <laughs> So you guys exit the the Blue Pearl. Yep. You go out of the Sunkissed Seamstress, mm -hmm. and you're back into the city. But it's nighttime now. The city is pretty much all lamp lit. 
So you are pretty much in a desert where there's not any sort of light pollution. So you can see up and see the stars perfectly, almost like constellations above you. Um, you see the moon shining, and that's pretty much what's lighting your way here. Um, as it is kind of more of a fuller moon tonight. Not completely full, but definitely close. And it's very bright moonlight. Cool. Can you all see me look up to the just... <laughs> She's drunk, guys. Don't give her any attention. <laughs> I'm probably pretty dirty. I got to waste a bunch of restoration on my feet. Right? Well, I'm not... Mine are really You're like, shh, shh, shh. They're like, oh. And then I figure we'll kind of walk our way there, but as we do, I'll, and then make an image of Melissa so you'll see what she looks like. This is what Melissa looks like. Oh, oh. Hi. oh. enjoy. What happened to your hands? She can hear it, so. She can't hear it. She, oh, she can't hear them. Oh, interesting. What happened to your hands? Uh, they were poked. Stabbed? Stabbed? Punctured. Punctured. What about your chest? What about your chest? Oh, that was burned. That hurt. That really, hurt. really bad. That hurt. Really, really bad. We're made up. Very good at pulling. Did she know what happened? Oh. Do you know what happened? Is that how she died? Is that? No, I'm going to go with yes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Let's not bring her down right now. Let's get to it. All right. All right. Chipper, you've been partying. Of course, it's been so much fun. No one's been able to talk to me. This has been great. You're welcome. Anytime. After we do everything that I've been asking you to do. Well, yeah, I can't wait until I can't wait until I come back to life and we can hang out for real. I know we're gonna be best friends. Oh, Lord, it's gonna be so shitty when she comes. <laughs> That's what funny. do you mean? Man, that should be here. All right. Are y'all pass? Have y'all already cast path without a trace? We will when we get somewhat close. Yeah. yeah, as soon as we get like. Yeah, I mean it's a small city, so you guys eventually break okay. through kind of the buildings, and. You said there's like a like a water like oasis. It's on the other side. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I mean, you guys have the map, so the you guys are in the center of town. You're going west towards like the big building. The well, the water strip is over to the east. Yeah, let's get a small water. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Restoration on yourself. Oh my god. Dude, if I was magical, I'd get drunk all the time. <laughs> just That's why you were not watching just to do it. Yeah, I know. I just, do more, guys. There's, yeah. no, there's no sitting next to the toilet pleading. You just fix yourself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wait, I'm so wasted. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do it. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> do it all over again. So, yes, I will cast Pass Without a Trace on all of us. Okay, cool. Stay close. You guys all have a plus 10 um, to your stealth and advantage on stealth checks. Is anybody loud? You have metal armor, don't you? Yeah, luckily I don't have a disadvantage for the particular because it's breastplate. It's not plate mail or anything. Yeah. All right. Are we just going to the front door? Or how are we I think we should just kind of like this kind of thing. Yeah, we can go to the back. Yeah, that's fine. And you can transport us in, so... Uh, yeah, I can create a passage. Okay, so why don't we... To so somewhere you haven't area? seen? The passage, it's called Passable. It creates uh, a passage. Mm, 20 feet deep, 8 feet high, Let me 5 look. feet wide. As long as it's made out of stone, uh, yeah, wood, sure. or... Sand, I guess. It's called Passable, it's level 5. <laughs> What if we do passage and then the book is like right here and the passage is right there and we're like... Mutation. <laughs> we, we need that. It's always nice. Yeah, so I can't, yeah. I think can only be like 10 pounds or less. Five, five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. Cool. Where are you wanting to do this? Uh, they were sending Melissa. Melissa. Melissa doesn't need a password. No, I know, but yeah, she's scouting. Yeah, so I'll, she can like go inside. She can go inside and scout like the. Are you? Are, what I'm asking is, are you opening the wall first before Melissa goes in, or are you no. sending her first? Sending her first. Sending okay. her first so that we know where to put the pen. Cool. Are y'all going around to the back, the side? Just walk Can right through the back. Let's do back. Okay. Is there windows? 
No. It's all stone closed. Okay, I want the throw my dragon to fly up the top until it wasn't there. He goes up top, looks down, comes back to you, and kind of whispers into your ear, um, and draconic, and he says, it's open on the top. Oh, easy. Well, thirty. it's like 20 stories tall. Oh, so. Is there anybody up there? Any body? No. It's just open. It doesn't rain here, so it's just to let in sunlight. Mm-hmm. You know, room, oh. you wicked wish. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you jealous of that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah I need everyone to make stealth checks. I can't. I'm going to say, this is so good, you guys. What did you say? I'm going to say this. Oh, oh that's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Bad. And then we add ten to it. Yeah. Oh, I got a nat twenty, <laughs> so I have a forty. Jesus. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. You have a plus oh, ten to your spell. Oh. Yeah, yeah, plus ten to myself, plus a twenty, plus this. Forty. <laughs> I got a thirty-two. Jesus. That's not a trace. Is pretty good. Yeah. That's all ten. Is a lot. All right. What did you roll? Thirty-two. Brain. Thirty. 35. 27. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter what you roll. <laughs> 27. I mean, 27 as well? Okay. Yeah, you guys are completely silent. You don't even leave any tracks in the sand as you walk through it. Fuck yeah. We can either go to one, or we can find the passage. Well, can I send Melissa Yeah. We're looking for a very special library. Can you go yeah. in there and locate the library? Yeah. <laughs> Just as much details as you can get from me. Yeah, on it. Thank you. You just see her kind of like strut right through the wall. <laughs> just phase through it. Um, yeah, I think we can determine like where we go if we need to go to passage or go to go to the top depending on Based on the system. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. How long do y'all wait? I mean, I could do it. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I was on six or eight. Let's come right back. Let's come right back. See if anybody comes to our room. Sure. Yeah, I think. Not yet. And it's been 10 minutes? I mean, we did say as much detail as possible. Yeah. She could be looking for it still. It's a big structure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. How long will the castle have trace logs? Let's look. An hour. Yeah, we're good. It would save your spell slot by going up, but I can't fly, so that's I mean, if I need to cast it again, I will. I just, you know, it'd be nice if we could get in and out, so we're not taking too much time. The less time we're there, the less uh, chance we get caught. Well, Vichra has a boon. I'm not sure what room. Plus, you're locked now at this level. You can, I think you can just run up the walls. You can. Yeah. So somebody else is just locked. Just don't have backs. Well, I'll get back. Okay. At this point, what do you guys want to do? Should we just sit in here just waiting? It's been about a half hour. All right. Oh, there's a friend. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay. 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 You can't protect her? No, it's not, it's not part of my skill set. Mm-hmm. Is there any chance maybe she ran into some trouble in there? Maybe it's like... Yeah. I've never known anything to be able to interact with them. Can you sense anything? About the wall or anything? Okay. I, I don't know. Can you sense anything about the wall? <laughs> no, like the building. What you know about walls, like bitch? Magical walls that keep ghosts in? I don't know. I'm uh, not on the ghost side of things. I didn't detect, detect magic, so I can't... That. Rax is going to sit down. I didn't take and people look at earlier, so. Be the eyes of this dragon and send the dragon up. And you guys all watch Wrath like sit down, cross leg, holding his wand. And you see him just kind of like look up into the sky and his eyes roll back to where you just see the whites of his eyes. And then the dragon like shoots up and then looks back at you guys and then continues to go up. And then I'll have it go down into the hole as stealthily as possible. Like, All right. keeping to the roof, keeping to the dark areas. Once you're inside, area. once you're inside, you can tell that there's about 10 stories of different levels that are all kind of going around the outside of this, like, square building. Okay. Each level seems to have a few rooms on it. Um, you see dozens of these gray monks just kind of walking through, um, standing outside different rooms. Um... Uh, during the gra- on the ground level, there's lots of them. Um, there's a few here at the 
kind of like towards the top, but they don't seem to notice you. Uh, actually, I need you to roll another stealth check. You're over 30 feet away. Yeah. I would say I would probably... Do I get advantage as a black stealth dragon? If I keep it in the shadowy areas? No. Yeah. <laughs> Could I say that I would have been like, hey, look for a place where there's no, no gray monks because they're not okay. allowed there. Uh, did you tell him that? <laughs> no, I don't think she... I don't know. if you, I didn't hear you uh, say that. Yeah. I mean, he can't hear you right now. 15. 15? You're fine. It is well, a small black dragon. I hope Wrath is savvy enough to go, the secret library where nobody else is allowed to, you know, there's probably nobody in that specific room. Because if you're seeing a lot of gray monks... Yeah, no, he's going to start looking for places that are just locked or, like, people avoid or people... They're almost guarded, right? <coughs> like, as it's going up, there's less and less people. Yes. Oh, so there's, no, there's like nobody on this top level? Not really on the top level, but a few on the, like, 8th to ninth. The top okay. level seems to be pretty vacant. Oh, oh what rooms are on the top, top floor? What's that? What rooms are it's on only the top? One. Huh? There's only one door on the top level. Is there windows or is it, like, no. solid doors? It's all, everything in here is, like, solid stone. It's, like, sandstone. Like, uh, like, uh, what is it? Like, terracotta, is that what it's called? Like, the... Yeah. The clay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um... Okay. Can my dragon try to find a slip under the door? I don't know. Can it? I don't know. I don't know oh, shit yeah. about this made-up dragon. dragon. Is it able to, like, flatten itself? No, I would be more of, like, just try it. It's a small animal. It's small. It's not so. closer. But yeah, how little is it? I, I guess that'll help. Probably, I mean, probably a bigger snake kind of size. But now, I should probably be clear before we even, uh, it, all the, do it, like I said, it's stone on stone, so it's like... All the way down to the ground. Yeah, there's not like a gap like if it was like okay. a wood door, so... That's, that's what my question was. I was trying to, like, if you were like, could get to like microscopic... No, 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 no. I mean, like, there's a gap, right? There's no gap. Okay. Um, there doesn't seem to be a gap on any of these doors. This one didn't seem to be particularly <laughs> special compared to anything else you can see. Okay. Um, is it still within 100 feet of me? Dragon, technically. Mm. Pretty close. Okay. Um, let me just double check that I'm able to do this. Not knowing what he's doing necessarily. I mean, other than you never saw, saw, seeing the dragon go away. Do we want to, I mean, Vitra, you could go up there and check to see what it means by his own opening up top if you want to wait. Okay. It's also been about 45 minutes. So I can, I can cast through my dragon. Uh, Mage hand. And does it have a doorknob? It does not. Uh, it's just blank wall. Stone. Okay, that's the issue. Did you try and just push it? I was trying to push it with Mage hand. They probably do five pounds of wall. Hey, there's, there's no, no, there's no, no reason yeah, why not. Just accept that it doesn't open. Plus, well, how many of us have the thingies? Uh, oh, I do, me, you. Mm-hmm. So you can go up and check it if anything. You can immediately tell us if that's an actual open. Okay. Area. Alright, I'm gonna fly my broom and go. Stealth here. Okay. Oh, <coughs> get that with 30 feet? It's alright, you're good. You could also just um, run up the walls, not 14. Good. What's with your plus 10? Yeah. She's not getting the plus 10. No, I just mean like her regular plus 10. Yeah, I rolled a 4. Oh my god, that's a big three. <laughs> True. Uh, three. Well, yeah, so you make your way to the top. Um, are you going inside? What are you doing now that you're there? Um, I just want to like uh, hover over and see if I see anything on the inside because I don't want to just like all night and dive in because he hasn't told us anything about what he sees. I can't talk. Right. Business. Right. So I just... You see, yeah. if you're piercing your eyes through, you definitely see the little dragon by this door at the top level. Okay. It's really close to the opening. Uh, you see a lot of gray monks down below. Is it like a grate? Is it a door? What exactly is that? It's just an open like, airway at the top? Yeah, it's okay. completely open. It doesn't rain here. So it just lets light through. Okay. Like a sunroof kind of thing. Exactly. So, um, uh, so I'm going to relay that down at the bottom with my little necklace. Right. And say, uh, the dragon is in front of this door. The door is stone and there's no gaps and is there anything else monks. on the floor or is it just like walls, just walls yeah you don't even see a staircase 
so that's probably going to be our best way. And then, can you fly us to the river? All them? Why don't you bring us? Why don't you? I mean, I can carry people. I can fly myself. See. I mean, we can get ourselves up. Both of us pretty easily. So. I mean, you don't need to cast anything. I can just. We can take multiple trips on a bird. We can also like turn into things that fly. And right. It doesn't take a spell slot. Oh, it doesn't. No. No. Okay. They fancy draw. I'll have I'll have the dragon rest of me dragon on in my direction. Yep. They're starting to believe. The dragon. The dragon goes from like staring at the the wall to suddenly like looking around, looks up at you, Vitra, and just kind of like curls around your leg. Oh, I'll grab whoever I can to fly up. Me, me. Oh. All right, I guess I will go down. I'm going to bird it up. What kind of bird? So I, mean, I think I see you with her. <laughs> you know what? It's nighttime. I can't fly, so who's taking me? I want to be a bat. I'm going to come down on my bat. Again, we do they're that. They're the flies that's in the choir. Right. So I'll grab one. Yeah, I'll grab the I'll grab the bird. Okay. So you're going to go for seagull. Fuck. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Yeah. But in the yeah. desert, that wouldn't make any sense. Oh. That would freak people out. Oh, because oh, owls are prone to the desert. I'm gonna call a bat. Yeah. Oh, a bat. Sorry, bat, bat, bat. Yeah. Same question. <laughs> are there bats in I'm the desert? I'm a little tiny bat. Maybe okay. a vulture. Yeah, but those are big. Yeah, those are big. I don't want to see. You probably have a disadvantage on stealth check as a vulture. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a tiny bat. Really big now. Tiny bat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where sorry. She's a bat. Go? Where are you? I am really reluctant to go. You're okay. a bee. Okay. You, you can say you can. You just want to stay here with me. I want to say, guys, this is not a good idea. I'm having bad feelings. Yeah, who's carrying Zerus? Because yeah, Zerus wants to go. Oh, for sure. I'll take him on my first trip, Tommy. Yeah, that's what he said. He's trying to wrap it up. That might get you. We're leaving. Do you want to stay what? Stay here. And... I'll stay on the All right. You gotta watch. For you can be a watch. I'll watch. All right. Well, I will say it's not we need. It. Here, I'm gonna take my necklace off and give it to Brain. All right. Okay. That way she can communicate with us while we're up there. Good idea. So. Sure. Just so y'all know, I don't have my necklace anymore. Right? No, it's not. No, unlimited. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have my necklace anymore. Let us know if you see anything or hear anything. It's not a I know, but this is. Um. Melissa hanging out with you, you just won't know it. <laughs> okay. Melissa's not back with you guys. Oh, yeah. I know. Just freak her out. <laughs> just to freak her out. I love it. Nice. Okay. Uh, 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 you're all yeah, besides there. Rain going up and Benjin. Yeah. Rain and Benjin are staying behind you. Keep watch. I like to imagine Benjin just like with his hand on his blade, like looking. Yeah. <laughs> I dare someone to come up. Yeah. <laughs> My plate's hungry. So okay. Bob, he's get you in trouble. No, he's just watching. He's not here, so we can't do anything dumb. Yeah. <laughs> you say that. I say he's just watching. <laughs> um, so we're all up there? Yep. We're all going to spell checks again? Uh, absolutely. Are you going to do a pass without tracing? Yeah, so I'll go ahead It's and still up. Oh, it's still up? Okay. Yeah, so whatever y'all roll gets a plus 10 this time. Oh, you're in the 40s, is what you said. Oh, sure. okay. 17. 10. So, plus. Plus 15, plus 10. Yeah, what about 43? Yeah, plus 15. That's yeah. my normal. Oh, plus 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rogue at level 13. 28. And you have, like, reliable talent, like, right? So you yeah. can't roll yeah. anything less I than a 10 on a die five. anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, uh. It's a 12 total, but realize it was a natural one. I mean, a 12 total tells me that it has to be close. It has to be one or a two. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Going we'll leave that up to you if anybody saves me at this point, but a natural one. Maybe my 42 will cover your deal. Well, <laughs> I'll let you explain what happens. Yeah. <laughs> See how bad this natural one is. Uh, I'll still check. We'll just say I rolled two. Um, you rolled a two? No, I rolled two. Comma two. Oh, shit. What did you roll? I didn't. She's not going. She's not going. Still need you to roll. Oh. Okay. You're still stealthing outside. But you don't. You don't get the plus ten on the pass without trace. I don't get the. No, you're not within thirty feet. Oh, so you cast it yourself. No. Benji's like I am pass without a trace. <laughs> Benji's just gonna turn into uh, uh, muffin top from the <laughs> one <Warcraft. laughs> 
Cool. Um, all right. Uh, rooftop squad. You guys make your way up to the top. You're assumingly going to try to land by that door, or is there something else you guys are trying to do? Try to get down the door. Cool. Well, that's easy enough, because it's open and you're right there. Um, now that you're at the door, what's the plan? Yeah, so there's no other rooms on this, right? Uh, on top floor, any people? No one's up here. No one's up here. Is there a crack under the door or anything? No. no. You want to see if we can get down, or like some of us more stealthy people to go down real quick before it the hole? Well, we want eight, seven people on the first floor over No, we're on the top floor. We're on the first floor. I know. I'm just saying on the roof, right? Or we already no, we, we've got in. Oh, we're on the top floor um, next to this door. Then I will do uh, pass wall to create. So technically we're not going to the door. We're going to like the wall. Yeah. But it'll create a passageway. Are you doing it at the door or are you doing it at the wall? Um, yeah, let's do it at the door. You go, you go to cast it, and you can see like the stone start to like, and you see inside for just a second, and, How and the far? spell seems to reject. How far was it? Because twenty feet. Is there any uh, the door? Mark what I can yeah. twenty feet. It's dark. So how Hard thick to see. was the door? How thick? Yeah. I can guess. You don't know from the outside. No, no, no. Like when you opened it, like. Oh, it's like. Like about three. two feet. Okay, it's not far. I mean, two feet. I mean, That's a thick door. Thick door. Yeah, yeah. No, fine. okay. Yeah. Can I use. There's no light up here at all. Can I use my ghost tattoo? Besides just the moonlight. Can I use. Sorry, go can ahead. Use my ghost tattoo to go and corporal and pass through. Oh. Sorry, I just exited out of the page. I was just fucking reading because I was trying to switch tabs. Um, Control shift T. Yeah. Uh, you can. Or you can try. Um, same thing. You start to feel the shift and you're like thrown back. Seems like there's something on this wall preventing. I'm pr- pretty sure they would have protected whatever ancient knowledge is in here. Identify. That takes. Can you cast it on spot or does it take a minute to cast? Ooh, if you use this I, can virtual, I can virtual cast it, but I can also uh, think I should be able to just cast it, cast it. If you cast it, it with a spell you get it instantly. I can use it as a ritual, but it says one minute, but I'm, oh. if I'm using it as a spell slide, I don't know, it's up to you. I think it takes you one minute. Rituals take 10 plus. Oh, that's right. Cast it's going to take a minute. Never mind then. We can I mean, still do it. Still We're just it. asking okay. Okay. if there's anything else you guys are doing in that minute that it takes him to like investigate the door and kind of like yeah. run his wand up and down and scan it and all that. I'm gonna take a look at this room and I'm gonna try to investigate and see if I see again. You said markings. It would be hard to do light, so I'm gonna take my robes, or actually I'm gonna take that one of the masks that I was made, and I'm gonna cast light on just a random object. I'll take like a gold coin, cast light on the coin, but cover it with the mask. Dampen down its brightness. Okay. And see if I can look around the edges of the I'm going to need you to make a stealth check with disadvantage. Unless there's any issues <laughs> of me passing that. The bat has, I don't know if you'll let me do this, but the bat has. Are you still a bat right now? Is dark vision? I do, but he's saying with dark vision. I can't. Like, okay. I'm still hanging out in the room. Um, I want to go to the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> there's no eating. staircase. Oh, it's not, not to this level. Okay, well, I don't know if you'll let me do this, but they have a, they have advantage on any perception checks that rely on hearing. So I'm going to listen and, and hear any commotion or anything that implies that people know we're up here. Does that make sense? Like, over here. I don't know if they'll let me do that. <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's <laughs> tough for That's a bat. I don't, <laughs> you don't have to give it to me. I'm just going off of the stats. What does it say again? It says, the bat has advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on hearing. Yeah, I mean, that's just a perception check okay. that you'd be listening for instead of seeing, right? Yes. So, I mean, you can still roll, I mean, roll a investigation or perception check, probably invest, or perception if you're yeah. trying to do it that way. Can I use the bat advantage? 
Yeah, you still have advantage. Right. <laughs> Some bad man would ask uh, you to use that. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up, to, like, Officer Gordon, he's like, can I use my bad advantage for this one? He's like, yes, well, always. Luckily for me, both rolls are the same. That's a 20. A 20. You, if I'm using the bat stance. Yeah, you can hear, uh, you can hear people softly murmuring, but it doesn't seem like anyone can is it's talking right. about you being there. Okay, it's like calm tone of voice. Hmm? Okay, great. T- typical riff raff, you know. <laughs> water <laughs> water cooler talk. It's like, oh man, there's a super hot blue babe at the blue pearl today. <laughs> Did yeah. you see the one in the dress? Yeah. <laughs> is there any any of that coming from behind the stone door? Like if there's any Oh, from there. inside there, yeah. you cannot hear anything from inside. Why don't I still check on that? Yeah, one second. Okay. Yeah, what's your stealth check? <laughs> uh, 23. Okay. With, with pass without a trace. Yeah. Right. Don't seem to... Don't seem to be able to... light as, possible, as much as possible with the, uh, the mask. It's, it's, I would assume like a, there's a white material uh, that's cloth. And try to like look around the edges of why he's casting identify the door as well as go towards the room. And uh, just kind of get an idea how big this room is, and make sure there was no markings, any sort of traps that are in here. Well, you can tell. Investigation, anything? Uh, yeah, you can do an investigation check. It's just not that you can tell from just looking at it. I'll just do it. Well, it's a fucking natural one. Oh my god. Uh, so you know. So <laughs> after a few moments, after a few moments of you guys kind of trying a few different things, um, you see Wrath like finish his you know, identify uh, ritual quickly on the door uh, and it seems to have some sort of abjuration magic flowing through the door and the surrounding, like, frame of the door from what you can tell. But I couldn't go through the wall? You didn't try. I did. You went through the door. I said I went through the side of, on the wall of the door. I, sorry, okay. I didn't hear you say that. I thought, oh, you, okay. I thought you were trying the same thing as him. Sorry. Yeah. Can I try again? <laughs> well, did you tell them that? Yeah, I mean, I'll tell them. I mean, I told them that there's, there's magic flowing through into this door. Uh, but I, I, have you cast a spell magic? Oh, yeah, I'll try that first. Well, your, your thing sounded like it was free. Mine is free, but I can't help y'all get through. But okay. you can at least communicate with us and tell us. Do, do you happen to know what, what might be the spell? Uh, other than the school of abjuration? Does it have a spell or is it? Uh, it would be some sort of guards and wards type mm-hmm. situation, but okay. fixed for the bright monks. Um, okay. No, the, more of the school. But it seems to be warding magic of some kind. I'll, uh, you know that it's a high enough level to stop a level six spell, because that's what he tried with Passwall. Uh, okay, that helps. Mm-hmm. Then I guess I'm going to try higher than that. I will, go, I will go ahead and do the day. There you go. It's a stronger version of a spell because it's an 8th level spell. So <laughs> we'll like just, I said, that's all 8th is good for. <laughs> let's just do it that way. I'll do just spell magic. I'll cast it at 8th level just to... Uh, well, we won't know how to open the door. That's the problem. So I can... Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's side to side. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try to dispel the magic, but we're going to have to... Let's do that first. This. We'll do stuff too yeah, nice. I, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do dispel <laughs> magic on the door uh, at 8th level. Okay. With 10 plus the spellcasting ability check if above. Is it lower than 8th level? Yes. But it, then it succeeds. Yep, you yeah. don't have to do anything. Open like that? The door does not open. It is still, you know, closed. Can you, can you do the path again? So, there is a pass through this wall. What is it? What, is, what are we saying? That. I and think I, someone joked about it earlier, which is hilarious. This seems to be the quote ancient library. However, there's not a ton of books. There's a pedestal <laughs> in the middle of the room. Yeah. And there is so one, one single book. Oh my I, god. I, I, yeah. I said, we're going to get there. It's going to be one book in a room. Yeah, I think I heard someone joke about it earlier. Yeah. It must have been Seamus. Yeah, right. There is one single book in the middle of this room. Don't really have to keep much information if you just base it off of beliefs. 
Or let's all get in. I feel hesitant. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's walk yeah, in. I don't want to get too close to the You back. guys get inside and you hear. And you guys notice that all the way down the, uh, the center of this building, there was these like stone gargoyle-esque beings that are that are now suddenly like lifting their head towards the moon and howling almost as an alarm was set. Do I get us outside? Oh yeah. Okay. This is why everyone needs to stay with the party because we can just grab the book and then, and then, then go. And then, go. 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 and then we'll go down there and then we'll go. Alright. Fuck it. Grab it. No. Uh, I have okay, so what we're gonna do. Oh my god. <laughs> Let the dead guy do it. Alright, grab it. No, I would say, uh, I would say a quick look. I'm gonna okay, grab one. I need you to do a. I need you to do a heavy. wisdom saving throw. Ooh. This book could be heavy. I hope five pounds would do it. Five pounds would do it. Oh my god. Oh well. Wow. What's that? Could have been a We're doing those fucking nat ones. Yeah. What wasn't that? <laughs> what was good either? It's still pretty bad. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this one. It's 11. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dice do you use? Uh, the shitty it, ones. The one with 20 size? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to start using one that hits 20? <laughs> <laughs> so you're using a D4 over there. Uh, I've done alright. Um, I should have gone with the, the light ones since we're in Sarah's house. Yeah, that would have been way better. <laughs> uh, you guys all watch as. Zinro picks up the book, turns to. Inspiration. Uh, yeah. Do I need to roll again? Go ahead and roll. Can I take what I just did? Well, I mean, no, you can't. You can't roll a second dice and then claim inspiration. <laughs> Say inspiration, now roll, roll, the, roll your second one. I'm also trying to think of the cloak of protection gives us advantage on gives you, saving soda. It doesn't give you advantage, it gives you a plus one to everyone. Plus one, one. okay. That's a 12 now. <laughs> okay, still solid, still solid. 25. Oh, oh, yes! Oh. I want to know By what was going to happen. By one. <laughs> <laughs> still for the flavor, I still want you guys to. Oh, I want to know what He was turns happening. and you see, like, his hand that's holding the book, like, ethereal f- phase into almost, as Cora would describe, ghost form, Ooh. as he just seems to fade away in front of you and then <laughs> shakes it off and <laughs> comes back to his full form holding the book looking at you guys you you have felt death before I actually felt cold this time you felt you like you haven't you can't feel shit but you just felt death again for just a second so, oh we have like uh, five save us seconds. 24. Thank God you're like, the save us 24. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Thank God you made friends with Jermaine. So, I know we have like five seconds. So, I'm going to cast my level uh-huh. six spell. Uh-huh. Cast Arcane Gate right here to right where they are. Okay. Right. Let's go. I go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I go. Okay, everyone will put their hands in the middle team, and team, teleport team. us to the house and where our words are. Team, two, one, team. You guys teleport safely back to the record. Oh my god. I'm going to look at all y'all and say, I told you. I'm going to take a while to drop it. Okay, yeah, we're Unfortunately, we're the book did not yeah. teleport with me. <gasps> oh, wait, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, felt it? Oh yeah, you felt it. I mean, it's. I mean, you felt it fall out of your hand. Like you cannot. It would not teleport. I. Uh, yeah. I guess. That sucks. <laughs> that was all for nothing. Or I can teleport back. Not right now. Go now. Well, I, I need yeah. time, but I can teleport us back there. Uh, well, they're gonna move the. Well, now we've seen the, this. Yeah, they're moving the book. There's no way they're gonna keep it there. Maybe they will. No. Uh, Part of me wanted to look at it before we. I know. Well, I was Should thinking the same thing. Open? I was like, why well, shouldn't we open it? But then, like, the alarms are going off. And as far as I know, it's probably nothing. It's got very little. But I doubt it's nothing. Damn. Yeah, there's no way that they hold it in here if it's nothing. Well, now we know what to expect, so we can go back. 
Yeah, but they'll... Is it? Uh, I guess nobody saw us, I don't think. Mm-hmm. How long is this program? <laughs> I'm sure I said we don't think. I know, he never said anything when I wrote that 14 on stealth on my brain. So how, long, how long is a short rest? Four hours. Yeah. A short rest? Oh, an hour. An hour. Oh, shit. I wrote 13 on myself, so like... I can get us back in an hour, then I won't be able to get us out. No. Well, I don't like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only way I could do is I can get, if he gets us back there, I can plane shift us. Somewhere else. Yeah, no, 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 no. But, I, but the book will not go with us. That information I mean, that's it seems good. to be locked there. So we need to. Can someone cast like invisibility on Zenro so that he can be in there reading the book? We're still trying to not from that far away. I mean, I can just be invisible. And be invisible and have some invisibility on him? Well, we're going to we, we make saying. the assumption that their security is going to be changing. Well, we want the dead guy to touch the book. Oh, I have mage hand. Can I scry on a place? On a place? Like on the book? Oh. I think, well, you can scry on that area. Can I scry on that room? Mm-hmm. I'll do At the moment, it's, the book's on the ground by Is where the... running in the room? Or? No. Uh, you guys didn't open the door technically, so they know the alarm went off, but at the moment, they haven't quite understood what is going on. Well, we wait a day, or we wait an hour. Because, as Zinro mentioned earlier, not even the gray monks can get inside that room, and you didn't see any bright monks in there. So, <clears throat> so at the moment, <laughs> they know the alarm went off. They just don't know for what yet. No. We, uh, oh, sorry. The book didn't go with us through the arcane gate. Either us through you know, both of them. Well, I didn't go through there. Again. No, he opened the gate for her to come through. Oh, I thought we went down. So the book's not able to travel through mm-hmm. right. that sort of magic. The book, the book can't leave the room. So I can get us back in in an hour, but I won't be able to get us out. But if you could, one of y'all can get us out, that's fine. I mean, I can. We either of us can plane shift also, but plane shifting seems not great. We can do that. We'll try again. I'm always down for doing reckless things. <laughs> so far, everything we've learned about you says that's true. <laughs> I don't know if going back in an hour is a good idea because by then they will have checked. Or maybe we can check on them. They might just spy on them again. We don't know, though. If, uh, they might just be like, oh, it was a Wait, bird. Just, I don't know. I said in an, by, by an hour, they're going to go and see that the book was moved. So they can't get in. Well, they, they would, they might I get somebody who can get, somebody in. can get in. Well, we don't know if that's the only reason that sets off the alarm. It could be anything that sets off the alarm. I mean, yeah. Because yeah. the door hasn't been moved. Yeah. But even us just entering the room set off the alarms. Like, we didn't touch anything. Well, we don't know if it was that or if it was my going up is 11. That would have started it earlier. Maybe. Literally, the alarms went off right as we entered the room. Yeah. That's all I mean. It has to be the room. Yeah. So unless there's a way to the alarm, but not really that. Um, we're going to try again and see <laughs> how it goes. Something. What? what? I'm not going to do it, but I forgot something that involves you. Really? <laughs> no. No, okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, but it's, it's, it's past. We're yeah. not doing it. Well, while they're debating this, I will go ahead and commune ritually. Okay. Ten minutes. I will, uh, yeah. So whenever we want to do that. We'll just yeah. take a short rest and we'll, we'll try and go back. What do y'all want to do? We can, we can try and go back. I just, where am I going to plane shift us? Where are we wanting to go? Say a while. No! No! <laughs> it's going to it's gonna happen. You guys know it's going to no. happen. No! <laughs> I think we should get to choose. It should just be random. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> I vote for Baywatch. <laughs> 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 this would go where we're going. Is this Shadow Realm? Oh, y'all didn't realize. Yeah, there's scissors in the drawer next to Y'all didn't realize that you're fighting Mezgul today. Okay, oh, cool. Oh, no, we're not going to. Welcome to the, the Shadowfell. What's that castle? That's no. a vampire guy. Yeah. <laughs> next to the oven, to the right of the yeah. oven, the drawer. Oh, that's where she is. No, oven. Oh, my god. Uh. <laughs> Well, there's a microwave in the oven. That's true, that's true. <laughs> so what do we want to do? Sure, rest. Sure, rest, and then plane shift. I'm 
want to do that. I want to do it so bad. Let's stop being smart and just be reckless. Let's go. That's not so, be smart. I will Let's be reckless. Recover my, I won't I'll have to not recover. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, so I will recover my fifth and my seventh also. Guys are back in Reckon Oasis. Okay. So yeah, probably. Then yeah. Okay. I would like a large potted plant to bring with because then I can transport us via plants back to Reckon Oasis. You have to be able to walk through it. That's why I'm asking for a large one. No. It would have to be the size of a tree. What do you mean? How? how you gotta be able to it walk just through. Just a large plant. I mean, I'm large you know, potted plant. We can't. We can't really large potted plant. plant. You cannot walk through them on stairs. <laughs> I'm just saying if Come you on. get. Meet us in the plant through, then we can use that. Us in the plant. Trying to think of a thick plant. A redwood. That's a thick plant. For an hour. It's the only way you're getting Zerus through anything. It's through a big ass plant. A large or a larger inanimate plant. Which a large size is bigger than a like a loxodon. That elephant is a large creature. So what are you looking for? A large potted tree. Well, I want it to come to us. All right. I need to be able to transport it. So if, as long as Rat can get it through with us, then we can use that to get. I mean, can you turn yourself? Is there a palm tree? No, like we're in American Oasis, right? Yeah. No. I, the, finding a plant is not the problem. I need. So, okay. I need it to come with us. There was plants in Charu. I mean, I don't know. Let me retroactively. I didn't think about it, so. I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't. Yeah. You don't know, I guess. No, it's. Yeah. You don't want to be able to think of you turn into a little bug and then go a tiny little plant. I'll say this: my community but I want to get starts older. shortly yeah, before he's over yeah. with his rest because I want to ask questions before we're about to leave again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Girl. the rest is going to take an hour, so. Right. So okay. forty-five minutes into it, I will be my community. <clears throat> I'm going to be. Hey, what's up, it's Mercury? How you doing, boy? <laughs> How you doing there, Paul? Uh, I'm just gonna ask. Um, if your daddy got me some my grandpa. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Call you daddy. Okay. Uh, I was gonna ask uh, three questions. There yes or knows. That's all I got. Um, one. Does that book hold any actual knowledge, or is it just a book? <clears throat> does the book act actually hold any knowledge? Oh yes. Two, before we go back, is the book still in the room the same way we left it? Yes. If I touch it, will I face death again? Yes. I can do that down. You do what I must do. Alright, the book is still there according to Merkel. So we must be fast and we're going to do this. Uh, I, will I suggest I will be the one to touch it again because the cold feeling of death when I touched the book was more intense than I've ever felt before. I will uh, scry on the book. Cool. The room. It's still there. Is there anybody else in the room? Nope. Mm. Is the door, is the door <coughs> ajar? Open, I don't know if I can see the door. The door. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm focusing on the book, right? Because I have to focus on it. Uh, you have to focus on a place. Oh, well, so the door. Do I see the door's door? not open. Oh. All right. It looks exactly how it was before you arcane gate and teleported. All right. Let's Get the hell out of there. Okay. <laughs> Woo! It's okay. I, that's fine. You're not going? No. Brandon's mad at them. She's going to go to Eversor Tory and lock herself in her room. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna take my necklace back. Oh, yeah. sure. I'll be in the house. You don't want to be able to tell her something wrong? She, she, she ain't gonna help. Right, but like, oh, we got caught by the way. And then she would know. Let's send a message. Oh, we can do something else. Yeah, that's alright. Okay. Uh, hands a little. Ooh. Uh -huh. 
Let's get reckless! <laughs> Go team! Woo! Teleport back into the room? Doesn't work. <sighs> you teleport it. outside the room, but outside the door. We're outside the door? Oh, so uh, we have to get rid of the fucking thing. Yeah, Is anybody now outside the door? <clears throat> Can you There's no longer the sirens going, um, but no one's outside the door. Can you pass without a trace? Again? Yeah, let me pass it. Pass without a trace. Just be safe. Do you get that back after your short rest? Yeah, I think so. Sure. No, I don't think druids get spells back after short rest. It's a long rest. You're right. You're still, uh, I'm yeah, just making sure. Yeah. It's a second level spell. So I know, I just want to make sure you guys are keeping track of all the spells yeah, you're using. Yeah, yeah. You guys are casting a lot. I feel like yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. second yeah, Minor sure. illusion. Me neither. Well, other it might oh, be yeah. Me then, yeah, you're just throwing out. That's why I never yeah. even. I have one wild chip and have two second level spells that I've used. Cool. Just making sure. I know he expended a lot because he tried the level six, didn't work. Yeah. Did a level seven, and then he did yeah. another level Castle six. Level five. Oh, level five. Okay. Castle level five. Okay. So I uh, used one. Uh, I got back one after short rest. Scry's level five. Five. So I have one left for Castle Wall. Then I got my level seven and I spent that teleport back. So I um, I have one by one more spell slots. So we're back in the room. It's gonna trip again. Someone else. That is that is the, that was the caveat of this. Well, I need to read the book before we go on duty. Yeah. It's, I mean I'll I I can always turn into a dragon and As burst out like fly away kind of thing. I mean, yeah, we can still go up. I don't want to get out. It's it's more about getting out of the room. That is but I, I mean, I have clean ships, so I was planning on just using that. You have no idea where she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sense her or anything. Uh, you never get a sense of them. You have to see them. Um, you do not see her. You don't have to detect magic just to make sure the door is working. I can do detect magic. Oh, yeah. Do you have to okay. do that? If, if the door is back to being magical, then I'll have to dispel it. Um, is the door open to detect magic? Is it still magic? Oh, yeah. It's flowing again. Mm-hmm. Where's it flowing from? Can I, if I can detect magic, can I see where it's flowing? It's like, like coursing through. It's not fl- flowing necessarily from like a source. It's just the door itself and like the surrounding. I don't know what you call it. Like the is it, frame. Is, is it almost like I can see the the outcase of a room because it's just a magic room? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yep. everything has that same repellent. Yes. Okay. Do you spell magic at seven level. I need you to roll. Okay, so I'm always shaking as DC 10 plus the spell level I'm against. I'm, I'm doing a 7th level, so I guess it'd be that 7. Mm-hmm. Make it 17. And 17. I have to beat a 17. With your spell, spell casting ability. Yeah. My what are your spell tags? Spell tag and modifier. Uh, so 14 on die plus the 10 for modifier. Mm-hmm. 24. Um, you guys go inside and you hear the same gargoyles start to alert. Book on the ground or book on a pedestal? Uh, book is back on the pedestal. And does everyone go inside? Or is anyone staying outside? What's the plan? I would have gone inside. Okay. I mean, yeah. Remembering this time, um, as soon as you step inside. Ooh. Who? I'm undead. Like dead. <laughs> this is kind of a book of books. <laughs> yeah. That's probably it lasts an hour, so we could try and physically take the book out, I guess. You take 49 radiant damage. Ooh. As from where the pedestal is, you see this, like, almost thunder, not thunder, lightning strike on the floor, kind of like dodge in between everybody, go straight to you, up your leg, and just as this radiant damage just courses through you and beams up into the sky. Alright, well, maybe we should delete. <laughs> I use my mage hand to open the mm-hmm. Oh, there, shit! Was there any that? charging to right, Can I read it? What? Is there any charging to that particular What the time? heck does that I'm, mean? I'm what do you mean? Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, for flavor, sure, but it I'm happened just instantly. is it going to happen again? Oh, you don't know. I step out of the room. Well, I, 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 well, 
oh shit. I just want you to know I'm reading it now. Yeah. The, the password is still there. It lasts an hour. Okay. As long as it's not concentration you're in, I'm going to step out of the room just in case. I'm like, I don't know if that. I am undead in the house. Did you hear me, Shane? So I'll just stand outside. I'm, I'm going to be reading it too if the book's open. Like, I'm looking at it. Oh, the what? Yeah. I'm not reading it. She opened the book. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about making uh, it and reading. I will spend. It's not going well. So my just do whatever. Okay. I'll spend three spells. Are you less. touching it? No, I'm not touching it. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes. Two, Same. Two level fours and level three. Well, you're not here, so two level fours. And I will make all of us invisible. Going on, so. <clears throat> Perfect. You open the book with Mage Hand. Are you like up at the pedestal just with the Mage Hand so you're not touching it? Okay. You're flipping through it. It is these strange symbols. Um, some look like shapes. Some look like some variation of letters. Um, it's legible. I'm making a point to remember some of the symbols. I will say this. I'm not excited to step out, but thinking about it, if this book is written and it's so powerful, I would assume it's in the language of the gods, which means probably celestial. And I don't know if they know that, I can but only... I know celestial. Oh, okay. And I so I will, I I will, chance, I will chance a second hit if it means I can see just real quick in the language of the book. Okay. I'm not trying to draw anything down. I, I can only so just to make sure. I know primarily. I can only I can only understand us understand spoken languages. I wouldn't be able to understand that. Right. Written. It's a written language. Yeah. You, you could speak Damn to anybody. It. But so it's the, I'll keep a little bit of distance, but peering over, I'm going to try to see as much as I can of the text. It is if it's written uh, in the language that I know. Yeah. So from being outside the door, I mean that's far. Unless she lifts no, 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 it I'm up. I'm saying originally. I would have been like, oh, never mind. I, I probably would only can read this. Right. Yeah, you guys have no clue what this is. Yeah. So I'm going to say, if it charges up and hits me again, I can survive another one. Then I can leave. But I will go ahead and say that I did not initially step out. I'll stay back in, if that's okay. Got it. Okay. So you stay in, um, and you walk up, and it does look like a variation of Celestial. You can understand certain... Phrases. Like Spanglish. Kinda. I mean, that's a way to reference it. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh, seemingly. It seems to be a biography of Heresius, um, describing speaking to soul. What's inside the pyramids? I'm gonna record, write down as much as I can in their language. <laughs> record it. Take out a Screenshot it. Carver, you know? yeah. <laughs> Carver, like, mm. This isn't a link. This is a Carver. mixture of celestial. Like I said, he can read. He can so understand. Awesome. He's like getting most of it. It seems like a mixture of like hieroglyphics and okay. celestial. Um, but yeah, like from kind of yeah, it's like trying to read like a ancient Aztec writing that's not like okay. a language anymore. But you're still able to understand it from context and like. The same thing he can understand was would be what you get okay, if you were to cast that. So it's like you get a I'll decent I'll amount. Guess. I'll say if I don't get the gist of this is gonna blast me again in the next like sixty seconds, I will go ahead and just stand next to her and try to look at the book as much as I can. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, after about for some reason, after about six seconds, um, <laughs> and another lightning Damn. strike. Shit. This time for is it only him. Only me. Uh, this one's le- this one's like four ones. Uh, thirty-eight points of radiant damage. Can you like step out of the room and then scry on the book? Can I use the mage hand to bring uh, the book to specific. the edge of the wall so you can? Are you trying to lift it up off the pedestal? Uh-huh. I wanted to say yes, but <laughs> I didn't like so, the way you said that. I'll say specific. I bet it can be moved by magical means. Uh, you probably aren't gonna be able to move it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I tried to mage hand it off, so. It just will not lift from this pedestal. Alright, I'm just going to try to drop down as much as I can from when he got blasted out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can't understand it, so, you know, as much as I can get until he starts to shoot. Hmm. From what you were able to read, it was things like, my, my tongue was taken um, beneath... Um, 
beneath Oralaxis um, lays crypts, you know, things like that. Beneath Serenium um, uh, lies, you know, different kind of things. And um, you hear, or not hear, um, from reading through, it's like, again, it's difficult, but you can, you're starting to kind of understand some of the trends from, you know, kind of standing when you went through and you were like reading it quick. Um, one string of symbols seemed a little off to you as it didn't seem to fit with everything else. Um, it would definitely get written down. Well, you don't need to. Um, it seemed off because it seemed to be written after whenever this text was originally written. It seemed like it was written through a different quill, through a different pen, essentially. However, it was written in common. And it just said, Orion, in like bold, where it's like written like multiple times, like almost scribbled in like O-R. And it was in the passage that was talking about below Serenium. Below You were right. <laughs> you were right. Okay. But okay. most of it does kind of seem like gibberish trying to read it. Okay, we well, uh, need to get out of here now. Yeah, we need to go. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's go. So where are we going? As I'm reading okay, the thing. We're, we're also still invisible. We're invisible. So. We're just yeah. trying to okay. get out. Well, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Um, we can just fly out. If we can get us up and out, then we can find a tree. <laughs> Great. Desert. Or you help us with your tree. Yeah, I'll say, I'll go find a tree. Yeah. I used a bonus action at some point in time to channel divinity myself and heal myself. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. Shadow little partner. Yeah. <laughs> Here. <laughs> On your broom. Yeah, uh, yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Um. Where y'all trying to go? A tree away. A tree. A tree. A tree. Or a cactus. Or a large cactus. A large cactus. A <laughs> living. A super that large. Is a plant. Super large cactus. Cactuses can get really big. No, oh, yeah. 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 It just has to be larger and larger. So just a large, a palm tree. There is a large kind of oasis with lots of plants towards the towards the east part of Jaru. Great. We're going towards the trees. Yep. Um, okay, so you guys go through the top as you. Who's? How's everyone flying? Well, I imagine. Bird, you, what? Bird, oh, you're a bird. Well, then you're leaving because you got to take us to the tree that you are. You. The sparrow. Still didn't answer his question. She you're is flying as a bird. Um, yeah. She's going first. I'm yeah, but you're flying as. I'm on a broom. I'm broom. Fly. Zaris is with me. Right. You can fly with what? With my spell. So you're casting the spell fly? I'll cast the spell fly. And then you have wings. Mm -hmm. I'll carry whoever needs to carry. Zero. I'll carry Zeros. And I got Zeros on the back. Can we touch? And you have Zeros on the back of your yeah. room. You're like hopping, <laughs> hopping a wheelie the whole way. Yeah, your trailer's a little heavy there. <laughs> yeah, I like to imagine he's doing like pull ups on the yeah. bottom of your room the whole way. I'm moving. I'm like fly. Dang it. Um. And then Benjamin's just like on Zerus's like back, just like claws a little bit in, just like holding oh, on. He stayed at the he stayed at the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, sure he did. Yeah. And that's what y'all thought. Um, <laughs> y'all never went to the house. Y'all went wrecking oasis. No, we went to the house. No, it's the house house. To the house. Okay. Yeah, house house. Yeah, house house. Got it. So I stayed in my room. Yeah, but she's in the room. Right. Sorry. Is Jesus. Julia still in wrecking oasis? Um, it's like ten hours north of it. But yeah, yeah, but we have the transport circle. Yeah, in the bar. That's to the, that's yeah. my bad. Okay, cool. So, but I mean house. I mean the so house despite this, been following us all the time. He went to the actual house. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys get out the top, and you as you get to the top of this building, you guys see um, hundreds of kind of gray garbed monks on the outside of this building, kind of like forming a circle. Um, all of them, like, in, like, a fight stance, like, whew. Are we still invisible? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. That would be, yeah, very much fine. 
as you guys, where are y'all flying to? The plants. As you guys get out the top and start flying, I need um, Raph to make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Don't like that. <laughs> Well, that's a good perception check, though. Uh, 23. 23. As you start flying away, uh, you kind of like look back and you notice those stone golems in front of the large pyramid. Okay. Cool. We're going faster. Watching you, even though you're invisible. Even though we're invisible. I. Is my driver still there? Because I never took it back, but it's still. I'm not familiar. Uh, it doesn't probably. disappear. It goes into yeah. the pocket of until I summon it. Send my dragon to the... So if they're watching where the golems are looking, mm-hmm. I'll have my dragon fly around it so that it's looking at the dragon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it definitely looks at the dragon, but, like, as you see it, like... <sighs> That's fine. I'll have it be confused. <laughs> well, you're flying away from it. So yeah. it's just watching, it's not like doing right. anything. That's fine. It's more of like, oh, hey, look, the golem is looking at something kind of thing. Yeah. You guys make your way over the water, um, this little like river going through uh, the, the sand. It's very pretty, um, even at night. And you land next to one of these houses that are on the, on the bank of this, of this river water. And you see all these like super large, beautiful palm trees um, and different kind of like tropical plants, uh, large leaf, beautiful greens. Uh, and as you guys are like about to go through this tree that Sage picked out, um, you do look over and you see that this is like one of these houses is the world you see Ari, the bartender's uh, son or the owner's son, who's inside. Um, it looks like he's like cleaning dishes or something. You kind of see him through there. Um, this would be where their house is. <laughs> so nice to see huh? No, they can't see you, but you see them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, tree. Whoop. Whoop. That's the sound of me. Six times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Into the tree. Into the tree. He takes us back to Reckon. Yeah, wherever you choose. Reckon. Yeah. Let's take you know, to Reckon Oasis right or the house? Huh? You can go right back to the house. I assume. The house. The house. I don't care where she's at. House. It doesn't matter. That's fine. Our dinner. It's more of like, because I consider it. In Reckon Oasis, like the house is part right. of Reckon Oasis, but it's, it's also like, like not it's not in yeah. Reckon Oasis. I was that way, like Reckon Oasis, but I think house. Well, we have the transportation circle, so I think it's the same too. So yes, uh, house. That's fine. Cool. Y'all make your way back to the house. Um, walk out the tree, and you guys are back home. Well, that was fun. Well, at least we got to read the book. We got to read the book. Uh, they were given a set. The only thing that concerns us, I think, Orion is being stored underneath the some, 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 yeah, like that one. So, like, like his body. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's, that's a good thing to figure it out. So, I'm all good, you know. What is that since it is soul or anything? Well, what are we doing? Y'all are home. To the world to talk. Yes. Um, rain, you hear them come back home. Mm-hmm. I'll come down. If she may. Oh, rain's mad. Because she told y'all that this will happen. No, we we'll gotta get, we gotta get our hands dirty, dude. No, we'll we'll die. Die. I mean, we'll 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 sure we get our hands dirty. I know. But, I mean, we're gonna face Mezbo eventually, and... We might have to fight we'll Soul and Luna sometime. Yeah. You know? We are not fighting Luna. When you're reckless, you get information. So, Zinner, you were able to see that it said that potentially Orion has something to do with pyramids? pyramids? Serenium. I I don't know the specifics because I just got the idea that it was Orion Serenium. Either something of his or himself is stored underneath it. That might be where soul walked him away. But what I mean... So then what's the story? Did the Mafia separate him into the pieces? Or did soul separate him into pieces? I thought Mafia separated him into pieces to keep him alive. I'm being but honest. soul stored his body somewhere. 
So, so or the could have go straight for it. Could have taken his essence or his power. Because mm. there's no point in going straight for the body if you don't have the ability to <coughs> restore, the restore, restore it. it. Yeah, that well, might be. Maybe she doesn't know it's better. Well, we shouldn't let her know. But I am right in saying that. But basically, I got Orion something with the Serenium. I don't have anything specific. I didn't say body. I didn't say mind. I didn't say spirit. But nope. <clears throat> it was very evident somebody else wrote down the book. It was not uh, it's quasi celestial that I tried to read. It was very difficult. You all remember your co- you're remembering your conversation with. Uh, um, Jermaine. The, yeah, Jermaine the Bright Monk, where he said he read every book in that library. Huh. Just the one. <laughs> Didn't take him long. <laughs> so I was able to read every book in that library. Because he said to you, book. he read every book in that oh, library. In that library. It was only one, so it didn't take him long. There was a book. All he said is every book in that library. Yeah, he did not lie. So then the question becomes, what do we do with that information? Keep it from the moment. We're going to destroy the body. We still have the eye. I mean, we can destroy the eye too. But if we have a chance to destroy the body, we'll have to figure out how we can do that. We'd have to figure out a way to even get to the pyramid in the first place. To get inside. Right, I mean, but. I guess the question then becomes if you have a body that soul couldn't destroy and had to walk away. Didn't you didn't when you figure out that Rumash built this kind of city around or helped build? And he was definitely a, a contributor, but the pyramids have long <coughs> when my conversations remain him, they they've long been here since before the city was even a thing. So would the do you think Rumash would know what was in the pyramids? We could always ask him. Possibly. Because then the sense becomes what may you able to do. To be honest, it's probably a lot about the time that Ramash hasn't told us because maybe he's trying to play a little bit more into gaining favor of you, Vitra. Maybe he's also trying to keep you from going after anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he can't protect me forever. So, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to ask him. She pulls, she's like, look at this thing. Isn't it neat? (laughs) 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 But what's the next step in the goal? Would we find a way to destroy the pieces? Try to destroy the pieces. Because if we can destroy the pieces, then we can destroy our body forever. That would be just feeding, but not killing. I don't, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think that's plenty. Because we are going to have to kill them all Yeah. <laughs> there are people going to die on the way through this, this, this ordeal. Um, that's my idea. Kill them all dead. Wait, what? I want them all dead. That's Sage's goal. Um, but... You, you got it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <clears throat> I think we should ask your father more information if you know this. Some time ago, while playing to Mercury, he told me that the answer to our problems in dealing with Orion lay in his soul, and one that would be chosen by him. You and your father have the closest connection I could imagine that being. I hardly feel chosen by soul. Punish to a benefiting word. Well, soul is all about the struggle. How much do you think your mother could tell us? Not. Did we want to do something with your mom? Huh? Didn't Rumash say that your mom? Maybe I wasn't there for that conversation. I know, I, I, know. I thought the same thing, but I wasn't there for the conversation. I don't, so. I don't know if that was in private that he said that you're a dad. Oh, oh, um, so I guess we wanted to, because I wrote it down, we wanted to dispel magic on her because she had. Yeah, or remove curse. Or that, because yeah, it takes away like a lot of that. memory. So, the 
from what Rumash has told me, you know, you, I guess you guys are part of it, like, that my mother, you know, abused me, beat me, growing up, blaming me for Rumash leaving, and, uh, but Rumash brought up that it's a possibility that she's been cursed into thinking that way. So, possibly going and seeing her and seeing if we can remove curse or dispel magic or whatever that may be. Now, I don't know if she would like lose all memory up until right. this point or not. I don't know. But, I mean, she may know something because it sounds like people here know who she is as well. Mm -hmm. So, we can go to her. I mean, does that, that, probably be was that does, does that help me? Yeah, it helps you. What is, what is that would probably be the easiest thing to do. Okay. But it doesn't, I think that's a path to mm -hmm. information, but it doesn't necessarily right. lead us to. And if she knows no information, then we're going to get into them. Okay, so where would, if, if we're all we're meeting is information on how to destroy something, where would we get that information? Who? This isn't a shame, is that it? Yeah. Really. Jawu was the religious place of worship, but there's got to be a magical place of. I mean, I guess Femelin? What would be like the consortium of magic was? There is a very famous magical college in Tritown. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where some of the most, like, well, uh, yeah, well, 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 like, well, well learned people go there. Um, like professors of magic and purveyors of knowledge go to that particular college, which I cannot remember the name. Kudal. 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 And so they would have information, they could have information on how to destroy a divine object. Or? Don't know, but that would be. To answer your question about where you would go for magical yeah. information, it would probably be there. Would there be a probability that one of my teachers growing up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'd probably... Yeah, you grew up real close to this area, so you probably... Yeah. Honestly, it can probably be canon to your backstory that you went to Hudal, because that yeah. would make a lot of sense, because that's where all the rich nobles send their kids to learn magic. What do you say about that? But that's that makes it's a very word we... Or we try to go to get information from the plane. Go to the other plane and try to survive. I don't know. What is the. At some point, that's probably necessary. I, I think we've gotten the idea that since Orion is underneath the statue, it is probably as well guarded outside of our own hands at this moment that we can provide. But we do know at least there is one place that Amalfi will have to go to get what she wants. Yeah. Until then, we can find ways to destroy the objects that we do have, or object we do have, and find a way to release you from uh, medical desire. We will have to eventually deal with why. Mm -hmm. we Which we have no idea what he's doing at this moment. He's being crazy. I understand that, but we don't know if he's leaving at a high rate on some people. Well, last time we saw him was in Tritown. He might still be there. What was Could it? Uh, was it Zeris that walked in there? Yeah, Zeris. I think Zeris walked in there, which is like, oh, hey. Yes. <laughs> so what is, so what's, I mean. So Tritown then. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. To go see if we can learn how to destroy the app? Yeah. Or we want to go straight to med school and <laughs> kill him first. I don't want to go back to <laughs> well, you're not having to attend classes. Now you can fuck, fuck shit up at the classes. Now you can fuck what? Oh, I already did that, shit up. let me tell you. All the professors love me. Uh, yeah, let's go to Hugo. I want you. <laughs> so that's what we hey, met hey, you. Hey. Do you have any means of transport there? I just to sleep. I can tell them. The thing about teleport is that once I've been there and I'm familiar with it, I can teleport. Great. Okay. Awesome. That's good. It's an easy, so. easy trip then. Fascinating. 
Do we want to wait until our stroke? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do we want to sleep tonight? Maybe. Let's probably should. I'm all packed up on Mountain Dew. Let's go. Okay. Well, that's it. Got a belly full of Mountain Dew and Spicy Cheetos. Did you say have a Mountain Dew Spicy Cheetos? We're going to fix the tie down or we're going to TV and fix the wrong way for the tie down. So we're going to try to let's see and fix your mom when they go to try down, or are you going to fix your mom later? Have you processed enough to fix possibly fixing your mom? I said go to try down first. <laughs> <laughs> She's not ready. She's not ready. She's not ready for the possibility that I go for move curse. That that, every, goes, that everything is true. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. You were five, five minutes ago. Yeah. Order reverse is nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that, that could very well be the case. Yeah, you do the thing, she's like, what the fuck was that all about? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Major just cold cock her mom and then just <laughs> Say a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I still have that blade. So we're gonna rest Shane and then go to Tri Town. Yeah. Whatever dude. Cool. Whatever dude. Whatever. Um I'm gonna go ahead and roll my call number. If that's okay, Shane. Here's sure. Oh, I'll roll my phone sure, number as well. Someone want to, uh, uh, I got three to there. We have, we have phones in our rooms oh. that can do something. Do gotcha. you ever want to talk to your guy again for me about the barrier? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, when I go to my room, I will concentrate and uh, put that vibe out there and see. Oh, what. wizard! <laughs> I feel insulted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything in the realm of voice sounds insulting. I'm a wizard! <gasps> yes! I should say. Alright, alright, alright. So y'all doing some communing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be praying. Do you wanna do your communion? I'm gonna be praying. Oh, I'm still gonna be Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything spell-wise. It's gonna be kind of just flavor. Hey guys, I'll be honest. I don't think Trace got it. Huh? I don't think Trace got it. It's 3.30. Yeah. He said his lunch was at noon. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that in the word is. He must be having a good time. Oh, it's a melting pot. That does go all I don't know what that is. It's a fondue place. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right. It's a fondue place. Y'all told me that with vigor. But you gotta like cook it there, and you only cook that big pieces. I mean, it sounds cool. I mean, it's great. I always get their s'mores fondue at the end. Ooh, that'd be fun. We should do that. So good. We should do that sometime. Sounds like a good time. I've never been. It's fun. We should do it. It's in Addison. All right, I'll. Uh, it's just gonna be flavor, I guess, unless I do commune richly. But well, I don't really. You want have a big heavy. clock that you wear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll. I'll take my. I'll sit on the edge of the a bed in my in my play in my room, and kind of like look at the. Uh, I'll, I'll move back into shot if you God need me to. <laughs> I was just gonna get up and get something and say, but I'll move back into the. Uh, the room, and I'll take a look into the skull on my staff. Am I in there while you're doing this? If you yeah, want to. I would like to be. And I, I assume like, she's just following you everywhere. Yeah. And I like, I take the staff, and I kind of like, you know, I raise it up and let it drop in my hands a little bit, you know, like you kind of do, mm-hmm. and just hear the thud as I stare into the eyes. Like rhythmically? Me. Just. Yeah. Seems kind of uh, sexual to me, but that's okay. <laughs> well, and I'm just like thinking. Raising the staff. And I like <laughs> look into the eyes and see if I can make a connection with Mercule in this moment. Um, and let me know if like I need to make a throw check. Are you trying to commune? Or are you trying to like communicate with him? I'll do commune. That's that's tough because yeah, I, mean, I, I can make you roll, me. and then it's like a chance that you don't talk to him at all, or you can do commune where you at least get yes nos. Can you do both? I mean, I'm sure cheating if I do both. You can, I mean, here's the thing: you can do both. It doesn't mean the roll's going to be any easier. 
Right. I mean, you can do commune to where you get your yes nos, and then you can try to do some sort of like divine intervention, essentially, where you try to communicate. Like I like the roles that I do with uh, can I try Luna and Omo and all that. You know, you, you you can try for it first if you want to. Yeah, as well. What are you gonna try to do? I just want to try to talk to him. Okay. Can I talk to a god? I mean, do I have to be his devout follower to talk to him? So. I you can always try to talk to a god, right? I know the order sure. I'm about to go into then is that's Well, things. here's what I would do, and I don't want to like railroad how y'all do this, yeah, but really I would recommend maybe Zinro giving you his skull at least that he uses I'm to like have some sort of like I got it. Okay. Yeah, some sort of like token to be able to at least like connect. Because if not, you're just talking to the air. Like, how about I will cast commune, and I will say to you, you get three questions, yes or no, and I will say. Just look here. And I'll like just kind of wave side to side a little bit. Mm, okay. And see, watch into, like, watch into your eyes, your glass, and I'll just go, um, I'll just probably say something interesting like, imagine yourself lifeless, your body floating in space. This is what it's like to be dead, Cora. Oh, she's going to struggle with this so hard. <laughs> and I'm just going to try to be dull. Slow. Mm-hmm. Asking you questions. Three yes or no's. Mokyo will speak to you. <clears throat> yeah. And as the rhythmic staff drop of. You imagine yourself kind of eyes closed. Imagine yourself floating. Almost like you were in the astral sea. Where there's nothing around you. When you open your eyes back again, you see Zinro standing there with this staff, also eyes closed, just next to Zinro, standing there hovering above the ground is this black cloak figure, tattered at the bottom, just hovering in the wind, almost like a Dementor from like Harry Potter. Hood over the face, all you see is a boned chin holding a very large staff. It's about 10 feet tall. He's about eight feet tall. Slender, bony, hovering quite literally over his shoulder. And you just hear this like graspy voice say, what is your question? that in a way that it's not a double negative okay. answer because I don't want to I want to make it clear but saying can, can I, I can, not can I yeah. can I avoid being can I avoid being the barrier <clears throat> you see him put his staff like all the way on the ground and his hover kind of lowers to where he's on the ground he takes a couple steps and you hear multiple like bone cracks every step he takes <laughs> And he reaches his hand out, and it's just a skeletal hand. And on that hand is a coin. It's always a coin. Mm -hmm. I guess I grab the coin. Flip for your fate. Okay. Well, I guess you'd be like, okay. So I flip. When you pick up the coin, it's heavy. 
And when you look at it, you look at both sides, it's the same. You got the illusion of choice. <laughs> Point. I still I flip it. You flip it and it's ting. As it hits the ground, it doesn't bounce. Just <laughs> now when you looked at the coin, it had this triangle with the skull inside on each side. Mm -hmm. Roll a D20. That's a four. And when you look at this on the ground, it has a triangle with a skull inside. Oh, well. when, you pick, when you pick it back up, on the other side, it has this sun with the squiggling rays all around. So, like soul, I guess? Okay. It wasn't on there before. Well, it looks <clears throat> like my fate is uh, determined for me. And then he finally gives the answer and says, no. Like it, right? Yeah. You blink, you blink, and he's gone. Oh, oh, what's up? I was like, it would be really cool if, like, I open my eyes and she sees me stand up and turn towards the mercurial, but now she can't hear anything we're saying. And see if I can <laughs> yeah, he's gone for you, okay. but your commune is still going if you want. Uh, I, don't, I don't you want to ask you three questions. questions. I'll make a check to see if he's cool with religion or That's what do you funny. want? <laughs> what? This is not me doing communion, this is me talking to communicate with them. Roll a D100. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sorry. I made a really, really big Moscow mule. <laughs> That's a whole... Good night. It's in that. Good afternoon. No, it's in that. <laughs> oh, that would be I was so saying it's in that. No, no, this is where we cast our votes. <laughs> <laughs> Double zeros is zero. Right? It's yeah. either zero or a hundred. It depends on the other one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a three. It's a third. No, it's a three. It's a it's three. Zero, three. Zero, zero, oh, zero, zero, and a three? Yeah. All right. It's a three. Oh. He's going to look over at you. Wait for you to talk. How many questions do you get? We got a lot. Oh, it's not a question. You can talk to it. Oh, yeah. Just keep going for like an hour straight. Well, until yeah. Mercury leaves. Yeah, I'm trying to think. He has a short attention span. Attention yeah. span. Hey, he's a guy. He's a busy man. Um, I'll just, um, Thank you. I could ask you a couple of questions. The fairy. <clears throat> what is it to us? To you, nothing. To me, <sighs> opportunity. I said, for you, nothing. We have other plans. The one gifted by soul, is it the same one? It is the seed of Rumash. see him kind of lean back, both hands on the staff now. Yours, right. I'll wake up. He's gone. Do we want to ask 
<laughs> Mercury's just a he's just a little guy, you know. He's, it's a big it's a big machine. He's just one little cog. I just yeah, thought, I just thought that was good. Questions about me though. I just thought that was good. At any point I wanted to. Do. I know. <laughs> Seamus, whole story. <laughs> Useful information. No, there it is, baby. She- Seamus is like Seamus is like the the type of person that'll play through like certain plot lines of a game before ever moving forward, like just to make sure he gets that like full plot. I do a lot of that. Like mm-hmm. he finishes all the side quests before moving on because he needs to make sure that that person got their help right. So. Uh, well, you saw, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Did, <clears throat> did he answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm more confused than ever. That's pretty good. Apparently, I am. Oh shit. The fucking train. Jesus, sir. Shows up at three <laughs> forty. I mean, I can continue playing after I leave too. I'm out of it. I saw my mom in the library, so it's probably. What's that dog? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I had two calls. All right. Two calls. Or a little sending spells. Yeah, sending spells. Two sending spells. Um, I'm going to call Umbra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's happening. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> I'm going to roll. Um, I'm going to sit. You're going to roll the new See if I can be in the room. Aren't you with him? How would you know? It's okay. I rolled 14. I, don't know. I was like, I think you're with him. I don't know what happened at the same time. I'm going to say, um, hi, it's Sage. <laughs> Just wanted to check in, I guess. So I, awkward. I, it is! She's not good at this! I've, it's like that rom-com moment where someone tries to leave a voicemail and they're like, terribly bad on purpose. Like, exact moment. I, I should have done this. I'm so sorry. I'm reading this. Hi, it's Sage. Can you deliver the first message? Maybe again. I don't think I said that quite right. Oh, all I'm getting on my end is do 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 <laughs> busy. <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead. Start over. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, hi, it's Sage. Um, just wanted to check in, I guess. I've been thinking about you, and I hope you're safe. And that's it. <laughs> oh, this is just sending you. No, it's sending. Oh, you can reply to this. That's message. just what we call it. Oh, we just say call. Yeah, you can reply to this message. <clears throat> You get a response um, after a few moments, and she's like, "Oh, well, hello. Um, I terribly sorry to not have been thinking of you, but but I am now. I hope you are all doing well. Um, thanks so much for the delivery, by the way. What delivery? You gonna use your second call? Yeah." <laughs> Glad to hear you're safe. Uh, what, what delivery? Anything else you want to say? You still have a little bit of... Uh, why, why aren't you thinking of me? No, I'm not going to say that. Will you think of me more? Yeah, can you think of me moving forward? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> now she's just confused. No, let's see. Yeah. Oh, the handless man, of course. The mutes delivered... Yeah. No. The mute delivered the man to me Bradbury. as promised. He's very useful. He's very useful on the ship. He might even make himself my first mate. The handless man is who she's talking about. Bradbury. Derek was hired by her to get Bradbury. And he succeeded. He succeeded. Gotcha. I don't know how much you love her. I only had two calls. That was it. That's all I can say. Okay. I have three. Don't you like that? I'm not a druid. 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 I'm not a
I think it was a Valfi. No, Valfi, I have it. She has it. Yeah. Hey, Valfi, you want to know where your husband's body is? JK, we don't know. (laughs) 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 So I'm really like, oh, no. (laughs) Sweet! It's in like the Michael Jordan gif of I'm just like crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's your husband's body running. To their own story while we're hanging out at the house. What are we doing? Yeah, I kind of want to uh, talk to Linda. See. Make that roll, baby. I haven't talked to her in a while. Oh, Make that roll. D100. Oh, oh my gosh. Huh? She about to break anything. Oh, I just think I'm still doing the killing thing. Uh, she is. We. I aren't. I don't say we as in a general. I mean, I helped out the witch. She's very much doing the passiveness playthrough. I'm fine. Passiveness playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five. Five? Yeah, zero. I think it's fifty. No, that's fifty. Is that fifty? Yeah. Yeah, is it, if it's zero, 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 zero. Oh, zero, five. zero. Oh, okay. So, so that's one's a over one. Okay, so, well, she's trying to talk to me. <laughs> you can still say something. Okay, I'll still try. Um, I'm going to so a little perturbed at my group. And I'm going to say, Luna, please help me. My friends are not listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. Luna's rolling her eyes about the col- like the high school drama. <laughs> uh, I'm trying my best to do as you say and try to make peace and try not to kill and try not to be reckless. But I can only do so much for my friends. Just please help me with them or help me find a way to get through to them. This is not working. Oh, that's fine. I'm not going to This is going great. This is going great. Um, yeah, you don't get any response. Um, but you can try again tomorrow. <laughs> I do want to do one quick thing. I want to go look at his memories of the dragon again. Okay. And see if it starts anything else. I'm going to it's always open. Yeah. It's whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. We're not in the other plane. Yeah. No. no, 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 no. Y'all are back. Oh, okay. Y'all are back. Sorry. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, y'all made your way. You got you got back from the other plane of existence without any big issue. And if you're worried about the kids, see, it wasn't, but thanks. <laughs> Honestly, not that many people were. Um, <laughs> I, Shade was a little shocked that y'all didn't care that much about the kids, but y'all still got them out. The kids. Yeah, you we got them out no matter what. They almost murdered. They almost murdered thirty more. Uh, uh, correction, nineteen. What's the difference between one thirty? You've already crossed that boundary line. Nineteen. Hey, Mister First one to murder an entire building of people. <laughs> that was a whole different it's character. It's a badge that I'll wear. That was a whole different character. All right. Character Arathian paid the ultimate price, and he has a s- squirrel widow now. So, yeah, true. if you know, you need to talk about sacrifice. <laughs> Is he still running the bar, or did we lose him whenever we did the time slot? He, he lost him. Mm. He's still running a bar, you he's just don't know. In a different bar. Ah. He's back in Athos Beach, where y'all first met. Running Ombre's bar down there. Running the uh, mm-hmm. cats. Uh, Dragon memories. Yeah. Um, is there a particular memory you're trying to... So cool. seeing what we wrote, they wrote Orion in common in the book. Um... I want to see if, if I know that Antagon is connected to Orion, so if any connection there is if anything, anything pops up. Just the word Orion? Yeah, so I'm going to be thinking about Orion, the word we saw Orion scribbled in the book, right? <coughs> the ancient book. And so... I mean, if I were you, I'd be like thinking about the pyramids, because of those things pre-date Everything else well, doesn't predate Orion. I mean, obviously, I would have So, all right, I'll just I'll just go with that. I'll just go with Orion and the pyramids. What do we think about that? Cool. Um, mm-hmm. So, in this in this area, it's essentially a gaze bow, right? Um, 
Now in my head, I'm thinking of like, hey, it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, not until next month. Um, so, when I read a word, expeditus. 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 It doesn't necessarily how to pronounce it. So when she saw Gazebo, she pronounced it Gazebo. And now my parents tell everybody that. And they told me that. Oh, and Hamak. And Hamak. 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 Okay, well, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. My parents call it humanisms, so. Yeah, but I get it when she was a kid, but it still happens. <laughs> Home depot. What? Home depot. <laughs> It'd be one thing if she said Home Depot, but no. Home she had it right, just still put the T on. <laughs> it was still Home Depot, but with the T. <laughs> Home depot. And I was like, you must be really okay. <laughs> Right after that, we can go to Laos in case they don't have anything at Home Depot. <laughs> no, I just have a problem. What did you ask her? Why and say yes? What did you ask her? Oh, oh no. And as a fucking ten-year-old, I hope not. Cool. So, like I said, it's kind of a gazebo style, like a bunch of pillars, but it's open, kind of like you know, Pantheon style, right? Um, it does have a roof. Uh, which is kind of part of the it's a, it's experience, a, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a dome. Yeah, that's yeah. where it creates the shadow. So, so I'm like, I'm like sit against one of the pillars, really touching one of them, but I'll like put my wand down and like sit cross legged or put my back against one. So and stare at. typically, when this thing starts doing its memories, it kind of starts with these like shadows on the roof, and it like goes through almost like reflecting all the way around, and you're seeing kind of like a a video, right? Like a like a mental projection of you know your own memories or someone else's memories uh for this one all of that light which is typically kind of like this orange yellow backdrop to the shadows it is just like crimson blood red the entire dome and all of the pillows are like pulsing this like crimson dark red um you still get the shadow and the shadow is this large being almost taking the entire dome he has these two horns coming out creating this s curve these large demonic wings and you see him like with this almost witch like pot and again it's all shadow puppet style so you're only seeing a one dimensional version of it a two dimensional version of this and he's like throwing these ingredients like a cartoon just like over his back throwing things into the pot and you see, like, his wings expand, and he's like, ha, 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 And the pot bubbles, bubbles, and then this little bat pops out, lands on his shoulder, and through the shadow you just see this little and this little poop, plume of flame comes out of this bat, and you start to see suddenly the, the, the big being with these wings and horns starts to seemingly get smaller and smaller as on his shoulder, this being gets bigger and weighing him down to a point where eventually this huge being becomes a small little beacon of a shadow where this bat expands and expands and expands. It gets so big that now it takes up the entire all the way wrapped around every pillow of the gazebo and the dome and you just hear this roar and it makes you smile as you see your birth of Encaligon. I will put that memory in the pillow. It's there. Um, and then I'll have it <laughs> appear, arrive up here. And then I'll just kind of like stare at it for a bit. A little creepy, but okay. <laughs> uh, what about the rest of you guys? I'm going there too. Did I see all this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you follow it along. 
I don't know if I would pay attention. I mean, I know people go in there, so I don't, I don't intrude too much. I mean, you know, I imagine you would have heard more. So. Well, in my mind, it's a very like it doesn't convey sound for the most part. It's just like if it would be a huge roar, so it would be like. <coughs> Imagine, imagine the roar you heard, okay. like yeah. okay. on the on the image. It's just like a silent image of like him going, uh, but, but I, I, you like heard and felt the roar okay. in your own head. It's like triggering memory. Yeah, okay. not not anyone who's gonna watch it is gonna hear that, but yeah, you specifically. Okay. Yeah, because you're right. It's not like it's not audible. It's just clay pot style animation. You know, Hercules shadows, all that shit. You know. It's like when you read a saying, you're like in here. Yeah. I was gonna wait until we get to a war room situation and cool. think about what our next step is. I think we several meeting in the war room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get to it. Y'all are all there. Um, what's the plan? What is the next? The next step is to find how to destroy something. Yeah, lay out or or kill somebody. Some time ago, Mercury told me that there was there would be one amongst us who was chosen by soul. I kept it to myself <clears> for a while. Somebody that could help us in Orion's defeat. Vidra, you are the one he was referring to. The seed of Ramash is sure. the one that will be chosen by soul. Oh. Those are his words exactly. Mm -hmm. And he confirmed it when I asked him about it. So we must figure out the truth. I think we need to go see our mother and give what evidence we can between her relationship with Soul, if she had one, as well as Ramash's side of the story for her. That would be my next book. Personally. Mm -hmm. So chosen one. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it makes sense. No, yeah. sure. <laughs> Okay. The rest of us have either been promised <laughs> to other gods or very clearly are not smiled upon by soul. Um, yeah, I guess you're not going to lie to them. Nothing can really touch y'all here. Yeah, I mean, my. I've thought about it. <laughs> when y'all are here, you're kind of kind of safe. My first. Uh, Unfortunately. Vote was to go to Hudal. Here. But why don't we, mm -hmm. we can go meet with your mother and then we can go straight to Yeah, she's all in Ontario. She's all in Ontario. She'll be good. If that's what that one. No. I'd have a lot of questions after that. I mean, to see what she knows of. Uh, well, well, so saw so fit to raise her memories and change them, as Olmo did. Mm -hmm. Sage. There must be a reason why. There must be a reason, and the truth is probably <coughs> not very good in his favor. I don't think many things are good in Soul's favor, to be honest, as I've seen lately. Yeah. We cannot understand what the gods have to do to make things all balance. I just, there's, there's a, it's an interesting message to portray to people of Soul's light gets everywhere, but let me lock away this knowledge, or kill my brother because he doesn't follow my orders. It's just interesting for people to follow one person when they do evil things. And to claim one is that other one, other one is evil one. Your concerns are very much valid. I just don't have the answers. Um, outside of game, I do have to start unpacking at like 4.15. So for the sake of that, do you want to do Hedo first? That's fine. I'll go right next door so we can do yeah, this. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I'd hate to like go and, and do this whole thing with my mom and then be like, all right, bye. Yeah, you know. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was just going to put it out there. I mean, no, I want to do that. We would either oh, have to do it very fast, which means that we can go to Kudal when you. Or we can just Kudal. Probably she wants to rush through it. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. So let's do Kudal. That would give me some time to think about some questions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was there. She was at the dinner. <laughs> right. Well, if we've slept since the next day, I can get us 
to right outside the academy. Okay. So I believe we have indeed. Oh, you're talking to me. I don't have to talk about it. I'm so glad that you have to talk about it. Yeah, we can trade. Yeah, we can trade. If you've got the trades so board, that, that takes a spell for both of them. No, wait, wait, yeah, <coughs> that, never mind, sorry. Yes, let's do that. The tree or teleport? Let's go to school. Tree, to get them, yes. teleport back. Yes. How's that sound? Okay. All right. Whoop. <laughs> tree. Whoop. Whoop. Believe it or not. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoop. Uh, you guys are back in Tritown. At one of the trees that you guys were hiding behind. Do you want to make it the tree that you guys met the people who made you cookies? Let's or? do the one next time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, don't want to break out of it. Like, yeah, let's do They're the like, one next time. We were expecting your return. Here's cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we should make sure there's no army. And... Yeah. That's, I mean, we're on the outside. If we're going to that little house tree. So. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Is there any, oh, hmm? is there any encampments? Is there that tent still there? Is the tree open? No. The tree is yeah. dead. No, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's, it's, fine. Okay. it's totally fine. It's alive. Oh, cookie. Keep what helps so long. Oh, it's so funny the difference of people last time because Cree met with those and Cora would have definitely gone inside for cookies. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. I was sad. Uh, cool. So, yeah, you guys get there. It does not seem to be any armies out here. It seems to be kind of back to a normal town where people are actually in town. It seems populated. There's carts. There's people. Yeah, I'm just gonna instantly start skipping off because I know exactly where to go. Yep. Oh, Cora, the exact same manner. Oh my god, don't skip. I, 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 I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, right, shit. I'll pick him up and then I'll skip. <laughs> 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 Ready to learn our fight song? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, you guys yes. <laughs> walk over to uh, Hudal College. Um, as you guys start to get close to Hudal, um, there's this immensely long bridge that kind of, there's like this large, you can call it a moat to give you the best description, but more than likely it's better described as an island because of how far this bridge is, but um, only, only one entrance onto Hudal, uh, and it's this, again, Probably 500 foot bridge. Huge. Uh, takes a little bit of time to get across it, but as you're walking across the bridge, you look up at the school and it's almost, I mean, the best way to describe it's very Hogwarts esque, where there's these large castleized like pillars and turrets and large wall protecting, um, but there is a gate being held by this little uh, kind of office built into next to the gate and as you approach um, who, well who's approaching I assume probably Cora right so as you approach you see this like human woman inside um, and she says hello hi what's your business <laughs> I'm, I'm an alumni that's wonderful what's your business I want to visit old professors. It's not how we do it here. You need to be a student. Oh my god, we are not enrolling in college. I could enroll. <laughs> 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 we are you taking any that. active classes? Yes. Yeah. What's your name? I'll look you up in the system. She <laughs> looks like this. Story of the time. Ben Cora, female, Storm. <laughs> she, she types it all out. You're not taking any classes at the moment. I'm just gonna have minor illusion, a correction on whatever she's looking at, setting that amp active. She's gonna it's gonna look, it's gonna it's gonna change as she's looking at it and say, huh, really good. She's gonna dispel it. <laughs> she's like, She's like, I already read it wasn't active. That would have been clever if it was before I read it. <laughs> you probably should take some more classes here. <laughs> who's, the rest, who's the rest of you? Can we say we're here for research? Who are you? Brett. 
Now I'm gonna do it. As, she, as you walk up and kind of approach, her image changes and she becomes this kind of prettier fairy. And she's like, hello? Wrath is it? Yes. She always changes. And you're a student? Um, what a research. I is a researching professor. Oh, no. Uh, then how do I enroll? You need to have a sponsor. A sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sponsor it. Who are you? Try to show your magical ability and you just let me in. I can show you many magical abilities. That's not, that's not what I said. No, wait, hold on. I just wanted you to hear how irrelevant it sounded. <laughs> yes. And who are you, sir? His sponsor? Yeah. As you start to communicate with her, you guys all see her body grow into this large, barely fitting into this booth now. Because <clears throat> you're human. <laughs> you see this large, like, Goliath woman now. Oh, Tifa. Sorry, I keep thinking Goliath. Uh, well, not as large then, but she's still going to be kind of like a bigger to kind of match her size. Um, and who are you? How are you his sponsor? Oh, I didn't know if I... Uh, do I need an application? Oh. What are the qualifications so you don't, of a sponsor? You have to commit certain d donations to the... I'm supposed to pay for school. I pay for it. care about No, to be a sponsor, you have to sponsor the school. I, I could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Right? Yeah. Do, do we put our name on the football field or anything? No. You do, you do get a brick on the building with your name in it. What name do you put? This face. How much does a sponsorship cost? How many are you trying to sponsor? Um, how many? How many would be necessary to get us all in? Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, so I think it's tricky. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> trying to tell him. That was an experience, wasn't it? I'm going to take out the sad mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he got masks made. <laughs> to help <laughs> show emotion. My, my, my emotion. Sorry, um, can you re-ask your question? A bit... Yeah, what are we asking? Uh, how, many, how many do we, <laughs> what are like, if we want to get oh, all go in, how, how, much, many, would it, how much, much would it cost to all get us all to go in as sponsors? It's a bit tricky. Um, so the problem is that you kind of have to be an alumni, like Ms. Yeah, Vancouver. Right. A so, sponsor? She can sponsor someone, well, and therefore... So here's the she thing. could sponsor everyone. We're I'll kind of sponsor like you all. Board of Directors? I can tap with my dad. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And that would be Regis Stormo. Correct. Okay. Hello, Let's go. Okay. No. okay. Well, welcome to Hugh Doll. Oh, okay. Please, hmm? don't, don't touch anything. Immediately gonna touch the wall. Don't oh don't cause any problems or else Regis will be billed. Oh. Um you have free range to explore the facilities and I assume you're all here to view the school for possible enrollment. Correct. Uh -huh. yes. Where so, is seems you library? may need it. <laughs> looking for a professor. Huh? The library. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, Hudo is known for its knowledge. The library is throughout the entire school. You probably want to go to a professor of history or religion or something like that. Like we're trying to destroy the library here. Right. It's fire building. Do you have a defense against the dark arts coming in? Yeah. Big bad evil guy. Yeah. 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 Do you happen to know there's a slightly evil professor that seems really evil most of the time? Is in love with the chosen one. Whoa! 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 He's in love with the chosen one. He's in love with the chosen one. He's in love with the chosen one. He's 
saying some guy allowed to be a dick because she doesn't like that form. But <laughs> who's the only person here? Wow. Sorry. Who's the oldest professor here? Um, who's the most, who's the strongest caster? What is she turning to? A fairy. Caster, like a fairy. Strongest caster? Mm-hmm. He's, he's old, he's... Not, uh, not that old is bad, but... It's not always as strong. Oh, guys, can you see that? I'm gonna want, I, I want to talk to her. Again. I put her in a sense of torture. Um, I think you probably want to speak with. <laughs> Perfect. Don't make him talk to me, please. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> could be the last one to talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to change the neutral. Professor Serrano would be oh. the one to speak with. He's, he's the one who typically handles if we have any sort of security issues or, you know, have to protect the school from a war. He that did a fine job doing that as we still stand. Did I so, take his class? I don't know if you took his class. That's uh, a shame question, not a lady question. Well, she oh. can look it up. She knows what courses you took. Let me just look into the database. It's just rather active on itself. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you never passed. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised that. Uh, no, he was a he was a he was an extra learned course you have to specifically take Serrano's class. Who? I prefer history. What professor knows the most history of the world? That one. What? I don't know. I just worked the gate, I'd assume. Who's the bane? Who's the head of history here? Let me look. See if I have it. Probably not. What'd you roll? Two. Oh. So my history is. Let's see. Oh, I'm proficient in history. 20. Uh, so what is, oh. what, what is the. 2 to 20? You roll a 10 on that. I, I, I get a 10 on that. She gets day. double. If you're proficient, oh, if you're proficient yeah. and then she gets yeah. double proficiency as a rogue, so she's like, so at level 13, 20. it's like plus 10, plus whatever. Yeah, I had plus 10. Yeah. So, automatic 10 plus 10. Yeah, nice. So, the professor is... Yeah, suddenly, suddenly she's like, you know what? I do remember. Uh, that would be, that would be, uh, we'll name her Mrs. Laundry. Not Mrs. Laundry. Laundry. Where can we find Mrs. Larry? Well, I probably know that too. Probably, probably in the laundry room. I'm just kidding. Um, pro- yeah, I thought it was nice. Probably somewhere, you know, uh, close to her, her room. Uh, she's usually on the second floor of the A-Wing. Hi, right, girl. Let's go. Hey. Hope you all have a wonderful time. Say hi to you. 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 She's like purposely not looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic evening. Miss, would you like to say something to me, please? Let me just like you. Yeah, that'd be funny if she had to stay that way until somebody else came across her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will be back. I didn't get my mom's last name. Wow, come on. What's that? I was going to ask if my mom would care. Your mom? Arabella? Yeah, but she's human, but I don't know what. But if her Drew is, then she'll have to be a Druid too, right? Nope, not really. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can be, you can learn to be a Druid. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I agree. So. Well, I can still ask if she came here, because I don't know if she learned it before she had me. Go for it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you still ask? Yeah, I do have a question, ma'am. Yeah. She becomes very pretty. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Anything. Um, <laughs> Whatever you'd like to ask. Can someone name Arabella go here? Let me look for you. Uh, last name? <laughs> I'm not sure last name. It's, it's Fairfell, Fairfell, but... Huh? Fairfell, Fairfell, but that's like her married, like, daddy's name. I was like, I don't know. I hey, hey, that. hey, hey, guess what? You made it up. You can make whatever you want. I know, but I don't know the last names. 
See anything about an Arabella? Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Anyone else you'd like to? Uh, sure, Fenry Fairfax. Uh, Fenry. It was a long time ago, uh, six hundred years ago. But yes. Looks like he graduated with full honors. Someone you know. He's my dad. No, oh, congratulations. <laughs> he seems to be very successful with magics. Thank you so much. Pleasure's just mine. And then she like hides her head. <laughs> Please go inside, everyone. Real quick question. I just have one more thing. I was wondering, could you do me a favor and catch this gold piece? For the record, this was just as fun last time y'all went to Hugh Doll with the other group. <laughs> like, yeah. we went in like the. I like the concept. Yeah. The entry lady was like constantly changing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name was Alski. Alright. Well, the gate, the portcullis gate kind of opens up and you guys are able to walk in. Uh, as you go inside, it's a smaller bridge this time, but just kind of like to the actual like main building where there's lots of uh, big open corridors, um, kind of wide uh, like entry points to different rooms. Uh, all the doors seem to be... Where are you going? I told you I had to leave. I didn't ask when you, like, where are you going? Oh, uh, Cody's end of season showcase at School of Rocks. All of his like kids and bands are performing. Seems lame. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. It seems like you've made your decision on who you who you prefer to hang out with. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at what I think we were just becoming friends. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're gonna make me fucking anxious. <laughs> Don't be fucking all right. Okay, we're not you're judging Cody or anything. It's just you. It's just me. You're plenty of time to think about it, Cody. Yeah. I can't wait to your wedding. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 Can we uninvite her from our wedding? Alright, so how are we going to kill Vitra? <laughs> I think we'll let her finish it. Yes. Now he's a cat, so it's like... Uh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <I> just <laughs> yeah, it just sharpens his claw. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, you guys get inside the school. Um, it seems to be kind of like an off day for the school. It doesn't seem like a... Like, there's people here besides, like, maybe some faculty. How long ago was this since you graduated? Um, about that. I might not have been the best student. She didn't or the most beloved. Did you at least go to class? Yes! She was enrolled. Well, I mean, if we're looking for... Did you go to class and learn? I did learn. Do you know the map? I do know the map. Well, then it's with you. The teachers might not have always liked it, but I... Do you happen to know the professor? Oh, you? totally. She loves me sometimes. You, did you take her class? Yeah. To make me leave behind or send her to the other country. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. There are oh, I didn't look at her. Well, she's got a oh, map. Right. She can like, write us a map. I am the map. She's the map. She's the I map. am the map. She's the map. <laughs> <laughs> the city is the map. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you see a college professor? Behind you, bitch. So you make your way to Ms. Laundry's classroom. Um, she is inside the room behind her desk, um, seemingly just kind of scrolling through some different papers on her desk. Uh, sees you, instantly looks up, looks down, and you can see just a. It's a poverty 
Canadian pop. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have class today. Classes off today. Thank you all so much for visiting. It's been so long. I missed you. Uh, you your classes are my favorites. Yeah, so there's no class today. So <laughs> if you all want to come back tomorrow. Um, Cora, why don't you take me to your second favorite class? Mm. Miss Barbara. Right? Uh -huh. Laundry. L L Laundry is great. Um, wow. She may not have been the best student. I'm uh, not we are not here to attend, but to ask some questions. Yes, you may attend my class. No. We're here to get some information about a certain um, quest that we're on. What are you, yes. adventurous? You could call us that, yeah. Well, this is the wrong school for you. You need to be going to Wellman's if you... This is more of a knowledge-based question, and obviously we know people is better for that. Of course we're better for that. What do you know of Arrival? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why we're here. I would politely ask you all to leave. Can I ask why? Because I don't want anything to do with that person. We're but not here for that person. That's exactly why you're here. <laughs> Seems to be exactly the reason you're here. But... We're not here to help that person. We're here to stop that person. Mm. And this is where I'm supposed to ask why you're stopping him. You'll tell no, me the you evil doings. Know. You don't need to know any details. We, we can ask you the questions. You don't have to ask us anything. And you don't have to know anything beyond what you know as a history <clears throat> and what? what may be helpful to us in our endeavors. Endeavors. Yeah. Could you possibly destroy an ancient artifact? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I made good friends! These are the exact type of people I knew you would find, Cora. I'm so good at finding friends. Now when you say destroy an ancient artifact, I'm assuming you mean something of a relic of a deity of... Yes. See who have not shot up your name. See how you she's see, so smart. You've done so much of the thinking already. I wish you all had done a little more thinking before coming here. Right. Why? Yes. Again, another great question to ask before obtaining or searching out these artifacts. Oh, it's too late to go that Too late for that part. We are past that. Oh my god. <laughs> He's flopping on the desk. Okay. Put it on the table, let somebody else know. And good gracious, what is this? A box? An arcane nice. lock of sorts. Clean, clean. It could just stay in a box if you just give it yeah. to You don't have to know what's in the box. Or why would you say what it is? Why would you present the box if you were not going to tell me what it was? You've already deducted what it is. I have no clue what it is. It's a box with an arcane lock that doesn't tell me what's inside. That's it's the lock. Eye of Orion. Okay. I don't know what that means. Well, oh, really? Yeah. Plus, I assume you should put that together for me. Like, take the literal words, the Eye That's of Orion. Disgusting. It's a gem. It's but a box. It's pretty. You don't want to touch it. No. No, you shouldn't. I would love to look at it, Cora. Of course I don't want to look at it. Why is it here in my office? Why are you here? We need to know how to destroy it. I do. So? And? So? Could you tell us the As a person of knowledge, I can tell you it's a very stupid thing to be dabbling with this at all. Right. We were, we're, you seem like all dropout students, if students at all. So why are you dealing with someone more powerful than all of you combined? What race is she? Oh my god. <laughs> She's an elf. Everyone here's an elf. Okay. This is not a, a, a choice to enwrap ourselves with this. It is. We're gonna save the world! It is. You see how you have that box there? Yeah, but it's You get rid of the box, and then... That's what we're trying to do. No, 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 no. No, what you're trying to do is destroy it, if I was right. Mm -hmm. Right, from what you asked originally. That would be heavily involving you. Yeah, but we're already heavily involved, so it's not much more effort to just do that. 
it's an extreme amount of effort. Okay. You can't just destroy an artifact like the Eye of Orion, whatever that means. If it's some sort of phylactery of some sort, you can't just destroy it. Just, so what do, you, what do you do? What do you do? I see what you're doing. You're not as <laughs> clever. You're not as clever as you leave on to believe. To be perfectly frank, we're not trying to be clever. We're just trying to destroy it. And I'm trying to tell you I don't want to be a part of this. I know. So if you just but tell I, but us... But I have another question of why can't you just give us the answer so we leave it and you don't know... What because then part. I'm involved, you silly boy. Bro, I'm going to forget your name when we leave anyway. It so. doesn't matter. Orion won't. Uh, he's not listening. This is his eye, not his ear. But you I don't, don't think his queen is watching you right now. Oh, we probably true. <laughs> With that? As but soon as you pulled that us. out of that bag of holding, my boy. <laughs> That's right, she can't. As soon as you pulled that box out of that bag of holding, I guarantee she sensed it. Well, then you're already involved. Which is why I'm telling you to leave. Yeah, but it's a little too late for you. But it's a remove the implication that you're already involved. Yes, it is. If she's watching, she's definitely hearing me say fuck off. You think she cares if you help us or not? Either way, you're dead. (laughs) I'm not dead. I'm very much alive, and I have been for over 800 years. And she will not care about that. We cannot get rid of the item. Because one of us is marked to forever find. Oh my god. (laughs) 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 If you won't help us, do you know who could and would? Yes. Have you heard of a man named Sol? He's the only one who's ever defeated Orion. I don't think a lot of you are going to be able to do it. Oh man, why do you keep bringing these videos down to our level? What? <laughs> yeah, Orion is a person, soul is a man. It's kind of okay. weird that you're bringing him down like that. So, so I'm going to, we should tie back. Hello. Pull out my Rosania thoughts, put it on, and detect her thoughts. Are you not just wearing it all the time? I don't just wear it all the time. I have like two necklaces, so I do it. <laughs> <laughs> two of them do nothing. One of them does. One of them, one of them is, the one, I, okay, the one I wear all the time is the one that I gave me. That one only wants to be stupid things. Right. So I just, so I just take it off, put it on. That was like OG pre level one or like level three shit. Yeah. The, the, the thoughts one doesn't match anything. It's kind of an ugly necklace, so clashes. With yeah, things. aesthetically, it's not a very pretty right. necklace. Yeah. yeah, that's why the speed. Right, 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 right. right. Um, yeah, go ahead and make a sleight of hand or stealth check, whatever is better for you. If you're trying to hide it, are you trying to hide it? I mean, I guess they're trying to hide it, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess we could always just leave the box here with the most knowledgeable wizards in all the land. And I will throw it in the ocean. We already tried that. Yeah, it came back. Did it? Well, yes. Specifically, a large ancient dragon. Oh, yeah, I haven't got it. So, in the ocean. Yeah. It's okay, we killed it. Right. Algarante was a very worthy opponent. Mm-hmm. 22. 22? Yeah, she doesn't see it. <laughs> you'll be like, you'll be like, oh, that's crazy. You don't like evil stuff. Hair <laughs> <laughs> flip. Yeah, hair flip. Uh, yeah, you're able to pop it on. Okay. Let me know, like, when something said that you want to detect. Okay. Um, or else it'll be very confusing to, like, listen to everything while I'm, she's trying to talk to you. So let me know, like, what you're trying to listen for in certain moments, okay? Can I just try this? Absolutely! No, I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> oh, I thought I was waiting for, like, a... Like a prompt? I mean, like, you guys can well, do... No, it's more because it's, like, this we're trying to like, yeah. until there's a prompt. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, Persuasion, like the better men of the world. Yeah, let's hear your let's hear your pitch. Oh, that's, that's what we were trying to do. This yeah. was what was happening. This was the pitch. No, 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 no. Like, I will say at some point I said, "Do you know how to destroy?" And I don't know if she gave us an answer to she, that. She keeps saying "fuck off." She won't tell us. Yeah, she doesn't. She's, I she's telling you. We'll make a preemptive insight check. If that is okay to see if she I know, it's, if it's she like, like does she does it seem like she knows she's just telling us that she. Didn't. Well, she told Go ahead and roll your insight check. Uh, 18. Hard to get a read on her. Okay. She seems to be... Yeah, she's a savior. Tell us that she knew, but she wasn't wanting to tell us. Now, now Rain, as he's doing that, and she says, destroy it, just get rid of it. You don't want these... on. You don't want this on your hands. Just throw it in the ocean. Um, in her head... She's thinking, destroying it wouldn't work. <clears throat> hey, can I do a perception check to see if I see the little orb of scribe? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Go ahead and roll that perception check. Oh, this is so 
She's old. I'm not making perception. She's why I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. You see it? Where? Where is it? In the corner of the room. Watching all of you. This is from Althea. Just stop already! God. <laughs> and I will cast uh, Mordecai's Pride Signal. Ooh. As soon as you go to cast something, mm-hmm. laundry. Nuh uh. Counterspell. I don't know what you're up to, but do not cast spells in here. We already got what? a spell in here. Dispel magic. Gone. Done. Mordecai's Pride Signal? I told you she was listening. And now she's not. Now she's not. Will you please leave? Yeah. Did she ever listen to you at, at any point? No. <laughs> yeah, so you <laughs> assume that her group of friends are going to listen at all. Really good argument. <laughs> you know what? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> I'll give you advantage because that's, that's a, really that's, a really that's a, that's a, really like Hannah said, that's a really good point. Yeah. yeah. That's all of a sudden Sarah's got this moment like, whoa. <laughs> it was profound and didn't even realize <laughs> there it. There you go. What'd you do with Holy Brain? You get a better sweep from first. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just, we'll just get the answer. What do you need? You rolled twice? I rolled a 19, 19 and then re rolled a 20. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Well, let me see what my persuasion is. My intimidation, on the other hand, you know, but. Alright, what, what was the roll? So it was a 19, 20. I was oh. a little low, uh, and then rolled a 20. Well, I thought you had a 20. Oh, okay. Uh, persuasion, it's a 23. But if it was a threat, if it was a threatening kind of thing, it could be a 28, depending on how she takes it. This is a mild threat. I don't think saying we're her friends is a threat. Yeah, a threat it depends on how much she hated Cora. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a violent threat, it's just a... It's a threat, it's just not a threat of It's a, we will not leave. Um, it's a promise. <laughs> regardless, a 23 would... Um, she's like, listen, something like that, destroying it wouldn't, whatever you're trying to accomplish, destroying it is not going to get that end goal. You don't think someone like Orion has backup plans if his pieces are destroyed? What do you suggest? I suggest leave it up to the deities and the gods, because yeah, because that works out in Stella. It did. Did it? Well, it's not now. Is Orion here now? We are over here. People kill each other every day. There's a war that's going on. The war's over, from what I've heard. Yeah. Well, uh, and the war had nothing to do with the gods, from what I heard as well. It was over some useless metal. So, with that being the case, the gods were the ones that, <laughs> yeah, you guys are wearing all of it. <laughs> with that being the case, I'd, I'd say leave that to the ones who were able to defeat him the first time. How are we supposed to hand a jewel over to a god? I'm not saying to hand it to a god. I'm saying discard it from yourself. Let the gods handle it. I will say Amalthea did have Alcaronte help find the gem, but Alcaronte found the gem because of Vitra. Throw the so gem in the ocean, let Olmo hold it. If Olmo could block it away in the depths of the ocean, that would help us. Or right, did David Jones go? I could always ask. And in some weird way, I could put it to a cemetery, and maybe the dead people will keep an eye on it. Do you think Luna would help? I mean, she's very not confrontation. Hmm. Otherwise, we'd be carrying him around the, the eye for no Luna? Reason. She's not real. What do you mean, Luna's not real? Just kidding. She just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Damn. She just drove the paint and just that and dumped that shit up here. Professor, <clears throat> side step. Oh, great. Side note. Side bar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, Honor, may we approach it? <laughs> yes. Side car. Cora doesn't care about your lingo. <laughs> How did that even happen? I don't know, he stood up and it, 
ended up on my feet. Traumatized. Uh, do you know anything about something called a barrier? Like something that carries things across the sea? Something um, dealing with death. Oh my god, no. No wonder I didn't learn much in your class. What do you know about the pyramids and Zoroas? Oh, they're about as old as they get. Um, a, a large segment of my class is the history of Jaru. But what, what do you know about? When you say about them, I know that they're old. I know that they're relics of soul. Well, I mean, have you ever been allowed near them, in them? Has anyone ever been allowed in them or near them? No, no. The, the, the magic of the gods prevents anyone from going inside. But there's been a lot learned from them. Um, but... Triangles and squares and pyramids. I like that too. Isn't that very I'm sorry. Carry on. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> they, the pyramids have been around for a very long time. Um, seemingly before people were here. And living beings were brought upon this earth. So... It's kind of beyond us at the moment to get inside them. Do you still have the book with all the scribbles on it? Yeah. Can you read this? Looks like ancient Celestial. Mm. So, unfortunately, no. No one can read ancient Celestial. No one? The gods. That's their language, but I cannot. Oh, all the fucking gods. Okay. So that's how they speak. There's an you keep saying the gods. You're asking about you know? divine beings and divine no, things. Totally good. Uh, I can't remember in this game if you have a divine gate. You have a divine gate. This is Shay. I can't remember. You know if there was an after the war? Nope. How did we get the souls back to which we travel the planes? You mean Karas Menel? I think you have to be invited. The only, the only, according to the history, the only non-divine ever invited to Karas Minyil is the mighty warrior Elias. Mm -hmm. Which, according to lore, he was uh, given sanctuary in the city in the skies and eventually was promoted to the rank of godhood as well. Big baby. <laughs> it's not time uh, Do you know of an object that has ever come from Carol's An object? No. Mm -hmm. Besides Soul himself. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you need to know? You're trying to make a way there. Perhaps you, perhaps you are more clever than the rest of these people. Huh? I have good friends. <laughs> <laughs> do you know of it? So do you know if there's no object that could have been? Have you heard of your history, blessed by someone? Personally. Sorry, seeing you ask that again, sorry. Um, have you heard of an object or anything blessed by soul personally when we ever if you've ever been to the plane? Mm -hmm. is, is there a I'd say the pyramids themselves. They seem to be protected by his divine ways. But um no. It's the influence of the of soul specifically is typically based off of our internal decision making that we feel his presence. But well, I mean, that's not entirely true because Paladins and clerics can wield his holy light. Record. That's them wielding, but us, unless you are particularly trained in that, most of us feel his presence in different ways, much like you feel the presence of. Much like you feel the presence of 
Olmo when you stare at the ocean, or or Luna at the night sky. Most most of the time, it's gods are linked to emotions you feel, not physical attributes, unless you are trained to wield those attributes. But if Orion has pieces on this planet, on this planet, then those would also be tagged to emotions like hate and anger. And that's understandable, but according to the history, there was a war, correct? There of course. A, so there might be an object, a piece, a shattered piece, an injury, a drop of blood, something. It might be tied to solve himself. If there is, scholars would have found it long ago. Probably would have studied it for millennia now, but I don't know of any. Probably would have been studied here. So this is where the scholars learn. That's why we're here. I told you I was smart. Your friends are smart. <laughs> told you I was smart. Your dad has money. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the war take place in, in theory? Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not theory, it's over Lake Marigold. Where's that? It's a big ass lake in the middle of the map. Oh, is it here in Tritown? Yeah. Oh shit, not Marigold, sorry not Marigold. Marigold's in Tritown, sorry, no no no, I'm thinking of uh, the big, the big lake, the big oh, lake. The one um, on the beach or the one before No, the big one, oh, oh, I gotta look up the map, sorry. Because if the water's going to say, we might find something that... Like, yeah, 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 yeah. The things we read the other day... Always talking about the... If we were to... One second. Someone has to touch it. Uh, I gotta... I gotta look this up because it's driving me crazy. No, if, if it's a good object, we could try to use it to clean shit. Um, mm -hmm. Which is pretty rad, so... Yeah. Pretty, but yeah. someone has to touch it. We won't get damage. Lake Vistaki. Yeah. 40 to 49 points of that radiant damage. I was just going to say, while he's talking about yeah, that, I'm sure <laughs> there's been rumor. Okay. But it's, it's, is there anything in my celestial life? Yeah. Last yeah. So it's like a it solid, take, like, take, this thing is a touch by a thing somewhere. Yeah, no one, right? It's a thing, the right. only it's reported shot. instance of a celestial being like soul. Coming to this plane of existence when he talked to Herasidus. So, yeah, with the pyramids and all that. So, like, there's not like a sword or a shield that ever claims to be. That's my problem. Because there's always lots of claims. Let's just let's put it this way you don't know. There might be, but you don't know. I mean, obviously, there's bound to be messages, but I don't know about it unless it's come across. You may have come across and you didn't know it. Uh, what is, uh, well, so where, where did the war happen? Where did the battles take place that we know? Over Lake Vistaki. Vistaki, where is Which that? is south, it's like the giant lake in the middle of the map between Fintheon and Crete. It's where Athena kind of peninsula is up into, it's where the Candor Forest is up against, um, Mountains of the Fates, Hetra Flats, Air Is there State. anything, so, asking her, so the battle took me a place near Lake Vistaya, whatever. Um, Over Lake Vistaki, that's where the where, there, where it was said the, the gods fell and split the earth. Is there any ruins or places of uh, interest there? Is it maybe just, at the bottom of the sea, but I don't have a way to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of like Atlantis situation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, oh, wait, this doesn't exist, guys! There may be there may be fallen ruins, but no one's ever found anything. I might be worth a look. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, I could do that. You know, or the thing we read earlier could take us somewhere. I don't know where. But <coughs> he would have got a hold of it. There's there's rumors of creatures in the depths of the stocky, so I would not go without caution. Eh, would have this bad deity. Hmm. Would have <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> what kind of creature? I mean, rumors don't typically get specific, but they say creatures that can collapse a ship. What type of creatures? Okay, we don't. Yeah, we good. Why am I good at A in your class? If you didn't. Well, why did I not? 
We spent most of the time looking out the window and talking to dead things. She did that back then? She's been a weird person for most of her life, from what I know. I like to use the word unique. A uniquely weird person for most of her life. (laughs) (laughs) Well, she still talks to dead things. Oh, so you're still pretending to do that? No, it's actually dead. I mean, you're talking to dead things. No, I think dead things came to talk to me. So, bottom of the sea, potentially, or we could use the boat. There's a bottom of the sea. In the last couple hundred years, I saw a champion. A champion? I don't know, some of the lead in his order. You could say maybe the High Septon yeah. and Jaru? Who would be the keeper of the proof current? I don't know if that's all. She does. Shade's looking Mercia. at his notes. It's Mercia. Mercia. Yeah. <laughs> He would probably be the most in touch with soul. High priest. Mm-hmm. Him and his bride monks are definitely the closest to the divine. Do we want to get rid of this thing? Do we still want to keep it? If we can get rid of it safely, but handing it off to a god, if that's going to be our best bet. My concern is the safest way, we could leave it here. No. As if we never saw it. You leave it here, I'm absolutely throwing it in the ocean instantly. Well, then you would have done the job for us. And then that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> then we don't know, and if we get tortured, they'll never know. Don't tell us the ocean. I actually do like that <laughs> a lot. I will we happily were. take it and throw it in the ocean for you. Please pick another spot and don't tell us where it is. It'll be in the ocean. Another spot other than the ocean. It will be along the western sea. <laughs> You're making it worse. Off the coast of Illyria. I will tell them your name when I get tortured. Between <laughs> roughly 300 feet out. Between the dredgeless isles and Illyria is when I will drop out. it. You like T minus 30 seconds from just cutting off her head. Like, well, this plan went to shit. <laughs> <laughs> if we do that, my worry is that uh, you never know if Olmo's intentions would be good or not. Can always ask. His intentions. Hmm. I don't need. I don't be, I don't need to be having a, a theological discussion with. If there's anyone to have a theological discussion with, it might be a professor at a school that teaches theology. I mean, well, if if you could take a guess, what do you think his intentions between Ryan and Soul would be? His intentions between. What does that mean? Or, I mean, who would he? Who did he fight alongside? He did neither. He was banished. He did not fight for either Soul. Soul then. Soul banished him. So is that because he did not fight with you or something? No. I just, then why did he banish him? Rumor, we were not... Uh, mankind was not around when this happened. But rumors and scholars have deducted that he... Um, he was not... He was not doing his duties as a son of Soul. Which can mean many things that we've that we've uh, experienced. That could be doing things nefariously, or which we believe, for almost sake, did not always align with some of the beliefs of his father. Some of the nefarious sons, like Darian, were convinced by Orion, as I'm sure you all know if you have his eye. Uh, you hear it like ping around inside. Um, as I'm sure you all know, um, I believe his name is now Mezgul, as they call him. Um, but Marion was a son of Sol as well. I don't believe Olmo became a follower of the evil. I think he just had a different idea of what he wanted to do with his realm of the sea. So I couldn't tell you. I could. Rightfully assume he will not be innately evil, but I've never talked to him. Can you speak with him? I have. That's absolutely incredible. You two are my favorite here. (laughs) You're a close sixth. <laughs> There's still one under you. I don't know who it is. I it's one under you. Hey, 
yeah. she doesn't know I can speak with God, I'd be like her number one very quickly, um, very quickly with the new information. I mean, if you want to join us, think about that. I think everyone here has talked with God except me. No, my best. Well. <laughs> There's a difference. Talk to or know you talk to. Uh, <laughs> Fair point. I think literally everyone here has spoken to a god at some point. Uh, I just did it. Yay. Yep. yep. Now, she says, she says, you two are my favorite. <laughs> you can speak or have spoken with Omo. What is he like? Is he as deviant? As the rumors say. That's not the way that I used to describe him. How would you describe him? Kind of a douche. Please, I've given so much information. Please, share with me something. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, what could she do with the information? I mean, no, no, it's not. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm debating whether or not she's given a lot of information. Um, That's I guess she's, true. you know, like I wouldn't say you've given a lot of information. Everything I've, everything I know. Yeah. You're asking about things that, frankly, no one knows the answers to. Yeah. I'm doing my best. Your friend here made a good point. The fact uh, that you're all friends with Cora tells me that you're either up to no good, or you have you have no reason to be lying to me. Uh, he's not made his intentions known yet, but I guess how I would describe him would be intentional, collected, intense, precise. Why do you have a big glowing monster? Guy? It seems, it seems to me, as someone who's just outside looking in, that's a bit conflicting, right? Because you said he hasn't made his, like, he hasn't made his... He's made his intentions known with me, but maybe not for the For the world? world. Yeah. Wow. He's also a big like, glowing monster down there. Of course he does. He's all mad. You'd be surprised the amount of monsters I'm sure he has in the depths of the sea. Gotta have his followers somewhere, or else he wouldn't be a god. Speaking of followers, <laughs> my mother... I don't know if she's not here or not, but my mother uh, was also a follower of Alma. Her name was Centria. Does that ring a bell? There's been a few Centrias come through the schools over the years. When when was she an alumni here? I don't even know if she was an alumni, to be honest. My father Fenry was, but... There's no way for me to look that up. Um, you, I didn't you, know. you can check with the... The office, you know, go down to the principal, go to the uh, go to the admins, you know, submit a submit a request. Three to six weeks later, you'll get a response. Um, okay, is there any other questions you have for Miss Loundry? Listen, all of you, sincerely, not poking any fun at Cora. She was a sweet girl. A bit distracted, but I'm sure you all know that. What you're dealing with is extremely dangerous and should emphasize, should be left to the gods. But if you feel pressured to intervene, destroying that gym, as you call it, isn't it end all? It will only slow the progress, will not stop. If it's what I think it is, some sort of phylactery of sorts that can get put back in, he has others, and it will not stop him. Even if you could destroy it, which I don't believe you have the ability to do so, So, what? Theoretically, though. Sure. But, stopping the people who were trying to bring this man back would be the only way. Destroying these objects may do less than you think. 
be left, right? But people want. Are you asking her? She has no idea. She doesn't even know what the I is. No, no, not one. Okay. That was an in general question. There's two. There's an Alpia and. Craig. Craig. Craig is one. And. Mescal. Mescal, yeah. Yeah, but you know of. So he's kind of yeah. above it all the way. I think we need to reach out to Soul. I think we need to reach out to a few guys. Yeah. Find out what Vitra's mother knows. What happened there? Let's say reaching out to the gods is your best bet. Well, in my conversations with high school, I mean with oh, oh, flexing. <laughs> yeah, my conversations with uh, Mercury were amazingly apathetic. Just drop that on. I feel like I can talk to him. Do B, but I, we should definitely see what soul changed for Vitra's mother, and then we can reach out. I have minor illusions of flowers all over her. Thank you. All over her? Yeah. Just like honor? Yeah, just a rain of flowers. Oh, thank you, Gora. This is great. You look beautiful. I'm sure it's all the flowers. Um, and do you pick up the box or are you guys leaving oh, the box? Oh, I take with the box. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I box. gave. But I feel that's very responsible. Irresponsible. Somehow we may learn that almost like, yeah, I think he would be related for a lot of people know about it. It's an emotion. Yeah, hopefully. It's in the big crab thing after the ocean. Whatever the ocean. I mean, she's going to drop it in the ocean. I'd rather hand it off directly to him if that's an option. Directly to. Or to directly to I just, I mean, oh. the whole banishment thing makes it feel like maybe he's not like. I think we just need to go back. I would just, uh, yeah, I, would just, I don't know. He's, he's not. Gotta, he's he's gonna hate Orion more than he hates Soul. He's yeah, but he, I, here's what I know, based on my very brief conversation. He is interested in mm-hmm. keeping the interests of the ocean sacred. He doesn't care what's happening on land. He cares what's happening in the ocean. I think Orion is more of a threat to that than Soul is personally. Like, what is Orion's plan? Orion plan was to get rid of humans, right? I don't know. But Orion seems more intent on destroying all of the things. Soul seems a little bit more intent on keeping some semblance of balance. Mm. I don't know. Orion might spare the ocean. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing there. Orion. That's the point, is the ocean's been forgotten. So. I don't know if Orion is technically evil. What makes him evil other than he threatens Soul's power? Right? What has he done? Has he done anything other than Amalfia being a bitch? I mean, if according to this professor. That's a big thing, though. Is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I think I think he disturbs the balance, whatever it is. Yeah. But currently, the balance is keeping everybody alive. And if, and, yeah. You know. Well, and if it's about emotions, right? If each god is representing an emotion, if they said the Ryan's professor chaos. said hate and anger, and those are that's destructive. It's also the interpretation. Didn't he hate it. soul? Or? Okay. Did you say you felt malice for soul? Well, yeah, I just like, I, I guess malice is a bad word. I, I was more of like just, I would rather not associate myself with him. But, but that's then, the thing, right? It's all subjective. Yeah. But now it's but like, I, I'm being told, hey, you should probably let that go. We also don't have the same emotions towards soul that we did a long time ago. The emotions that we feel towards it could be our interpretation of the events that led to that situation. So, like, now when we think of soul, we're not like, oh, happy, good feelings. We're like, fuck that bitch. But now, like, it. Orion could very easily just be a misinterpretation of the feelings that these people are, are stating. So exactly. Right? Here's, here's, that's what I'm saying. Is it's, he's, Orion is the only threat to Soul's power when his soul just wants to remain in heaven. Maybe. Something making sense. Regardless. <laughs> regardless. <laughs> Sorry, 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 so I just go back down to dumb stuff. So, I have no interest in helping Amalfi with anything. Oh, that'd be that's very true. That's I want Amalfi dead. Right. But I'm just saying that I, I, mean, I, I don't want you... I don't want to view as far as soul, with no offense, Luna or any god, in a holy manner when Orion could have been a holy person who just got boned, right? Right so by by soul. I think I think we're here picking the side that allows the most balance. I don't well, think we're the status quo. Good we're, we're, keep, we're keeping the status quo. Yeah. So as far as like what we go forward here, we could go to Beatrice's mom. That was my proposal. That's the only reason I'm bringing it up. It's not most important. 
Uh, we can talk to Almo in the ocean, or we can go to Lake Vistaki and see if there's any sort of artifacts or something there. Is that like our free pathways here? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that I think that's just, order. I think that's where that's just, just put them or finding any kind of vestiges or artifacts that can we is that lead us to a, a plane. All of them. Is that all of the gods? So the gods that I know off the top of my head are Luna, Sol, Orion, uh, Mezgul, Mercul, Mercul, uh, Elias. Elias. But Elias is an interesting one because Elias was a mortal that turned into a god. So with that in mind, it kind of begs the question like, what the deities are in general. Maybe the entire arc of deity, though, I imagine I know to some degree. Some of them. Do right. you have a list of all the deities? Hmm? Do we know that? The teacher. Oh, oh, oh you guys are still with the teacher? No, I'm pretty sure I left. <laughs> That's why she had that big, like, kind of like final conversation where she was like, We can always go back, but that's it for today. Yeah. Some of what she was saying was bringing me, like, this weird feeling of, like, she called Orion a person, she called Soul a man. So, what if these aren't even deities that we're dealing with in the first place? What if they're not gods? What if they're just mortals that somehow got an exponential amount of power and have there's something beyond, or maybe there's like something. It's very possible. I think we've got a lot of questions to ask. I think we need to find out whether we're this happen. So I think that we probably have yeah. one person that happened in the divergence. Okay, so we start with the lake, then maybe Beatrice's mom, and. Oh, well, okay, let's do be Beatrice's mom first because it's literally a course right yeah, away. Yeah, that would just be like starting a little bit of talking yeah. in the next time. Really. Yeah, and then. And find the lake Vistaki and see if we can, I don't know, get all the water is down or survive somehow. But no, I mean, I, I just, we can probably look at the geography, but lakes usually feed into oceans, so I'm sure there's got to be some sort of connection to the lake there, too. Well, I imagine so he, just, he, he controls the all water. Like, this one goes to the ocean. I mean, no, I mean, you're, you're right in my world, but lakes do not usually lead to the ocean. Where did you get that from? Most, no. la most lakes don't have rivers. <laughs> most oh, lakes are just I bodies of water. That was just a Finding Nemo thing, where they said that <laughs> all water leads to the ocean. Listen, <laughs> geography is not my strong suit. <laughs> I think, I think, right up there with worms. although kind of controls all water, but yeah. it just has to be an ocean. I, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Alright, guys. Trey, next time, don't have to play